to the Dragon's Den, one of your most captivating podcasts out there, with your host, Lamedia. One a day. Y'all like who who's this guy? You know him. Little Lem. Um Uncle Lem's nephew. Oh, and we are back with another one. Episode 118. And today is gonna be special. But you know what? Let me go get my uncle, cause I don't like talking too much. I got a uh there's some breast milk waiting for me in the back. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. Welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We being invaded. Uh, yes, sir. You ain't sorry for nothing. <laughs> we are being invaded today by What's Up PlayStation. Woo! My two good brothers is here. Listen, man. The link is in the chat, man. Please go rock with these brothers. And we don't do no ponies. I just finished telling these dudes this, man. But what we do is good gaming. And these dudes is out here putting in their work. They outside. You saw them at PAX. Woo. Good to have you two brothers here, man. Whoa. It's amazing, Sir. man. Do great content. Big interviews over there. Yeah, that was big. It's tuned in. It's the lady. Yeah, Let's bro. go. That was big. Very proud of y'all guys for that. But before... With all seriousness, let's get into a situation. There's a link in the chat, man, for those people in this community that knows my man Cerebral Paul. And if you do not, this dude has cerebral palsy. He's one of the Xbox ambassadors. Please, he has a GoFundMe started um, being held and hosted by my man Paris Locke from, of course, the Xbox Everywhere team. He's the leader over there. Please, man, um, donate to the GoFundMe, man. He's, he's about to be homeless. We're trying to find him a place, try to help him out. You know what I'm saying? 
shout out to Paris for opening that page, helping this guy out, man. He's one of the good dudes in the community. That's a fact, man. But now we're going to get into these intros. Now, I always tell you, this is the most light-skinned podcast on the planet, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep that relevance. <laughs> and plus, y'all need us in the club. Jicks won't talk to you if you don't got a light-skinned dude on your team. Big fact. <laughs> Big fact. Pers- persona like, man, this goddamn lemon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, listen, I'm, 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 ca- I'm caramel. I'm caramel. Color. Yeah, right, so, right. You know, you're right I'm, there I'm like with us. Right, I'm right. I'm a shade of two dark, you know? <laughs> But we got this man, Mr. J. Barry. Welcome to the building, bro. Welcome to the building. Good to have you. Hey, man. I appreciate the invite, man. Uh, it was great meeting you in person. Uh, first time during PAX. And yeah, man, we had to come through and, uh, you know what I mean, show support out here, man. Big supporter. You know what I mean? I've always been a fan of your channel. I like the vibes over here. Uh, you know, I like the energy and all that. Um, but also, you know, New Yorker, you know, fellow New Yorker myself and as you as well. We got to come out here and you know, show that, that that brotherly love out there. You know what I mean? So, yeah, for those that people that are here, you know, hit the like button, share the stream out, get the people in here, man, and we're going to have Thanks. a fun today, man. All right. Now, I got to meet this brother and had a nice conversation with this young brother, man, Persona, man. He's an awesome dude. His energy was crazy out there, Pax. And it definitely was a pleasure meeting y'all at that bar, getting our heads right. Pause. No ditty. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great goddamn time, man. And plus... For those that don't know, we got Brooklyn, Queens, and the Bronx in the building. You know what I'm saying? This is what we, this is what we talk about. Yo, listen, I got some history in Queens, man. I, I practically grew up in Queens, too. I used to play ball at IS8. I sold some things to some units. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, happy, huh? You know what I'm saying? Yo, listen, that's my second home. My grandfather had a house on 165th and 108. Shout out to my South Side. We outside brothers out there. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he was okay. out there. He was right, he was yeah, right there. Yeah, he was yeah. right there. Yeah, right. almost had a couple baby right. mothers in Rochdale. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 40 P. Shout out to my boy Love. Mo Diamonds. Yeah. I Shout mean, out to my. As long as, as long as it ain't Baisley, we good. All right, go ahead. Uh, you know? Well, you know. Uh, <laughs> Bas- Basie's like Brownsville, son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's no fly zone. <laughs> man, man, you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But shout out to you, brother. It's great to have you. Your intro this morning was amazing. Yeah, and shout out to those fruity pebbles. Eat them quick. <laughs> oh, no, <man>. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yo, people be hating on fruity pebbles. Yo, now, yo, yo dog. Man. Back yeah, in the yeah, day, yeah. we used to gobble that shit up. I, 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 mean, I can't rock with fruity pebbles wrong. now, man. It's, just, it's, I, it's too much. Yeah, man. I mean, now we older, we can't rock with it. But, yeah. I you know, eat Captain younger, Crunch till today. Like I don't a, care. Yeah, Captain Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Honey Nut Cheerios, you Whoa. know me? Honey Bunches of Oats, yep. you know, we, we, that's the good stuff, man. Listen, listen the older I get, say, man, I rock with the, with the series. Just I, say I that wasn't. you an old man and you just need that fiber in your diet. That's yo, all you need. Hey, listen, man, listen, listen, man you, you got to stay regular. Yo, yo listen, yeah, I was so. crying. I was When I woke up and, re, and well, I had to catch it later because I told, I told uh, Jay Barry I was out late last night, but... Y'all had me. I was laughing from the beginning with the serial talk. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, man, I'm tearing up. The serial talk get deep, man. Yo, people really, you know, I mean, some good debates in there. Yo, the fact. Serial yo talk, man. hey, look, your breakfast, the way you start your morning is a big thing, man. It's like, it don't matter, especially when it comes to breakfast, bro. <laughs> man, breakfast, man. Persona, man, it's good to have you here. Good to meet you. You know what I'm saying? Because these dudes be outside, so... If you just behind that keyboard and you're a keyboard warrior, please stay out of the people lanes that are really outside doing it. But it's good to have you, bro. What's good with you? Talk to me. Yeah, man. Yo, listen, you know, I'm Persona, for those who don't know me. And, uh, you know, shout out to 108 Dragons, man. It was great meeting him, meeting Akumu, meeting uh, Bloody Knuckles and whatnot. Uh, everybody at the bar, man, and just vibing on and whatnot. And, uh, you know, it was, it was great. And, you know, I appreciate the invite as well, man. It's cool to be here. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. good to have you, but now we got the queen on the block. Now, listen, she might be a little grumpy today. You see her getting warmed up with a little wrestling intro. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Akuma, what you been doing? What you been playing? How have you been? Been okay, been working, been tired, been playing. It's been still um, jump back into zombies, playing Final Fantasy Rebirth, and... Uh, yeah, yesterday, I don't know, I got hooked on Supermarket Simulator, of all things. So, there's yeah, something strangely soothing about it. <laughs> you know what? I'm not Maybe doing, it's the fact I'm that I can talk to customers washing. the way I would like mm-hmm. to. Right, And right. not worry about nah, it. <laughs> nah, we're not doing Power Wash Simulator, Goat Simulator, 
Yo, yeah, Power Wash Simulator is lit, though. Yo, like, nah, it is nope. you. It is nope. Thank you. I nope. like Power Wash Simulator. Nope. <laughs> I, you know, I like to watch. It's, it's weird. Like Power Wash Simulator will probably be the only one, only because I like to watch Power Wash videos. Right. So, that, yo, that's, it's, that's it's one of those. Well. Yo, it's the it's the same thing. It's the same thing in the, in the game, oh, yeah. bro. Like, yo, you sit yeah. back, and relax, <laughs> and you just you just clean some buildings, yeah. bro. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they, no. added Final Fa- they added the Final Fantasy area and the Tomb Raider. Oh my God! Yeah, joint. I like that. Yo, that yeah. not, not, even that, that. Not, not even just the Tomb Raider and the Final Fantasy. Right now they got the SpongeBob for those, and they even got the Warhammer 40K oh, yeah. too. Mm-hmm. I was like, bruh. This is what we doing. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait until uh, you try. Wait, you try. No, nah, it's, it's, nah. it's, re- it's one of those relaxing games, man. It's not meant to be like super high octane and whatnot. It's right. just relaxing. It's, a, it's what's called one of those, like, you know, it's the chill Well, I'm a little game, bit older you know? with y'all yeah. than yeah. y'all in this room, so I don't want to slow down because slowing down means <laughs> I'm going to be dead. <laughs> so I got to stay moving. Got to keep that blood flowing. But we're going to get into this host pause. No ditty. The man with the sexiest hair on the planet, second to my man, Doggy Dog, who's probably in the chat somewhere like, damn, Lemon, again? Yes! The dude shampooed all the way down to your knees. It's just crazy. <laughs> Look at my man, Bloody Knuckles is in the building. The you already go- know what it is. It's your boy, Bloody Knuckles, aka the Gothic Gamer, over from LV1 Gaming here. Always back to have another great week with my brother and my, my the love of my life here. But you know what? Today's show is going to be fun because Jay Barry and Persona are both great dudes. I was like, and for those who don't know, just like like Lem, I've known Jay Barry for years when, when we first started out. We always be going at it on Twitter. Of course, it's all fun and, and shenanigans and stuff like that. But you know what? Jay Barry has always been probably one of the people who I know is a troll and just having good fun conversations, as he says, about things. But he's a great person. You know, Persona, getting to talk with him. I was like, meeting a man who shares the same kind of interest in fight games like I do is great time so you know what can't wait for tonight's show yes sir yeah man man? yo listen man y'all already know what it is it's your boy lemon always trying to give you that great gaming goodness and i also as i always say bring people on here that actually game we don't talk about nobody we don't do nobody wrong but we give out that smoke if you get offended here then you ain't no goddamn game anyway, because we do gaming stuff. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so we're going to get into some backstory. You know how we do when we get people on here for the first time. We're going to get into their history, what games they like, how they started. And uh, we're going to start with you, Persona, because I don't want to make it a light skin thing and start with Jay Barry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let the, let the, the caramel, car- the go caramel first, right. king. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, All right, sir. so so I want to no, know listen, how. Don't, what, don't, don't, don't fall in on the chat with that caramel. I'm a color of butterscotch, man. Oh, yeah. right. All right, calm down right. there, Mr. Macchiato. <laughs> so let's go. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Look up, go ahead and Google butterscotch, and you're going to see my skin. It's too. Two different shades of butterscotch. Mm-hmm. Now, like, the only, uh, light, the only butterscotch I know is the hard yellow. Uh, <laughs> oh, <and> the yellow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, man. All right. oh, it's hard so, yellow, he said. So, hey, <laughs> Persona <yo>. talked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Dude, this is going to be fun. Yo, <laughs> yo, listen. Um, Talk to me, man. What got you into gaming? What, 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 what entry got you to be a gamer? What, what was the first... You know, first thing that got you going, that you said, I'm going to be doing this forever. Uh, you know, really and truly for me, it was uh, my mother, right? Because uh, my mother, she was really into uh, Pac-Man, Tetris, uh, things like that, man. So I remember, you know, getting a Super Nintendo. Me and my mom was playing, uh, you know, Pac-Man and all those games back and forth uh, uh, till late. And that's kind of like where my start happened with gaming, where um, it kind of just grew from there. You know, it started on Super Nintendo. Um, you know, playing all the games like, you know, Mario RPG and Street Fighter and uh, uh, T- uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles mm, in Time, mm. you know, stuff like stuff like that, man. And from there, it kind of just spiraled and spiraled to where, you know, I went from there, I had the Sega, you know, I had the Game Boy Color, I had the 64, you know, and it kind of just grew from there, you know, PlayStation um, to where it just always was a part of my life, uh, especially growing up. Uh, it's funny because we was having this conversation like uh, I think like a week or so ago. But you know, like growing up in the hood, you know, uh, trying to keep yourself out of trouble, trying mm-hmm. to keep yourself from falling into that street life and stuff like that. Gaming, gaming was always something that uh, I could use as an escape. 
uh, and something that just really always resonated with me, uh, especially the more that I got into like technology and into IT and stuff like that. So for me, uh, that's where my start was. And I, I got my mother to thank for that. I could appreciate that, man. I got my daughter into gaming too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I gave mice to play with my daughter. There's two games that was very uh, detrimental to my kid's life. Well, really three, Gears of War, and then it was Left for Dead. And then um, instead of learning how to shoot people in the hood, she was shooting people in Red Dead Redemption online. <laughs> she's going to, she's to be little, like six or seven, like, Daddy, we going to go into the saloon and I'm going to start a shootout. I used to be like, uh, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't let her play this. <laughs> no hey, yo, listen, Red Dead, Red Dead, and, and, and Grand Theft Auto. That that let a lot a lot of people living vicariously through them games. <laughs> yeah. bro. We that's definitely got some NPCs popular. driving. Hey, fact, yo, listen, listen, sir, yes, sir. listen. Yep. that's yep. a fact. You be walk, it's true because you be walking down the street, you hear one of them NPCs say some wild ass, sh- and right. then you like, you know what? You just turn around and. Bop yep. him right in the face. He'd be like, listen, no, no, exactly. taking none of that. No disrespect in this house. Exactly. Dude, listen, the chainsaw and gears was nothing compared to uh, Left 4 Dead and Goddamn Red Dead. I'm telling you, those games. Mm-hmm. I maybe I should, maybe I was bad parenting, but <laughs> but whatever. Nah, you just it out early. That's yeah. all. Right, but, listen, uh, man, the same thing when I get a kid, man. You know, introduce them to gaming. You know, right, we right. make sure it's PlayStation. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, start him right. Damn. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm going to put, I'm gonna put, a, I'm gonna put a mouse. I'm going to put a PlayStation controller. I'm going to put a Nintendo controller. And I'm going to put an Xbox controller. Whichever she crawled to, we're oh. going to guide her. Make sure it's a PlayStation. Like, no, 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 this way. This way. Only, only one way. Now she go Xbox. Wait, wait, wait. wait. He'll be like, wait, honey, we got to try this again. I think she made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so let's get into your top five games and series that you like. Like, like, what's your top? Because I know you've been playing a lot of that goddamn Final Fantasy. But what is your yeah. favorite top five games? And give me your favorite top five systems. Yeah. So uh, for games, uh, Final Fantasy is uh, is definitely one of my my favorites as well. Kingdom Hearts, mm. uh, the War, the Warriors as well, man. That that's a game I played on PS2. And that game kind of like took me by storm, man. I'm just like, yo, this is this is definitely like a. Did great you watch the movie one-off. or you just played absolutely. the game? Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, come on, absolutely, absolutely. Can you dig it? Yo, listen, man. Listen, bro. That's the '70s, bro. Right, right, right. That's New York in the '70s. Yo, you feel me? Listen. That's how when people be like, yo, the West Coast started gangs. I was like, there was gangs since the '40s, man. Y'all ain't start listen, gangs. Man. Y'all started the Bloods and Crip, but y'all didn't start yeah. gangs. Yo, listen. Man. <laughs> York was a wild place Woo! in the 60s and 70s. Getting Listen, on that man. train with all that graffiti, man. Y'all don't know nothing about crazy. that life. It was crazy. crazy. Woo! Uh, <laughs> no, and you can uh, tell where everyone number... was showing from what, from what uh, borough they was from. Oh, side. yeah. I was like, oh, that style was coming out. Oh, yes, sir. Listen, yes, I had sir. to run from Corleone to that train station, too, messing with that goddamn <laughs> Himalaya ride, <laughs> going out there wearing all my jewelry. Yeah, I had some episodes oh. of Corny Island. <laughs> oh, no. Um, <laughs> number, number four is, is uh, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I oh. love that game so, so much. I got a lot of great memories with that game. What? That's definitely... Yeah, what? That's... that's yeah, Ooh. yeah, Marvel's Capcom 2. I would say Capcom versus SNK 2 as well, but Marvel's Capcom just it edges it out just a little bit. No, no, it does. Then, uh, because that was the first game we ever seen 3D backgrounds on a, in, a, in a 2.5D uh, fighting scenario. That was the first. Yeah. That yeah. was crazy. Mm-hmm. And then uh, number five, oh, man. Um, I'm going to have to say Uncharted. Okay. Or Last of Us. I don't know. It's tough, but uh, nah, I'm, 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 I'm going nah. with Uncharted. Yeah, I'm, I'm going, going with Uncharted. Yo, listen, bro. Uncharted. Uncharted. Listen, bro. Listen, listen. This is how much of a fan I am, right? Last oh, yo, look. Listen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yo, y'all want to see my statue wall, man. My yo, statue yo. wall crazy, man. Yeah. Trust me. It, yeah. pro- it probably don't compare to King and King because oh, me. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, King, 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 King gets King. on me for this. He gets on me for this. But I told him. I said, listen. I love the series. It's very serious. But Uncharted, Uncharted, is, Uncharted wins. I love Uncharted. Man. Yo. I'm a big, I'm a big, big yeah. Uncharted fan. That's why I hated. That's why well. I hated that movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't even, yo, really and truly, I never even seen the movie. Mm-hmm. I didn't watch it. 
Yeah, skip I'm it. just like, yo, man, Tom Holland is, is, is Nathan Drake. I'm no, good, man. Right, right. It's not bad, man. <laughs> I'm good. Look, bro. look you I went in there. To see it. Yo, yeah, look, bro. It, bro. I went in there with the same. I'm like, this dude is Spider Man. Come on. <laughs> then you got Mark Wahlberg as Sully. I'm yo, good. come on. Y'all got it, man. Y'all got it, bro. I'm <laughs> Sully should have been an old man. <laughs> yeah, he should have definitely been older. Right. I, I wasn't uh, doing Anyway. I'm sorry. So but yeah, those are, look, it's top, tough. Yo, when we do top fives too, it's so tough. No, it is tough. Change, but that's definitely that's that's my that's my top five. For sure. What about what about consoles? Talk to me. Top five consoles. Uh, I'm gonna do PS2. We know he ain't listening to no Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, let, <laughs> wow. Yo, listen, yo, let's do Vart. Let's do Vart. Oh. oh my bad. Bro, oh. I my mic was muted. No, no, no. We around nah. nah. company. Yeah, yeah listen. No, 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 no. Speak your mind. Be you. That's why you here. Don't be no. Don't be nobody else. Be you. Nah. Uh, oh, uh, oh, my mic is muted. My bad. Yeah, yeah, two, uh, SNES, Game Boy Advance SP. Mm. Um. PlayStation 4 or 3. Four, 3 or 4. I'll say 4. Um, that's 4, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I'll do I'll do the I'll do the I'll do the PS I'll do the P, PS1. Mm, no, nah, I'll do PS3. PS3. Yeah, PS4, PS3. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna tell you my favorite, one of my favorites was PS1. Right? Okay. Super Nintendo, Dreamcast, Xbox, OG, right? I'm going to say this. PlayStation 1 brought 3D graphics to a different beast. Yeah. Game yeah. day. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Battle Rendu to Chinden. It was very, it was an episode of PlayStation that was memorable. Mm -hmm. Right? It's like what Halo did for first person shooters, but kind of what GoldenEye did, but Halo took it to a different financial level, right? So those games are detrimental. When I tell people about Battle Royale Arena Toshinden, they was like, what's that? And I was like, yeah, that was crazy. Game day, crazy. It's like Genesis had Joe Montana sports, sports talk. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. To hear a cartridge talk to you, gameplay, while you're playing. <laughs> certain games, certain games did it for you. You know what I'm saying? So, you yeah, know. Yeah. You know, just like Marvel vs. Capcom 2. <laughs> that will yeah. always be a classic. There's nothing you could take away from that game because it yeah. was detrimental and it was impactful more than yeah. anything else. Yeah, you know what's crazy? Like I love uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but the first one, Clash of the Superheroes, that's Clash my favorite Heroes, fighting yeah. game of all time. Yeah. Really? I love them. Yeah, that, I love and, the and that's a great one, too. <laughs> that's a great one, yeah, too. Here's my thing, too, because like even with the Xbox, like I think OG Xbox... Was 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 a great console. One of my favorite games off that console was uh, I don't know if you guys ever played this game called Brute Force. Mm. Yeah, which was I guess it was Gears before Gears. I love yes. that game, man. That's like, my, like yes. one of my greatest memories with OG Xbox and 360. I had 360 before PS3, and I was playing yeah. a lot of games on there. And I think the 360 was definitely a, a great console as well. Oh yeah, that, um, yo, it had a lot, shout, a lot shout of shout out to Japan for ruining that for us because we <laughs> we bought it here, they didn't buy it there. Uh, That's yeah, a fact. Right. I remember I mean, it's true, right? <laughs> they they did them, they did Sega dirty. Sega said, you know what, we ain't making nothing else. <laughs> Je the, the Dreamcast was way ahead of the curveball. Shout out to oh, shout out, shout out to that it Microsoft was. Windows CE helping them. That's what created that Xbox. Right? Yeah. I mean, each one to each one. You know, shout yeah. out to Nintendo for jerking PlayStation or Sony. So they made PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> you had a, if you had a Dreamcast, you was that you was that dude too. Yo, like, yo, fat, yo, listen. Oh, yeah, I mean, not a doubt. Because not everybody yeah. had like a Dreamcast, but you had no. a friend that had one. Yo, you was over that house all goddamn day. Man. Yo, yo, <laughs> listen. Well, listen. I remember, if I remember correctly, didn't uh, Dreamcast and PS2 release like relatively close to each other? Or was yeah, it, like, a year apart. No, it was, yeah, it, was a, it was a it was a it was a it was a. A year apart. I think it was, no, six months. No, no, no. It was six months. Less than a year. No, it was six months, but they released in the following year. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was early. I remember, March. I remember seeing the com seeing the commercials for the PS2. Uh, I, yo, I was going crazy. Like, I, I need this, yo, because they were showing like guitars hooked up to it. Yeah. This one commercial, it was like a news uh commercial or whatever, a uh, news uh segment, and they had like a guitar hooked up to it. It was like doing all this crazy. I was like, yo, I gotta have this, man. Like, yo, facts. Yo, I need this. Yo. Facts. So. I think that's when they were starting to lean towards like the early days of like Guitar Hero and stuff like that. Before, that's why. Like, picked up in the next generation, yeah. That's why I can never lean to 
one platform because I you see stuff that's cool on something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I like VR. I don't care when nobody else like it. <laughs> or, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn. I just... Yeah, VR is a different experience. Man. Right. It's started. different. Especially when you, you enter something. You know, one of the best games I played was Moss. Oh yeah, Moss. That's my shit. Oh yeah, Moss. That's that's incredible. I love platforms, and it's in, come on, it's crazy. I mean, it's on, it's on, it's on my to do list. <laughs> yo, listen, it's a it's a good game. Um, yeah. All yeah. right, so that that was a that was a nice top five, top ten, ten, ten two. So, J, J- Barry, my light skinned brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Talk to me. What got you into gaming, bro? Yeah, I mean, so I was originally uh, born in Jamaica, so. My mom, you know. Oh, so you hear that? Hold on, hold on, bro. Let me interrupt you. My boy Bunty in the chat with he what I go on. Shout out to Bunty. I see, I see everybody in the chat. Got another blood clot in the house. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, bro. Sorry. Oh damn. My mom, you know, I mean, she pretty much moves up here in the country, up here in America. You know, I mean, to make sure everything is good. So when Mm -hmm. we come through, you know, I mean, we'll be all right. So when we came up here, uh, we had a, a, a Nintendo. Uh, NES mm. uh, with Mario and uh, Duck Hunt, and we played the hell out of that joint. And what's crazy is that we played the hell out of that joint, but we was kind of late to the party. You know, what I mean, it's ninety ninety, and uh, that that within the I think the same year, we also got a Sega Genesis. And my favorite, my first game on the Sega Genesis was uh, Tasmanian Devil game. Oh, I played the hell out of that yes. game, right? And yo, seeing that <laughs> should leap from like uh, NES to Sega Genesis, that changed me. I was a big Sega fanboy. In the back of the lunchrooms, I yo, yes. I was defending Sega all that goddamn day, man. Because the animations that Taz had, and you hear him even talk and all that yo, stuff. Like, it yo, it was crazy. It's a game yo, changer. Yo, the Genesis was next level. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Certain I, games, I, I, man. Certain <laughs> games left a stamp. You know, Earthworm Jim was another one of those yeah. games left a stamp on the yo, community. Yo, that game was hard, too. Man. Yo, it was hard as hell. Hard the animations was crazy. <laughs> yeah, continue, man. bro. Continue. But yeah, that's that's what really got me into gaming. Um, like those specific two consoles, you know, getting the Game Boy. My mom, she, she kept feeding me uh, games as much as she, as much as she didn't want me to play games. She kept buying them. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn, I got a I got a NES, I got a Sega Genesis, I got a Game Boy. You know what I mean? I thought you don't mm-hmm. want me playing that, but <laughs> and then when we go outside, we go to Toys R Us, she get me a new game. I'm like, All right, you know awesome! Man. Shout out to moms, man. Shout, shout out to both your mothers, honestly. Yeah. If you see my mom to this day, she'd be like, yo, she don't want me playing no games. <laughs> <game, but." laughs> she, she the one that got me into the motherfucker. But, you know but now you is. can tell your mom, it's like, hey, mom, guess what? This makes money. Like, yo, big facts. Now you just, I can't tell my family that. <laughs> 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 They're going to be like, what? What yeah, you say? What yeah, you say? Yeah, 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 I threw on that that's SNES to give you them props for where you started, bro. You see that? That's in the background of SNES. Oh, yeah. Yo, yeah. Listen, yo, yeah. We played that duck hunt, but we had a gun that came with it. And yo, we yeah. were right up on that TV shooting that show. You know what I mean? I was a star back. I was right next to that TV back, back, back. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was cheating. <laughs> you know, I know y'all did the same thing too, so I'm lying mm-hmm. in the chat. But yeah, that's what really got me into games, man. All right, so give me your top five consoles and top five games or series for you. Mm. So I'm gonna do a top five games because I can do games. I have a very simple, easy top five games, and this is no debate. Okay, mm. this is this. This is all. This is general. Okay, oh. all time greatest. No, games, <laughs> games, buddy, games. Not sisters. We gonna get to the sisters, but games. I want games and series. Games and series. All right, here we go. Number one, <clears throat> you know the vibes. Final Fantasy VII, best game ever made in history. Damn. Cloud Strife, best character ever oh. in history. Number two, oh. Kingdom Hearts two. Mm, Classic. Oh my God. Yes, sir. Classic. Yes, yes. Classic. 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 All the stuff mixed in with Disney and just how much more yeah. convoluted their storytelling Facts. gets even more complicated than Final Fantasy. I was like, you have you Facts. need like a five hour like lesson just to talk about the beginnings of it all. Facts. Listen, I I I've I've been in those discussions. 
And people like, well, I don't know, Barry. I don't know. Well, play the goddamn game, and you will know. Yeah, it's like, you know well, it's like, no, 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 don't play the game first. I was like, go back and play this mobile game, or at least watch all the videos, and then play this game, and then you can play the original first game. Mm-hmm. You see, a lot. It, it was convoluted for sure back in the day because it was so many different systems Kingdom Hearts was coming out on. But yep. now... To be honest, there's no real excuse because you can get all the compilation. Yeah. Yes. Well, I did yeah. that. I did that because yeah. I didn't have a portable yeah. version of them games. And, I, and that was great for me because I that's one of my exactly. favorite series because of all the... the it's, it's not that they put a whole bunch of characters together. They did it well. Mm-hmm. That's yep. the point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, anybody yeah, can throw I, I, something I, together. Especially especially with the Disney properties. Yes. Man. I think they did really yeah. good. Yes. Like, yes. Those worlds and just incorporating a lot of that stuff. Because I, I first seeing Final Fantasy, I mean, uh, Kingdom Hearts, anybody would just look at that and say, yo, this some kitty, this some kitty stuff. I don't know if we could curse on you, but you know, this some, this some kitty stuff. A little stuff. bit, a little bit, a little bit. You know, the first, you know, you, you know, them algorithms just the first few minutes. Can't yeah, you really, yeah, keep it after, 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 right, 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 right. But you can, you can be yourself, bro. Be yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great, yeah, I agree with Barry 100%. My fault, Barry got it. Oh, nah, you good, man. See, yeah, light skinned dudes always getting interrupted by them caramel guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. You gotta let him know what it is. <laughs> he be talking to the girl. He be like, you know, I- I'm available too, shorty. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> We gotta hang out again, man. I swear, we gotta. I'm watching y'all. I'm watching y'all. Hey, man. Yo, I did throw a, a, a troll at my man Persona at the event in the, in the city. Where's Neil Druckmann? I said he's with us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> he's over here with us. Me and the Iron Lords. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, that, was, that was a big man. move for Iron Lords, man. That was a big Yeah, move. facts. Oh, gotta come big. out. Y'all gotta come out, bro, and support. Be outside. Yo, any event I know, I'll let y'all know, man. We pull up because I'm with anything. But oh, anyway, yeah. anyway I, uh, I thought that was cla- Yo, when you said that, bro, <laughs> you were right, though. You're right, but you're right. <laughs> but it was classic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's fine, man. I, keep, I can you. only keep it real. Man, no, you know? that's, why, that's why I support because y'all do say real things. Continue, continue, right. continue, continue, Barry. I didn't mean to in- join the caramel dudes to interrupt you. <laughs> oh, nah, you oh, good. Damn. You good. Uh, number three, Super Mario Bros. Three. Oh, facts. Uh, that's the best Mario game ever created. No debate. Mm. Listen, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, no debate. Y'all world fans, I get it, I understand. But everything started from three, okay? Mm. Uh, as far as how Mario has developed throughout the year. Right, right. Um, number four, third favorite character of all time. But this is my favorite game out of the series, Devil May Cry 3. Oh, yes. I love that. Hell out of that game, man. Let's go. My guy. Let's go. You know I mean? like Let's go. Definitely. Let's go. Um, and number five, Metal Gear Solid 3 uh, Snake Eater. That yes. game was a, a, a you, game changer. You know what's crazy? Last week, I told people to leave my chat <laughs> if they do not respect Metal Gear Solid 2. Mm. Because... And this, this is funny you said that. I just said this last Saturday. Shout out to my boy Baron that was on from level one. Let me say something, man. Hideo has a vision of a director. And I came from the NES playing Metal Gear. People think it started on PlayStation. It didn't. When, when oh, you know. The old school one. Right. Came when, on that N- NES. Right. Meant to PSX. When you had to get rations <laughs> mm-hmm. for health, right? And I said the art style, the direction, the cutscenes, the espionage in that game took gaming to a legendary status, right? We got great acting in a lot of different games. Last of Us is not a game. If you like action, don't play that. It's a story-driven game, right? It's heavily based on the context in the game. Metal Gear mm-hmm. started that. I'm sorry, people. When you had when you played Goldeneye, dun, 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 you had the cutscenes. There was really no acting, bro. <laughs> it was the music, and you liked the action, right? Mario Brothers yep. don't have that. Sonic don't have that, right? These are games I love, right? When it came to Halo, with the story driven, a lot of action. Those games you got to give respect to. Gears. The, the the Uncharted's, 
Uncharted is a whole story based game, just got a ton of action. But mm -hmm. Metal Gear, look at the games I'm mentioning of today, and look when Metal Gear Solid 2 dropped. Those games didn't even exist. Half of them. You get what I'm saying? So I've always paid respect. Because I'm not a big sneaky to do. I love Metal Gear Solid 2 because it changed me as a gamer. So mm -hmm. it's funny you said that. I just wanted to give a little context to that. Yeah, Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid 2 is a great game too. Yeah. Uh, I remember booting that game for the first time. I was confused because I was like, hey, where's uh when I saw Snake out playing as uh you know Ryder in that first but, mm -hmm. um nah, like, but then, they hit, I, then they hit you without all those little like teases throughout the game and then with yeah. that with that finale and everything else right. with the whole right. like it it was mind blowing back. It was then. a plot like, twist. It, Big boss yeah, 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 and all yeah, yeah. that. Like that dude Even is, the first game too. The first game, the mouth wasn't moving or nothing, the hands was like Right. It. Right. But you still mm -hmm. got the story you and still, the, the, you, the, the you narrative. Felt, you, but that. you felt it. Yeah. You felt it. Mm -hmm. You felt it. Nah, but I didn't, when it came, I didn't when it came to the Metal Gear series, though, <laughs> Snake Eater for real like changed the, the game for me because the survival aspect with it, um, you got to eat like snakes and. Yo, you did, know the, what did I mean? that first snake that jumped out the bushes? Did you jump? I think I think I got bit by. A snake. <laughs> yeah, look, right, like right. Scene, You're right, right. 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 Cause that, you know mm -hmm. that that happened to me in the first Resident Evil when you walked in the room and a zombie came out that one door. I was like, yo, <laughs> yo, 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 Rick, or, uh, not, yo. Not, not even just that, bro. Like the first time you go down the side hallway and you first see the zombie dogs and they jump through the windows and get you right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, yo, Resident Evil used to scare the hell out of me back in the day. Um, hey, yo, thank thank God for the remix that got me back into the series because I, I, I when they first came out, I played them, but I wasn't like the super big big fan. But a remix yeah. definitely got me back into, uh, you know, into that series. And, and you know what? The, 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 the bonus of the remix is that, one, I was like, they got convoluted and even lost a lot of their own continuity. So th they helped to like, kind of clean up with all the additional games that they've done, all the movies and yeah. stuff like that. So now we actually have, like, a solid set timeline that there's no weird, like, gaps or things that don't make sense anymore. And the fact that they still captured the original feel in a wonderful way, like, that's what makes it even better. Yeah, and the movement. <laughs> the big <laughs> yeah. facts. No more, the no more take control. No more take Yo, control. Facts, man. All right, so continue, um, continue um, Bobby. Yeah, so top five consoles now. Um, mm -hmm. PS1. Mm -hmm. uh, PS2. <laughs> <laughs> Super Nintendo. Okay. Uh, GameCube. Mm. Mm. And uh, mm. I'll put I'll put PS4 in there because PS4 definitely cleaned up a lot of uh, stuff. Like you you could have missed anything with PS4. Cause you got PS1 games, PS2 games, PS3 games. It's nothing you really missed there. So uh, yeah, I say those are the top uh, five consoles. You know, I, I also have Game Boy Advance up there because that's like my favorite handheld. Mm. Well, I, I'll put a PS2 up there. I mean PS4. <laughs> My favorite handheld is the Asus ROG Ally. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, I, I, see, I, see, I see you, man. Yo, listen. I got this I big, can, I biggest. It, I, listen, I got this big, beefy uh, pose uh, uh, desktop that I use for this content. And, you know, I don't play games well, don't on, game it. on it. I don't game on it. I don't get here and lie and say, yeah, I'm a piece you give me. Now, I got a better rig than 99% of y'all. <laughs> but I don't game on it. I could. I draw the bus, I, bro. I got the I got the uh, the Steam Deck. Another I great device. That thing, man, no, so. I, I have to take it with me to work, and I got them long lunches. You know how the bus operators be for our lunches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you now, break, you break. Yeah. Oh, so, you, oh, oh, you one of them dudes where you, you pull up at the stop thinking I ain't yes. about to keep people up, and you right. cut off the light city. Oh, man, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, going to, yo, I remember going to school when I was young, right? <laughs> or coming home from work when I was young. Wait. <laughs> yo, I was like, all right, the next bus coming, yo, this is a long line. Let's go, let's go. Dude, pull up, stop. Turn off the lights, shut the engine off. Shit. Come on, bro. And it's yeah. cold as hell. Yeah. yeah, bro. Like, come on, bro. Yep. And then he, yeah. they get off the bus and look. Like, all right, what you looking for, bro? <laughs> you know what? Let me know. No, that's his no, vibe. No, okay, yo, 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 listen. What I used to do, I used to have these badass kids went to Wingate High School. So they used to always do something to me, right? So I did what the bus driver did to me when I went to Wingate. I wait to the worst slushy day. <laughs> Y'all going to wear that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they got slush hanging from their eyelids. They got learned just like we yo, did. Yo, listen, man, that's how they did us. Now, bet you next time I pull Crazy. up, you're going to act right. 
<laughs> Shout out to my job, man. Make a lot of things happen for a brother. Took me off them streets. Facts. Um. All right. So we're gonna move into these topics, man. Uh, we're gonna start with y'all game now. Oh, my game too, because Final Fantasy is one of my favorite series. Also. Mm-hmm. Now, this generation of gamer, they weird. We get a lot of great games, and a lot of them are not doing well. <laughs> like, people look for trailers, they complain. Um, one of the games we don't get into frames later uh, that they hated on. First of all, I love knowing the facts. I don't want to hear about no frames. I don't want to hear about none of that. If it's not a shooter or a fighter, 30 is fine. Period. If you want 60, you run the PC, you ain't spending $500 for that. <laughs> you know, we're not, we're going to be real here. If you want to aim for a high-end PC, $2,000 is not a high-end PC. It's really not. It's not. High-end is 5000 plus. <laughs> <laughs> so please stop the cap on Twitter. But we're gonna talk about Final Final Fantasy VII. Two million concurrent players, and as a Final Fantasy dude, right? And I had one on this F square from that director's comments about black people and characters and history, saying we wasn't in Europe at those times. And first of all, oh Yoshi P, yo, yeah Yoshi P. I blame the whole company for that, and then I. I regurgitated my BS. Because for a year, I was like, fuck Square Enix. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stop trying to crap on, a, on, on, a, on a, the black community. And you don't know our history. Shout out to my cousin in the building. 181 in the building. But it's like this. Final Fantasy is a great game. Right? Yep. Great franchise. Raise a lot of people. Final Fantasy 3 was really like, what, 7 or 6 in Japan? That show you how late we was to getting it. Square Enix has made a commitment with Sony. See, I don't care if a game is exclusive because I own a PlayStation 5. <laughs> I just go buy it. What's up with the community not purchasing these great games even if this number is wrong, even if it's three million, four million, what do y'all think Square can do besides putting it on PC that they could fix the situation? Because y'all both lost y'all time in March. Y'all both said it. So what do you think can happen with this game to to elevate it? Yeah, like uh, I saw the article uh, on Push Square where he's saying that it's suggesting. Mm -hmm. so for rebirth um and the suggestion that they, they're basing that off of the the, the player base as right. far as uh you know how many people have actively turned the game on um but you know I mean, there's a lot of scenarios right where i know for me personally i got like three copies of the game and two of them i didn't put them in my or turn it on i only got the digital one so they don't have, they only count in that for the sale not the other two that i have as physical right right physical, right you know what i mean but um I, I don't think two million is 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 horrible. You know what I mean? I, I look at that as most games that come out don't sell two million uh, no. copies. No. The only thing I can suggest is that they probably didn't hit like a milestone as far as with the game, so that's why you haven't really seen no announcement of it. But saying a game sold three million, I mean two million, within this matter of time is is nothing to really like say. Oh, this is terrible. This is a failure. Um. And I, I do think there's in the in the, t the period of the, where the game came out, there's a lot of games that are also out that people had interest for to play. In. You know, mm -hmm. Helldivers, that was like a, a blind success that took a lot of people's time. A lot of people buying that game. Cinderella story right there. Took yeah, my time. a lot of people's buying that game and playing it. Yeah. Yep. Took my time. I'm a Starship Troopers dude. And, that's from, and I have Starship Troopers, the game on PC. And I played on my Raw Gala. But that's why I bought and that the, game. And the thing, the thing is, too, like... Uh, like, yes, yo, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, this, this is my favorite game this year so far. You know what I mean? It's my game of the year. I love the hell out of the game. But it's not an easy game. You know what I mean? There's a lot to get into. Compared to, what, 16 and 7, there's a yep. lot. You know, you have to no. focus in and have to set up to get This is like a final Final Fantasy game. Like, 16 was a much more casual, anybody can pick up and play, get into the game, which is great. It's a great game. 
but it's the the audience is much larger as far as who they want to pull in. Um, but I, I think eventually the sales for sixteen, you know, I mean seven rebirth, they will come out with it. I think it's gonna pick up because throughout the year, you know, more people's gonna get into it, more people's gonna start playing it. How many you know, giveaways we did? Me and Persona, we did like mad giveaways, and a lot of people that we gave the game away, I know for sure they didn't start the game yet because they playing something that. So, right, right. You know, it doesn't. That's the problem today. To That's the, the problem. Yeah, too many, too many games to the sales out. that people are, you know, people are looking for because the the, the website is suggesting the people that started a game, but these people didn't start the game yet. But right, this, at the like, end of like the day, a, oh no, go ahead. Like I, I, somebody tried to come at me on Twitter. He he did it respectfully. Hopefully he's in the chat. I said, dude, it's a topic. It's not a destruction of the game. I don't want no game <laughs> destroyed. I see. That. <laughs> right, yo, dude. Then I hit him oh, with the article man. like. I didn't make this up. Oh, what your title's wrong. I said, no, it's not. I wrote what they wrote. And I just put it in the title. It's not personal. Yeah. It's not. Mm-hmm. I, I'm a Final Fantasy is. dude. Yeah. I don't want to see the goddamn game fail. It's a topic. We a talk show. You talk about topics. <laughs> so shout yeah, out to you. I, he did respectfully. He didn't come at me, but he said, yo, I think it's wrong. That's not wrong. This is what's going on. <laughs> and you got to. Yeah, the thing is, too, man. I, I I think a lot of people gotta realize, like, we don't we when we see those games. Oh, this game sold five million, ten million. That is one game out of hundreds that came out. You know what I mean? Right. It's not a. It's not a. It's not a like a like a. I also a popular thing for every I, game to be selling five million, ten million. I also I also think I think. I think when it comes to like exclusives, people tend to use a very different metric when yes. it comes to success, right? Because, you know, another game that I, I love very, very much and I'm playing a lot of right now is Dragon's Dogma 2. That game yes. sold 2.5 million and it's on multiple platforms. Yo, you yo, me? <laughs> Preach. If, 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 if Preach. it's true that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth sold 2 million on one platform that's right. only got like 50 million, 55 million consoles, it, it to look at that and say, oh, this isn't successful, but, you know, this is, or this is great for them with Dragon's Dogma, it's like, Guys, we, we kind of have to keep the same energy here. Um, and I agree with Barry, man. I think when it comes to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, mm-hmm. uh, it's a phenomenal game. It's a great game. No, the game is, I, fun. I, the game I, is I dope. Think it's great. It's I great. think I think people who don't even play Final Fantasy should play this game. Like, mm-hmm. Honestly, it really is that good. Um, but I think when it comes to the amount of games that have been releasing, I'm going to be honest. Because I'm such a big Final Fantasy head, I put other games on the back burner for this. Because that's your thing. But right. There's yeah. a lot of people that may be interested in this, but then something else came out and it's like, yo, I, I'd rather play that than this and I'll come to this later. You feel me? So I, I, I'm, I'm going to add to that. I'm going to add to that metric. Mm-hmm. We was talking about some situations earlier from people. I don't want to hear a console got 55 million people. Oh, you only sold 5 million. They didn't sell 5 million God of War copies. I mean, um, they didn't sell five million, 50 million PlayStations to God of War people. Mm. Everybody got a different taste, right? No, nope. yep. you know, Halo is the end all be all for Xbox. That's something, it's basically almost one to one. Like Mario is one to one with their NES consoles. And so is Sega when they had consoles. You know, uh, Sonic was one to one. Certain games is one to one. Every yeah, I mean, game you look, you is look not one to one. You know look at install saying? base as like a potential thing, right? Like it's a potential. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a not, potential, but it's, but it's not. It's not the end all. Be right. All. It's not so when I when I see people go on Twitter and say, "Yeah, y'all got fifty million consoles, and this game sold three million. Why everybody didn't buy it? Everybody don't buy everything. There's only mm-hmm. a certain amount of games, and that sell one to one, platform wise, like the games I mentioned. Halo's one to one, hands down. We all know everybody that got goddamn Xbox. Reason people like Xbox because it was Halo. <laughs> they don't play for Halo, yeah. They don't but play for Halo. It's like it's like it's like saying, "Oh, there's nine billion people on the planet, but everybody don't own a car." Right. So that means cars are failing. Right. Like nobody, everybody isn't buying a car. I hate like, to see that. Oh, yeah. just doesn't make sense. Yeah. So, there's so you the, there's a potential to sell. Right. That many, there's a potential. But everyone's not going to buy that. That's why mm-hmm. you hit it right on the head, persona. You hit it right on the head. Oh, not man. some of these arguments. I, I, I go, and, and, <laughs> as a, and as an accountant, I, I love those and like those those analytic uh conversations but i debate people that all the time because they look at install base like these games are going to sell you know 50 million day one it's nah, never the case like never that. the case and, uh, 
Never and you know, the, the thing about that, Jay Barry, as someone who also loves analytics and looking at those numbers and stuff like that, it's already been proven by multiple studies is that realistically, most gamers, I was like, and most people who buy a console, let's just let's just keep it that way, will only have an attach rate where they typically will buy four to five games for a majority of the lifetime of, it, of its of its run. They said maybe one to two for a little bit on the not hardcore side, but then the more common a year, maybe. But you're talking about people who will buy only five games for a single console for a seven to eight year old system. That means less than a game a year for some people. So when people yeah, are saying, oh, yeah. it only has like a 5% attach rate. Yeah, but that 5% are the hardcore who want to play that specific game. Facts. Facts. Yeah, like these numbers, in my opinion, like personally, for me, I would love Final Fantasy Rebirth to be even higher than that. You know what I mean? Because I love the game a lot. Right. But two million is nothing to be snuffed about. You know what I mean? That's that's still a, 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 a success because, like I said, the majority only the thing is coming out. That's not only crazy. thing Jay Barry I worry about is these companies, right? Did that two million hit that financial mark for us to get another one? That's what I worry oh, yeah. about. That, 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 well, that's the, that, I think that's the thing when, that's when it comes to like, our industry, that's the our, point. our industry as a whole, though, where it's like, yeah. I think some companies set expectations a little too high, and when those things aren't met, they they look at it as a failure. So in turn, everybody else is looking at it as look a at failure. Look at this. Look at this. Look what I said. Oh. See, this, this is why I rock with y'all. I'm going to drop something. Mm-hmm. I'm going to drop some more knowledge I said the other day. 50 million is a successful console, not 100. Yep. It's not the oh, numbers yeah, yeah. 50 because PlayStation has a hundred each time. Damn near. Right. Mm-hmm. People think, Oh no, that's where you got to be successful. No, that's over success. 50 million is successful. Period. Because they have a fan base. That's a hundred million. Don't make that's the number you aim at because those are unrealistic numbers. That's not, Listen, fifty-five million, you good. Mm-hmm. You making yeah, I say, money. I say, whatever, whatever the company deems as profitable, that's a success. That's Anything profitable is successful, yeah. right? You're not yep. losing. It's like, look, Xbox, day number three, right? Before, back in yep. the days, there wasn't allowed three consoles. One would die, right? They're in third place. Console sales, financially, they out here winning, right? They Xbox division has surpassed Windows division. Where they losing that? You get what I'm saying? It's the numbers that we play with that try to dictate what the industry do. Mm-hmm. They out here winning. Sony out here winning. Yes, they may not get the hundred million. A, that's, that's, that's They're that's winning too, man. Like it, it, it's strange. It's strange too, because like when it comes to like these times exclusives. People trying to look at PlayStation or Sony as the failure, failure, or the one that's that's hurting here, and not necessarily Square Enix. And it's like, no, Sony has the console and it's there, and they're doing their thing. Right. If 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 anybody is deeming it's a failure, it would be Square Enix. It would have to but be them because you know, Sony can't say that. They, Sony doesn't own Square. No. They square their own. Nope. Thing. Right. But my my thing, and this this might sound a little a little harsh, um, but. Because sometimes people say, oh, well, you know, it should be in a in a service or it should be on multiple platforms. Like, it is coming to PC, obviously, yep. and they're doing a stagger release or whatever. But my thing is, so let's say it is on multiple platforms and it sells 2.5 million. If majority of the sales within the console space when it comes to these AAA games is on PlayStation and that's the metric that they're reaching... What, how much more of a difference would it make going to another platform outside of Nintendo? But right. Nintendo couldn't handle a game like Rebirth. So it's like, you only right. have Xbox. And, you know, I'm not, and again, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, not, not on console war stuff, but I'm just saying. Nah, like, say what you got to say, bro. Say, yeah, no, say, you ain't got to clean say, nothing say, up. Oh, well, say your know, mind. Yeah, people tend to say, oh, well, you know, it should be on all, all those platforms because it would do better. And it's like, will it, though? Yeah, the but, thing is, but, the thing is, when it comes to. Oh, my oh, bad. Go, go ahead. No, no. Oh, I was going to add on to that person. It's like, the thing about that, too, is like, like you mentioned, that's a that's a Square Enix thing. And the thing is that mm. Square Enix is a notorious reputation for not being able to cultivate fan bases on multiple platforms. I was like, so the th- thing about it is that if they release a game on on all platforms, then the very next game, they only put it on one platform. Then two releases later, then 
they put it on all platforms again. You're not being consistent to be able to grow that fan base. So that's what's hurting them when they want to do multiple console releases. You're not being consistent with those other platforms that you're releasing to. That's what's also going to hurt their sales. Like you said, it's not. But, a but I feel like I feel like a game. I feel like a game like Final Fantasy VII though. It's very, very synonymous with PlayStation. Like when you think Final Fantasy VII specifically, you think PlayStation. It's very, very synonymous. So, like, synonymous. like, like, so like we talked like about earlier. You're right. Yeah. Because so yeah. when it comes to the sales of that, if you're seeing two million here, and I think Final Fantasy has legs, where you know as time goes on and things like that, they'll definitely get more sales. And when we look at the NPDs and and things like that, it's no, you know, it's top three, top five. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, already, it's already the best-selling game, or well, the fourth best-selling game in the U.S. That's three days of sales, according to MPDs. Right. So, which, like, which, which we definitely gotta wait. Us. Yeah, it definitely gotta wait for worldwide numbers and all that stuff. But to see a success like that for a game that came out February 29th, MPDs track until March 2nd, and you're number four as the best-selling game already. That's that's ridiculous. Kind of crazy, including the other games that's being sold. Throughout the year and whatnot, right. but to, no, I, to, I don't deny that. To 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 to, to clear up some things like the Ultimania for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is out, so Part Three is already in development. Uh, they already mm-hmm. working on Part Three. That's coming out for sure. Yeah. Uh, and the thing is, when it comes to you know like Final Fantasy or Square, like I get people would love to play on Xbox and love to play on other platforms, but you also got to listen to the developer what they're saying. They're saying that they'd rather focus on one platform so they can get the game out. And then after the game is out, they can work on other platforms or whatnot. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we know there's contractual agreements and stuff yep, like that. that yep, place yep, yeah, 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 yeah. But that is something that you got to take into account to when it comes to developers and how they want to push out their game. Because we see that on multiple platforms. There will be a game that will come out on Xbox before it come out on PlayStation. Not the fact that, oh, we hate PlayStation. Or, oh, we see the, the install base. No, they want to focus on this one platform right. and then go from there. You know what I mean? So that's what happens. This partnership yeah, and deal. And it does drop games mo- on the platform. So we got to... Yes, you know, yes, yes. And right. multiple developers have expressed that it's much easier to develop on one console than it is for, for multiple SKUs. And the developers of Final Fantasy VII Remake said, is, is, if we had to make for multiple consoles, this game, it would take much longer for this game to come out. It wouldn't right be now. at the scope that it is. Mm-hmm. No. Facts, facts. Okay, come on, touch on this real quick, cause we all been talking. You've been quiet. I know you got your attitude. You ain't feeling it. You know what I'm saying? You, you know you want all that she smoke. Akuma, you know what I'm saying? Akuma look yeah. like she enjoying the conversation. Yeah, you know what I'm like, saying? A cool conversation. Akuma, aka <laughs> APS, a- ASPCA queen. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. You have to say it. I, I enjoy the conversation. Sometimes you don't have to talk. Sometimes you just gotta listen. Oh, so, <laughs> like... so, so you riding out? Well, I mean, I, I mean, I. <laughs> well, I just feel like, like I agree with, with, um, you know, what a lot was, um, being said. I agree with the whole, like, oh, if you're focusing on one thing, then you're not necessarily like on one. If you're not consistent, then you can't cultivate the, um, community across the board. But like I said, but they also brought up good points where it's just like, you know, you got to listen to what the developers are saying, what the companies are saying. In this case, yeah, it would take them longer because. PlayStation 5 and Xbox are still two different systems. So it would, it, I definitely see where they were like, no, it would take us longer to get this game out. And with everybody already clamoring since they put that trailer, what was it? Was it for like the PS3 or PS4? I can't remember. But they put that trailer out and people were like, oh my God, you're remaking it? And they were like, uh, n- 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 no, we just wanted to show y'all what this new system was capable of. I don't blame them for being like, all right, we got to get this out because people are like, clambering for this and then as far as the cells go like yeah i mean you have your your hardcore base for it like i said if i didn't if we didn't have a playstation 5 already i would be i would have saved specifically to get a playstation 5 to play the final fantasy but for me that's one of my favorite games of all time and that comes from like you know i've talked about this before i have that nostalgic factor you know like Mm, that's the first game my older brother taught me to play. You know, right. I remember destroying his game file, like just dying left and right, doing this, and he was <laughs> totally calm. And you know, he was just like, "No problem, it's okay. That's what save files are for. This is, you know, I got, um, don't delete the save file. We good. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Don't save over you know? my save. You're good. Yep. Exactly. You know, so that's definitely, you know, I. So again, that's like I said too uh, when I first joined and introduced. That's part of what got me into gaming, kept me in gaming, because he could have been like, oh, man, why you why you keep dying? Why you keep doing this? And then that, that could have cut my love for gaming off right there. Um, so, 
yeah, for me, like I said, but where I know people were comparing to, because they were like, oh, well, Remake had more sales. Yeah, but Remake was also for 4 and 5. And again, if you listen to the developers they, themselves, they said, we felt like PlayStation 5 has everything we need to make the game what we want to be, and PlayStation 4 doesn't. So you, you have to figure, there's probably people who still want the game, but they got to get a PlayStation 5 first. So mm-hmm. we're looking at these mm-hmm. numbers, right, but they're the... not necessarily set in stone yet. Right. Oh, they have all the priorities. They start, like I said, that's, I know a lot of people that exactly. eat games. It's a lot of games, yeah. man, you know? And right, exactly. Did, this this might sound a little... <laughs> Yo, get you. You ain't gotta do that. Do what you gonna say, bro. Oh no, nah, listen. I'm gonna get. Listen, when I'm a guest in somebody else's house, you know. Nah, I, I nah. White, I told I you. No, this is your house. Road, you you here? Listen. You know what I'm saying? This is your house now. Let's go. The interesting thing about these topics and conversations of sales that always mm-hmm. interests me is whenever we're talking about this stuff and people are being critical or saying, "Yeah, you know, the sales are shitty or sales is this and that." You ask them like, "Did you buy the game?" No. no yeah. mm. Like Bloody mm. said, I so did the homegirl, so right? Part, so you're part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you're contributing right. to the problem. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Shout out to the, the fake they, they gamers out here. Yeah. 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 Those are the people that they like to talk, but they don't do nothing at right. the end of the day. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, all right, you know, the sales might be lackluster to you, but you also didn't buy the game. That I mean, right. yeah, you part like, of the problem. the problem, right? Right. You know? And and it's also like it's like, are you even a fan of the series? Anyways, it's like you don't got no stake in this, so why are you worried yeah. about it? Anyways, yo, final exactly. because everybody want to be clickbait talkers. They want that social media attention. That's why. That's why. That that's An why. Engagement check. And, and, and shout out to my dude that hit me up on Twitter. You see, ain't nobody destroyed the game. We just talk the facts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what we did. And I definitely appreciate y'all and y'all opinions, man. We're going to move on to another topic. <sighs> We're going to stick with PlayStation. Y'all need to buy Final Fantasy, though, if you ain't buy it. Uh, if you're Final Fantasy, I'm not going to lie. I love it so much, but I feel like I'm biased. So. Somebody, <laughs> oh, and, no, without a doubt. And my dude in the chat said, 30 frames is unacceptable. Mm. I'm going to address that. Unacceptable to who? Because let me explain something to you. Multiplayer game, highly successful, was 4K 30. Barely. And millions of people bought it. Mm. Live and die by it. Destiny. Y'all ain't care about 30 frames then. Nobody said a word. Until these next consoles got that next gen update and hit it to 60. Did y'all hear anything about 30 frames? My two guests. What's up, PlayStation? With Destiny? Did anybody say anything about 30 I mean, frames? <laughs> all right, so I, I'm I'm the I'm the Destiny head of the group. Huh. And uh, you know, I'm I'm hardcore, hardcore Destiny <clears throat> 1, Destiny 2. Mm-hmm. Um I and, and especially somebody that's hardcore Call of Duty as well. It was definitely yeah. jarring at first uh, when Destiny first came out and it was 30 frames per second mm-hmm. on PS4. But I will say the game for me was so good with the story and, and just the, the grind and the gameplay loop. I overlooked that. Mm-hmm. But was the my, game smooth, my... Persona? Was the game smooth? Because you know, it 30 was, frames can be smooth. Most, right. You get, because you, you get, you I'm going to name another game that was racing that was 30. And people oh, were so God, late sold for it. <laughs> Project got them racing. racing. Oh, I, I thought you were going to say Drive Club. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. This is not about crapping on no no PlayStation games. This is this is, this is is talking to facts. Project got them yeah. racing is regarded as one of the greatest games ever. That's where Turn 10 came from. Mm-hmm. Right? That game was 30. Nobody said nothing. I'm going to name another classic real quick before you continue. That went from 60 to 30 on every turn. Sega Rally. Dreamcast. Uh, Who said something then? Huh? Rainbow Six Siege. 15 frames when you're shooting in the hallways. Vegas. 30. Was it? Supposed to be 30. 30? I thought it was was 25 or like 20. No, no, no. No, no. It was supposed to be 30. What it ran at was something else. (laughs) Dropped to 15 frames a second. (laughs) Consistently. I I thought that that ran at less than 30. It, uh, no, it ran at 15 frames, bro. But that community was huge. Nobody cared. So this is what I'm saying, Persona. 
these dudes out here capping, oh, it's, it's, it's unacceptable. Then you go, they got that, that Best Buy laptop, and they playing games on it. We know that Best Buy laptop not good. <laughs> you ain't got no 4090. Not Lenovo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Dude, Stop. Lenovo. No, Stop no. getting on Twitter with the cap. Because like Persona said, if you ain't spending four to five grand, your PC sucks. Fifteen hundred yep. is an entry level to say it's a gaming PC, but you playing on that laptop. Five hundred dollars, the wow. Black Friday sale, and y'all ain't here talking about frames. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is what this is why I have to say about the whole frame uh, thing because <sighs> I remember before the consoles came out, I did a stream talking about do not dictate video game developers next gen as far as <laughs> you need to have this 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 mandatory 60 frames a second <laughs> i do believe Facts. that going into the generation like the expectations were set by the company companies where you know they set that 60 frame per second bar you know i mean putting out tweets saying it's going to be the standard and this and that and this and that, and this mm. and that obviously now we see games coming out in 30 frames uh you know whatever reason you know new engine and whatnot you know the typical gamer don't give a damn about that. You know what I mean? It's no. like a new engine. Mm-hmm. They're not talking about no, it. like they don't care. we us the enthusiasts, we get into the, the nitty mm. gritty and the, uh, all the stuff. But uh I would say this like I don't have an issue playing a game in 30 frames a second. Me I don't either. have an issue at all. Me I, either. People used to laugh at me, joke about me all the time. Like, why would you play Spider Man 30? Because I'm like, I never experienced ray tracing. So when that PF5 Miles and Riley started, I was playing at 30 frames. With a rage before they did the whole update, you mm-hmm. know, with the ray tracing and performance. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I wanted to get all that whole next gen newness, you know, uh experience. So really I don't have an issue playing 30. I do think it can be disappointing though that you set the standard for 60 frames per second or higher in the generation, and you don't have the option for other, you know, like performance mode or a balance mode or using VR, mm-hmm. VR, VR, that's still S11 on developers, not on console. Here's my here's my that's what he's saying is that not take, not he, taking advantage he, of it. Yeah, yeah that, that that's my thing, right? Like, because like obviously you know never forget where you come from, right? You know we've been playing yeah. thirty frames per second on a lot of games for years, right? Um, we were playing 12 on consoles frames a second. and stuff like that. So, <laughs> but my thing is you know as the generations go forward, especially now with technology and how you know. You see Mark Cerny come up on stage and he's talking about smart shift and the cash scrubbers and our DNA two and this and that and all these different things that's now being talked about um, when it comes to consoles. I can understand the expectation uh, also increasing with each console with each console generation. But I think from a first party perspective, and I'll use PlayStation as the example, I do think that PlayStation's first party studios are giving you that next gen or that 60 frames per second because because every first party playstation game that's releases has a performance mode right i think when we start delving into the third party perspective of things that's where things get a little bit money but even from that perspective majority of the games that have released from third party do have a 60 frames per second mode i think there's maybe five or six games out of like thousands that have released that aren't that aren't 60 frames per second so i feel like this 30 frames per second conversation you know, obviously, you know, little console console war jokes here and there, stuff, you know, with, you know, like Hellblade 2 and things like that or whatever. But for the most part, most games aren't releasing 30 frames only. So, I mean, but that's still a developer. It's not the console, right? Look, yeah, yeah, I'm going to say yeah. this for the record. Yeah, yeah, it's the dev, for sure. AMD GPUs and, and then CPUs do not do ray tracing well, period. I don't care what kind of PC you got. That's built for RTX. Facts. If you're going to put in ray tracing to kill my frame rate, I'll play on regular, right? Mm. Now they're trying to find a balance. But stop being snobs, people. You're not too good for 30 frames. Listen, I played Gotham Knights at 30 frames, man. I was and give, I was, yo, I was see, I was hell for that game. You just man. took, uh, you uh, took uh, that out. <laughs> I and played. Bar was playing it on co-op got the to that and all. Yeah, I got the platinum yeah. and everything. Yo, listen, man. that's a game that got shut down by this fake ass community that pretends that they, everybody on Twitter is rich. Mm-hmm. Everybody rich on Twitter. Everybody, everybody got the bag. Everybody buy all the games, and now y'all bought them frames, bars. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Mm-hmm. I don't want to hear it. 
If you ain't building no super high-end PC and you ain't got the bag, stop capping on Twitter. Because, mm-hmm. listen, man, that's why I bring up games that I knew were successful that was dirty. You didn't care. Oh, yeah, today's standards. Let me explain to you how it works. You need to pay attention to these 108 Dragon TV videos when I'm talking to developers. Because mm-hmm. as they boost the power of consoles, they boost the power of graphics. You, every game is not going to be 60. Should you have the mode? Some games come out with a performance mode that looks like dog shit. I ain't spend $70 for my game look like crap to play in 1080p between 1080p and 4, 4 uh, 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 2K just because I want 60. I got, a eight, I got an 8K TV. I want the best graphics I could possibly get and squeeze out, especially for myself as one um, um, single play experience. I want to be odd. I don't need 60 and the game looks like mud. I'm sorry. So stop, people. Some games look good at 60, but you playing, you, y'all, everybody in here got a 4K TV. Nobody playing on 1080p TVs no more. Do they even sell them? I, yeah. think, I think I think having the whole 60 Probably frames is definitely... <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think uh, 60 frames is definitely like the preferred frame rate. Yeah, but I think that I think the issue is is not necessarily just the thirty frames or versus sixty. Is just more is the game stable and does it look good enough? With yes. Like, oh, I'm wild by it. Yes. I think that's the conversation that people look for. Like, a game could be thirty, and if it's not stable, oh yeah, you you're yeah stable, yeah, yeah, right, you know I mean? right. Yeah, like but Gotham Knights you... is a perfect example. It was locked thirty. Yeah. They was talking about all this old tetherless. Co-op and all this. Oh other no, stuff. Gotham Knights definitely has some frame. Gotham issues. Knights have frame <laughs> issues even at 30 frames per second, which yeah. I think that's more of a developer thing. Yes, than and then and they pa- but they passed it though. Yeah, they did. Uh, patch it. But they did patch it, but it, it, ain't, it ain't rock solid. But I it mean, was yeah. a lot better. But that's what Lemon's right. saying is that not every dev is made equal. They're you know, not. Like they're not. Yeah, you know? I say it I all say the time. But I think, I think gamers are spoiled though. You know, like I think games are spoiled from a first party perspective. But are, the but are they, though, of are they spoiled or they feel entitled? Entitlement is different. Probably a little from column A, a little from column B. A little, <laughs> right, I, right. A little, you know? I think, I think I, the I, expectations if, if, was if, set. If, That's what I, I think. think. The, the reason thing. it's entitlement but also a bit spoiled is because of the fact that there's this notion right because of the fact that since it's first party it's coming from in-house they are the teams that need to properly utilize the hardware right oh, yeah, so they they're the, the ones who are best. pushing yeah. it exactly so it's just like if you're not getting the best performance the best visuals everything out of your first party then how are you gonna trust third party My, it's like I'll it's like you. well me and you lemon we talk about this all the time mm-hmm. look at gears right they are the masters of unreal what have they been doing? They've been pushing 60 frames and solid looks for years. They were the first ones to get 4K 60 working in in campaign, and then again in horde mode, and then look at what they did with Escape. And then guess what? Now they got the multiplayer war- running 4K 120. I was gonna say, okay, that's but what hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Party. We don't have one game that runs 4K 120. No, only a multiplayer. Aspect. No, 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 no. There isn't one game that runs 4K 120. Oh, one game now. There isn't one game that's touching 4K solid. We ain't talk about variable refresh rates. There isn't one game that we own that is solid 4K 120. There isn't one. Halo, Call of Duty, there isn't one because that takes a lot of horsepower to maintain 4K and to do 120. You have 4K 120 mode but that's not what the game running at. It's usually no, 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 1440p, 1800p. But we don't have one game today. Not one. Not on console. That's 4K 120. And but my this, man, this, this, hold on, let me let me let me hit my man real quick. He said it's not entitlement. They promise. You didn't see no developer promise you nothing. You saw executives and CEOs saying yeah, it's, that. A, it's a standard you the, never the, the seen thing, a developer thing, say oh no it's the standard because when you speak to a developer that's why i say you need to watch my content because i always had these conversations with developers mm. 30 frames is the is the standard it's not 1080p 60 facts see that's us talking that that's us in the community but the developers mm. don't tell you that when i said tom howard Loves 30 frames because he does so much in his games. If he has to double it, it will hinder the game. 
Skyrims, Elder mm-hmm. Scrolls, Fallouts, Starfield. Everybody was like, Lemon, you bugging with today's power? Yeah, you go, yeah, really? If the dude gonna make the game 30, now, oh, I play it on PC in 60, yeah, because on PC is like it's like the mercenary of gaming. It's unlocked over there. They can do what they want to do. But your PC got to handle it. This this is the thing, though, right? When you got games like God of War, uh, uh, Spider-Man, Horizon Forbidden West, and things like that, that just look absolutely stunning, either in 60 or in 30 or in 40 Mm -hmm. in some cases. Yeah, Yeah, 40. I can see see how some gamers may look at that stuff and say... I want. Why can't all games be like this? And yeah, but everybody part, ain't got that party, engine. They ain't got that engine. They ain't got true. the teams. No, that's true. There's a lot. There's a lot of variables. <laughs> it's a there's, lot there's of variables. There's definitely a lot of variables with that. But for a gamer, I, for a gamer, and I'll just I'll just use myself like as an example. Uh, if a gamer is looking at a game like Horizon and saying, oh, "I wish all games would look like this," they're not thinking, "Oh, well, because this is the Decima engine and it was built this way, and with the Decima engine, the way you're able to get these visuals so crisp like this is because it's offloading everything behind you and loading everything in front of you." Like, no, a regular gamer is not thinking like that. They're thinking, "I want all games to be as pretty as this, and if it's not, it's not worth the money." That's what some people, people don't understand. Are saying, people don't understand like, art style either, right? True. No. You got you get you got you got the Telltale games, right? Right. Yeah. You got that games like you got games look. you got you got you got games like uh Sea of Thieves. Pixelated. Right? You got games that look more realistic, Last of Us. Um mm-hmm. we got a game getting ready to drop Hellblade. That looks realistic, right? Mm. Art style. Don't we can't criticize somebody's art vision. Right? That means you want everybody mm-hmm. to paint exactly the same way. No. You need different styles in gaming. Spider-Man mm-hmm. looks phenomenal. I don't care what frame you playing in it looks great right yep i play in 30 i want the best that i'm gonna pull out my ps5 so it's 30 i don't need 60 but these Mm. people act like they need 60 and like i always say i mentioned the games that they playing or played and they're big games and nobody cared about 30 that's my point we can't make it a frame thing because like i said if you want to be the ultimate gamer go spend that four or five thousand Go! Good luck. Cause the PC realm, they have their own problems. Like games not working. Arkham, the Arkham series still don't work good on PC. Consoles Driver the best way to play. That was crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. So what I'm just saying is we can't downplay what a developer wants. We are not developers. We gamers. But stop going out here criticizing, sending penis pics, and all kind of other craziness. <laughs> Because you're, you're weird. You're weird. And if you don't get in here and talk to a developer, don't tell me what a CEO said because he's promoting his brand. Mm. They always tell you, yeah, you should buy Jordans at $450. People like pro kids. <laughs> Some people shop at Skechers, right? Everybody don't have to wear Jordans. Come on. Everybody's oh, no, different. Not touching my feet. No, they're not touching mine either. But, <laughs> but hey, look, I'm, I'm just the saying. logo can't be on the sketches. If the logo's not on there, all right. Oh, man, you want to know. If the logo's not on there, those are just sketch. That's what it is. Nah, it, it ain't got nothing. It got no logo exactly. or nothing on there. It's just, it's just some shoes. Like, oh, where you get those? Oh, you know, these just something I had in the closet. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But now, what sneaker I used to like? I used to like them G Unit joints. Remember them joints that came out? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yo. I had, I had that in the S dot card as the Gucci yo, ripoff. Too, bro. The, the Gucci, okay, the Gucci well, ripoff. Hey, listen, yeah. I, I definitely had a pair of K-Swiss. Yo, like, listen, you know, uh, we all did. Oh, nah, I never had K-Swiss. I never yeah, had K-Swiss. I'm, I'm older than y'all. K-Swiss was in super style in my day in junior high school. Yeah, crazy, crazy. Point, you know what I'm saying? But listen, man. I, I was a Reebok boy. You know, but go ahead, my bad. I, I had those pumps for $200. I had those. <laughs> my D Brown LA dunk gear? status. LA oh no, nope, nope. I didn't wear that. Oh, you didn't wear LA gear? Nah, I nah. I wore Playboys oh. in the floor shine store. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> new, 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 balance, new Balance as well, man. You know, yeah, rock a nice, nice pair of New Balance. Facts, you know? facts. On my West Coast khaki days. I man, rock new you know what I'm saying? Sir. But listen, man. New I Balance wanna... with the dicky suit. Oh wow! Ooh. Oh, listen, bro. Old school, bro. Listen, no, bro. Not, not in California. They wear that every day. Oh man! You know, a, a Dickies out there is like guest jeans. 
<laughs> Facts. But I want to move into something that, first of all, I don't like talking to some of these people or texting them or y'all some crybabies. They look for stuff to cry. They, they killed the Justice League. The Justice League is a good game to me. I don't know why they killed that game like that. But Sea of Thieves gets PS, PlayStation exclusive skins. Now, if you want a new community to dive in a game that already got 35 million players, right? Huge fan base. They don't expect no more growth on the Xbox platforms or PC. They put on PlayStation. You want the community to get involved. So we all know about exclusive deals, exclusive content, and Call of Duty. Several of a hundred titles of exclusivity. <sighs> I'm going to go to you, bloody. Why? Why are people complaining for a game they had for seven years rocking out that another platform gets and sharing and showing love to another platform? Talk to me, bloody. Honestly, I, I don't get it. I was like, I feel that it's kind of ridiculous and and over over an unnecessary amount of vitriolic nature, right? Because of the fact that, like you said, we've had this game since at least 2016, 2017. It was in early access for a while or before and everything else, before they hit the re full release and it became the monster that it is today, right? They need a new platform because they've already monetized as much as they can out of the current platform and the current community that they have. Why not offer something exclusive? It's not like the Steam and the and the Xbox community doesn't have exclusives. It's like how many Halo themes? How many Ori? Uh, how about Ori and the Blind Forest? Ori and the Will of the Wisps? Any call? It, uh, we even have Gears themes and all sorts of stuff. Exclusives that were only for limited years that were collections that if you weren't at live events and stuff like that, people are complaining to complain. I was like, it is what it is. I was like, it's not like we haven't seen this before. I was like, hell, look at there's games that have had multiple versions that have exclusive content for the platform you're on. I'm looking at you, Soul Calibur 4. Guess what? If you were on, on PlayStation, what, you had, uh, what was it, Darth Vader? And then if you had it on, the play on, on Xbox, you had Yoda? I was like, hell, if you had it on, on Nintendo, you had Link. I was like, exactly. It's like this, this exclusive stuff, it's cosmetic anyways. It doesn't matter. Guess what? It just lets you know what kind of p person you're playing with. That's a way to just have a visual cue or anything. I was like, I honestly think that it's completely stupid and unnecessary. I was like, I feel like people are just wanting to complain because they're like, oh no, they're getting my first party game. Shut the hell up. It's like, it doesn't matter anymore. It, it's over at this point. That's just how as, I think. As they, as they should complain. Let me tell you something my life. When you come over to the best platform in gaming, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> there I wait. I wait. I wait until let me come back too. I wait until. I'll I'll wait. Wait. <laughs> no, first of all, I let I let I let bloody talk bathroom. cause he never comes up for oxygen. So I use the bathroom and I refilled my cup and I ain't missed nothing. <laughs> but continue. Go ahead, wow, Barry. You waited for me. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> I work me nothing. Yeah, I know they mean for something. Your, your, your games are the best platform in gaming. You gotta come correct. You know what I mean? You, know, <clears> you, gotta, said you gotta come with an offer. You, <clears> yeah, you gotta you gotta set things apart out here. You know what I mean? So <laughs> listen, I'm not the biggest fan of Sea of Thieves, but for anybody that's getting into it, you know, hopefully you enjoy no, it. No, that game is uh, awesome, bro. But it's a it's a first of all, it's an MMO adventure game. Yep. Yeah, it is. I don't have time for it. The best part about that game is when it came out. My boy 100 got drunk, and we locked him in the brig <laughs> oh, for, man. for a long time. He was like, let me out. We was like, nah. <laughs> Sleep it off. <laughs> <laughs> that I was think, crazy. Think, like, uh, the, whole, the whole multiplayer dynamic is cool, but like the, when I played it, it was like 2017. I played the beta. I had it on PC um, yep. through Game Pass when I had Game Pass. Uh, you don't have Game Pass now? I don't have Game Pass now. Yo, Barry, now, uh, uh, Persona, cut his mic off. <laughs> nah, <'cause, laughs> like, you know, you in here capping for PlayStation. That's the best deal in gaming, baby. You're a gamer. Come on. If Come there, on. If there's, any game, if there's any game I'm interested in, I'll just outright buy it. Buy it. You know yeah. what I mean? Rather yeah, than exactly. just having the service. But, so you don't have the PlayStation services? No, that's my, I mean, that's my primary platform. Like, if I no, but have, no, do you have the, the subscription service on PlayStation? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. I just wanted to point that out, Persona. I'm just... At least but look, <laughs> for me... For hey, me, but me no, no, but wait. Even, even with the service... For me to play service, games online, 
I need to yeah. have that. You know what I mean? I need to have I got PlayStation anyway. Plus, but I don't have the, none of those services. Well, it's all well, tied in now. Play oh, unless you got the way. unless you got the uh, the the standard, you got the standard edition. No, I got standard, bro. Oh, oh yeah, you got okay. the yeah, you that's got the initial, why. Uh, yeah, so it's just in the pregame. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The essential. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, that's what I got. I want the other but, services, but I want day and date. I'm spoiled. <laughs> that's what I want. Yeah, I, I I I I would never say Game Pass is not a uh, like a good value, but for me, you know, where I play Xbox games on PC, if there's a game that interests me on Xbox. And it's on PC. I just buy it right, right. Nice, right yeah, nice. Like Hellblade, two months, Hellblade two. Month, I'm buying month, that on month, Steam. Month, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not gonna buy uh, it from the place, the Xbox store. No, I'm buying it from Steam, man. It, no, you I'm know good. why? You know why I never buy from the Xbox store I'm no good. more? Or the on Windows store. So wow. I bought Cuphead, right? Cuphead, I bought. Mm -hmm. Beat Cuphead, but yo, if my saves got deleted. Wait, 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 wait. My cheap. You beat Cuphead. Yeah, Cuphead. Is yo, let's get this dude a round of applause. Cuphead is good. It is. But it's a great game. It's a challenging game. Yo, once you get past certain bosses, yeah, I that's feel like how me and you pretty much met when you made fun of me when I took the pictures with the Cuphead characters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember yeah. that. I remember that's that, how yeah, we yeah, met. Okay, <laughs> yeah. bro. I'm sorry. But now, nah, like, like when you beat certain bosses, I feel like the last. Two bosses is not bad. Like uh, the devil and uh, the little card dude is not mm -hmm. bad at all. That but, game is hard, man. Oof. But yeah, my, my save got deleted. How? I, like, Yo, I, I don't know how because, you know, it, it was linking through the Windows Store and like the Xbox app. And some, I, I remember coming back. And yo, my save was just gone. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> yo, that's <laughs> you know how, I mean? yo, but, that's, I, I, I told somebody that's why I'm mad about God of War. My save was gone. Mm. God of War Ragnarok? No, God of War. 2018. Oh, 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 2018. Oh, 2018. Okay. Okay. My say, Yo, I was I was pissed off. That was a lot of work. What what was them mm -hmm. things called? The Banshees? What were them things called? You mean the Those Guardians? The Valkyries. Ones? Valkyries. Oh, Valkyries. Bro, I had I, like I two of them beat, bro. That, no, no, no. I, I was not happy. Right when I got my <laughs> PS5, I forgot that I was gonna I wanted to replay through God of War, right? And I realized that my save that I did on Give Me God of War difficulty, where I was literally on the last Valkyrie, all that work is gone. So I'm just like, well, I have to completely start all the way over. I'm just like, man, I can't do this right now. I was like, Bro, this, on, I, on PS4, uh, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, the 2019, mm -hmm. uh, that corrupted like my, my saves on PS4. But I, I remember turning off the, uh, the cloud save. I forgot what game I turned off the cloud save for. And yo, when I played that, you got you remember that game for something? My joke got corrupted. Yeah, God of War, days, days gone. Like all my joint deleted, yeah. bro. So I had to start all over again with those. I mean, I already had to beat and platinum, but new game plus, I couldn't do that until I had to start all the way over and all the way over and all that. You know what I mean? But yeah, I was like, I feel that. I was like, that's at the end of the day, I... end of the day, you see if these come on to PlayStation. Listen, man. He's like, you got, you got to. Right. You gotta entice. You gotta entice the you know the PlayStation Nation, man. So I don't know what the costumes or exclusive weapon or pet is, but I don't. I don't know either. For. I just. I just know. I'm good. Um, I gotta shout out my brother in the chat. First of all, <laughs> put ourselves together, give a round of applause for my brother Megatron, who's in the chat. Shout out to Megatron. All oh, hell, Megatron. Yeah, I'm loving the voice, the voices, man. The voice, the voice changer. That's dope, man. That's good. That's good. Shout out to my brother that's that just good. pulled up, man. You already know what it is. I gotta return your call, bro. I've been really drunk lately. <laughs> man. <laughs> so you know, shout out to Megatron in the chat. Um, so, so hold on, where we where we at, man? Oh, see at these. Okay. So, <laughs> Akumu, talk to me. See at these player, are you? Yeah, How do you feel about the, oh, oh wait, wait another topic you gonna skip out on huh? I had to skip it. I didn't skip it on the last one. You just you asked if I was a Sea Thieves player. I said no. As far as like exclusive cosmetics, I I don't care. I've never cared. I mean, I if I really want a cosmetic that's exclusive to something else, I will save my money and I will get the game again. I have done that before in the past. I'm guilty. I admit it. I'm not going to hide it. Um, but sometimes, you know, if I'm like, oh, I don't have the money, sometimes it's like, okay, well, which one do I really want? 
which one am I going to play the most on? If it's multiplayer, it's like, okay, I also look at what are my friends playing on? Because at the end of the day, primarily when I get multiplayer (laughs) games, there's already like people that I play with. So it's also like, oh, where where are they? I have some, like my cousin, he's mainly PlayStation. So sometimes he's like, man, I miss playing games with you. It's like, okay, what do you want to play? Let me see. Let me see if I can afford to get this game or whatever. And, you know, Xbox, vice versa, PC, I've never hidden it. I definitely am primarily a PC gamer, but that don't mean that I don't play everywhere. So, facts, facts. You know, cosmetics for me have never been a thing because they're just cosmetics i'm like it's not something that's gonna help me win the game does it look cool sure i'm not saying that but at the end of the day hey it's not pay to win i don't i don't care because i can still enjoy the game for what it is without having right you know those cosmetics right. so. anybody else want to touch on this before i go it could, it could be like a, a playstation blue color that people you know getting head over heels for like you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, listen. exactly it's like you especially when you don't even know you don't even know what it is and you're already getting up in arms about it it's just like but i feel like that's just the thing with people sometimes it's just like you're taking our toy away we haven't played your toy in x amount of time doesn't matter it was still mine i feel like sometimes that's what it is that's interesting but but i'm gonna uh, say this i mean i i also understand people getting upset no, they wow, shouldn't be getting upset. No, they should not. And I'm a, <laughs> no, they shouldn't get upset. You get upset if they take away your content that you paid for. You get upset when you get a game and it's unplayable because it's broken. That's the reason to get upset. Not because another platform got exclusive content to bring in that community because I'm pretty sure they didn't get the Pirates of the Caribbean, which was amazing and made me jump back into the game because I'm a Pirates of the Caribbean fan. You, come on, man! This community that almost made me play the game. I'm not gonna yo, lie. That this Pirates community, of Caribbean, I this generation the game of gamer, man. Some of these, some of these bastards are pathetic. I mean, you they are, yo, bro. For, they watch a trailer. They, 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 they watch a trailer for a game. Matter of fact, let me let my nephew get to y'all real quick. This is crazy. <laughs> I know. Get the, put that baby back away. Yeah, man. Yo, listen. I was excited for that goddamn game to go to another platform. It's already 35 million people. You gonna cry? All the content we get, the cracking is lacking. Remember that? And we had to prove that everybody played the game. Whoa. And now you got that. You got it over there. That means you can have Xbox ships versus PlayStation ships. Uncle Lem, tell these mother suckers. It's about competition, and I'm petty like 50 cent. Oh, these are the facts. I just want y'all to know the truth. When I play 2K, and I see that symbol, and it's a PlayStation player, I turn my mic on. Oh, and I say, yeah, Xbox the best box. I'm going to whoop your ass today. Take this dirty piece of chicken with no biscuits. <laughs> That's Yo, what I'm doing things. outside. Listen, listen, Uncle Bloody, you shut your ass up. Why don't you get... <laughs> Yo, listen here. Somebody get this child away. I was like, how oh. the hell does he have more facial hair than I do? God damn. Oh. <laughs> Yo, oh, man. <laughs> Crazy. I'm telling you, you should welcome another community to play a game that you love together. Stop hating. At the end of the day, not a PlayStation fan, not a PC fan, not a Nintendo fan, an Xbox fan. We are labeled by one word. Gamers. Even if you play on your phone, you dumbass. Facts. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that phone. <laughs> Yo, I don't know about the phone either, but shout out to my nephew, that. man. Shout Yo, out to no, Little no, no, Lamb. There's, there's some pretty intense hardcore mobile-only titles that are actually really fun. I was like, shout, shout out to, out to, uh, to Little Lamb, girl, man. She loves mobile. Shout out to Little Lamb. Listen, we all gamers, people. This is why we had a show. We gamers. I don't care what platform these two brothers play on. They gamers. We're not separatists. Because, let me ask you a question, Mr. Persona, J. Bari, Akumu. Bloody, this is one question I've been saying since 2018. When you go to these events, do you see console warren? And nope. Nah, yo. <laughs> real talk, you don't see you don't see a lot of that. Uh, Everybody's just like happy that. to be there. Uh-huh. 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 
I mean, look, look, look at us on this panel right now. I was like, Persona and Jay Barry, they're they're very big PlayStation fans, right? I was like, we Akumu is a PC person. I was like, me and you, Lem, I was like, we're Xbox more people, but you on everything. We all on everything. And look at that. You know what? Me and Persona were sitting there at the bar talking about our love of Street Fighter VI. <clears throat> I was like, we didn't ask what, what platform that we was playing on. Just like, no, it don't, e like it don't even first. matter. Exactly. Mm. It don't mm -hmm. matter. I don't care what controller you prefer. Don't matter. Mm -hmm. We playing the same game. Mm -hmm. I bumped into this dummy in GameStop. Oh, I would never play 2K on Xbox because their cl players are blocky. I said, what? Players are what? What? They're blocky. Yeah. They're blocky. Yeah. blocky. Like, what that like, mean? like, you know, you remember how the old games was? Where you could see the polygon. Oh, blocky. blocky. Like, oh, 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 oh. Like, blocky like that. Okay. Not like pixels. Nah. I was yeah. like, I said, my dude, it's the same blocky. game. No, it's not. It's blocky over there. They don't move like the. I said, it's the same game, my dude. <laughs> and he was a grown ass man. It wasn't like a young boy who didn't know, but he grown. He was as grown as me. I said, listen, you need, you need help. Oh, that's just that one guy that you need some just, help, bro. just once, just once that I met met somebody that was like that who yelled at me because I was getting a game on Xbox. Yo, I remember you told us me. that, right? Like, yo, listen, like... listen, listen. <laughs> if you play Battlefield, it's the same on Xbox and PlayStation. It's the same in PC, right? It's the same game. Some of y'all weird out here in these streets. I was so thrown off. I was like, okay, I've never. <laughs> listen, man, let's move on. Oh, another crybaby situation, but I'm going to leave my nephew where he at, man. <laughs> Listen, Star Wars Outlaws. Mm. I want to get oh, y'all thoughts. Oof. I'm going to you, Persona, because you sound like you might have a difference of opinion. But I'm going to say this. Hold on. <laughs> Persona, I'm going to say this. What's up? What's up? What's up? I like what I saw. It's like, it's like some people that love Halo, they love... Uh, they love Halo Reach. They like ODST because it's a... Halo is a galaxy. There's many stories to be told, right? Yep. It's a great situation. I got it. And some people like those side stories. Me, I'm a Star Wars, Star Trek. I'm a sci-fi dude, right? Yep. But those are like my favorite two, right? I want to see different stories. That's why I love Disney for what they're doing with giving you different branches and and in and, 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 and different areas that was going on. While everybody know the Luke and Luke, I'm your father. We all know that. But we don't know what else is happening. So I like the different aspects. So I like what I saw in Outlaws. But I want to get your opinion. Talk to me. What did you feel about the trailer? Like or dislike? And where do you think this game could go? So uh, I'm a big, big, big Star Wars head, man. Like I love Star Wars. I'm a Trekkie, yep. all that stuff. <laughs> Yo. Uh, I, I I think this game looks great. You know, I think the gameplay of this game looks awesome. I already pre-ordered the game, you know, $130 edition. You yes. know, people coming at me and Barry. Yo. Yes! So we, we fanboys for pre-ordering games, you know, so, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy. But <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Man, you're supposed nah, to pre-order. What the hell? But, 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 <laughs> when it comes to, like, uh, the site, I, I agree. Like, I, you know, I love the story of uh, Vader and Luke and, and, right. and all that stuff, right? I think that's a great story. But I also love oh, you the know side stories that are being told and all that. Oh, that, which one is that? The uh, this the last Force Awakens? One. Yes. Yeah, no, no, no. That, this that is new, this is Rise trilogy. of Skywalker. This is Rise of Skywalker. Rise Skywalker. Cup. I'm sorry. All that, that but listen, garbage. Respectfully. <laughs> oh well, you oh, know what? Yeah, you know I'm what? Not I'm not I wouldn't say garbage. <laughs> That's right. I like, I like, I like, I like the first. I like just, the first and third movie. The second look, movie. I'm good. Look, I don't like it, none of it. It just. <laughs> It just Once they did my boy John Boyega bad like that, yeah, it, it, it just yeah, doesn't have all this. It just doesn't. It doesn't live up to the brand, no, right? It doesn't at all. But nah. if you look at that movie outside of Star Wars, compare it to something else, another series is definitely better than other movies. <laughs> but compared to the Star Wars brand. Yeah, it was like, the other I mean, obviously, you know, the, the, the prequels, people still put that as the worst. No, nah, no, no, um, no, nah, no, no, there's no, no, I was like, no, hell no. Listen, I, 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 I everybody, think this new trilogy is kind of trash. Yo, <laughs> like, it's up there. I, I wouldn't say trash because the production crazy. I didn't like, I didn't like the, uh, what's his name? Damn. The villain name. Like, Kylo, like, Kylo, Kylo like Ren. Oh, oh Kylo Ren, yeah. I, they, they, yo, and then the twist that on the third movie where, oh, well, you know, I'm Palpatine's granddaughter. And then, I'm like, yo, listen. Like, listen. Get me out the theater, bro. What are we watching right now, bro? Get, I yo, say, man, the he's only, still alive. And, 
he's a clone. And, the and only, the kind of, the, just like, to be fair, in the comics and even in the story, though, like we know that that Palpatine had clones and all sorts of other like contingencies if anything happened to him. So I mean, a lot of people didn't read was, the comics still, though. I, I read. I read a no, lot. No, no, no. I no, but a lot. Like, it's like it's like I read the Halo books. A lot of people don't know nothing about uh, Master Chief. Mm. They just know what they played. They only know Master Cheeks now. No, Master Cheeks is the man. That means he's knocking them down like Lemetheus. Because <laughs> we like uh, uh, Yo, in, ter- in, ter- in terms of uh, in terms of the game, though, I think I think the game looks great. I think it looks fun. Thank you. Uh, Thank and it's you. definitely something that I can't I can't wait to play. I actually thought you were going to talk about something else when it came to Star Wars. That's why I said, "Oh man, here we go." But you just talking about like the game and all. No, so, yeah, the, nah, the, the game, game, the game. game is. Yeah, the game is great. I, I think it looks great. And I'm there day one. I love Star Wars. And I'm and there. I got that Ubisoft Plus. Shout out to my guy, my best friend, Mr. Mini Me, who I own um, game share with. Yeah, I got that UB Plus. And I still bought the game for a buck and some change. Oh, that. Game is due. <sighs> my light skinned brother over there. Talk to me. Outlaws. Yeah, man. Um, super excited for it. I love the Star Wars, uh, you know, franchise. I like the lore, the world, like mm-hmm. you know, setting up. Um, and yeah, it's a world that you can just get these whole bunch of different diverse stories from. Um, like the smuggler stuff, we definitely can get more into that. Uh, yeah. you know, the Han Solo, you yeah. know, lifestyle and whatnot. You saw him in the, you saw him in the game. I didn't even catch him again. No, 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 no. And, and go watch that. Go watch that. Uh, yeah, I gotta watch the trailer wait. again. Him in the carbonite. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I was like, like yeah, yeah. So this is definitely between um, Empire, Strikes Empire Strikes Back, Strikes and, back and, Jedi. and Jedi. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. That gave what? you. That gave you the time frame. See you. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I love Star Wars, man. Like, yeah. I watch Star Wars all the time. Man. It raised so, us. And, you know, side yeah. stories are great, man. Like, you know, Mandalorian. I can't wait for oh, Acolyte. Oh. Yeah, so it's like, yo, man, like What was like the, what was that stuff. movie where they show when they got the de- the um the Death Star plans and they all died? Oh, Rogue. Rogue, Rogue, Rogue Run. One. Oh, yeah, Rogue, Rogue One. Rogue One. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you that's something. my that's of the new Star Wars movies, that's, that's one of my definitely favorites. my favorite. Yo, man. Yo, I love that. Yo, yo movie. awesome. Bro, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna so tell you this. So because of the how yes. great of a story yes. that they actually created, and I think yeah. that's because of some. Uh, unfortunately, for a lot of us gamers and what we grew up with, the Star Wars with the expanded universe and everything else, people wanted you know the original Dark Forces and stuff like that, right? Because they wanted that particular character. They wanted Kyle Katarn, right? But no, what they try to do to to kind of give into yo, that, Dark but Force also change it up. Too, yeah, 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 dude, Dark. Like yo, see, this is why J Bar. That's why me and J Bar are, are good piece. I was like, we joke all the time, but we got the same passions. So what's that? Yo, legit, legit playing the remaster too. Yo, buddy, this came uh, out, uh, I'm about to put this dude on speakerphone. Yo, King David, I'm live on the show right now. You on speakerphone? One Away Dragons TV. J Bari and Persona here. What up? I know you live on the show. Send me, send me the goddamn link. Send me the goddamn oh. link now. Oh, yo, <laughs> yo, you see how my brother Debo me? We the same size. You know what I'm saying? We on top of the food chain. You see how he talked to me? Yo, 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 we about to be invaded. <laughs> yo, yeah, I got, goddamn. Damn, King. Now, <laughs> uh, now, it's about to be turned up. Yeah, man. yeah, King yeah. Through? Shout out, yo, about to yo, real, yo. I love my brother. King, King was right. listening with that uh, Sea of Thieves. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, y'all got, y'all continue, y'all continue. I got to yeah, work but, behind uh, the scenes. Yeah, the trail looks great. Pre-ordered the game for some strange reason. That's that's shunned upon. Uh, you know what I mean? Where somebody try to, you know, say we're ponies because we pre-order games that we're enjoying or or we got excited for. Like, I tell people all the time, man, I don't go off of what people think or say. I go off of what I do. People don't play games yep. with me. I play my own game. So uh, if you have issues with Ubisoft and how they do games, that's a you problem. That's not a me problem. If I see a game that they, it looks good and I want to play it, guess what? I'm going to buy it. That's, that's what it is. You know what I mean? Uh, but, yeah, I, I like the character. The character looks dope. And like I said, I definitely want to see more of that scoundrel lifestyle. So, you know what I mean? Um, super, super excited uh, to see where they go with the story. Um, and yeah, it looks it looks great. Frame rate could be a little bit better uh, from the the trailer, but other than that, I think I think we in for a good ride uh, with this one. Who I lost? Facts, facts, facts. I don't mind playing as a female character lead. I'm sorry, 
I don't mind. <laughs> it is what it is. Right? I was like, I think that whole like issue was just like was so stupid. It's just like y'all are really gonna be hating on this because she's a female smuggler and shit like that. I'm just like, nah. It's so stupid. Well, I've seen a lot of people like coming at her look saying she's not attractive oh, or they yeah. changed up hey. too much from like how the, the the model scan looked and all this other stuff. I'm yeah, looking that... at it like, yo, I don't see yeah, it, that... man. Like I'm just not sweating it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like it doesn't matter how she looks, man. It's like it's about how the game plays. I was like, it's what it is. I was like, mm. if you're playing a game for, you know, titillation and looks, I was like, let it be that. I was like, that's why, you know, you look at a game like Near Automata and Stellar Blade. But guess what? Still badass action, but you know mm. exactly what you're getting when you look at those characters because that's how they're made. Same yeah, I like what you said. You said you said titillation. <laughs> but it is. You know, he knew what he was doing shit. with that word, huh? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Doing, for sure. I knew exactly, exactly. But the fact is that everyone wants to now make it like if I was like, what, what about half these dudes that we see in video games? It's like not all of them are attractive. I was like, and I don't see any dude who's built like a tank when you look at half the dudes in gears. I was like, are y'all complaining about that? Y'all complain that y'all mm. don't look like that? Because that's what it sounds like here. So it's just like, man, people would be starting arguments and things over the stupidest stuff. You know what? You know what it is too. Like, this is what I'm seeing. I don't know if this is true, but I don't see women complain about women characters. It's this dude just complain about women characters. Like, yo, mm -hmm. like, why are you worried about uh, uh, representation and how a female looks or whatnot? I, 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 I want to see like, especially Akuma. Like, what's your thoughts on this whole Star Wars debacle that's going on with Outlaws and the, the main character? Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, uh looks and all the crap that people talking about my thing is just it's simply everybody looks different and everybody's not gonna look i mean we we talked about it last week with that new game uh that game was stellar blade or something how she yeah, looks stellar and people blade. people were complaining about how she looks now people complaining about how this character looks like, the thing is, is at the end of the day you're not gonna please everybody people are gonna find something to complain about uh i feel like a lot of it and this is just again my personal opinion i just definitely want to reiterate that um i feel like at the end of the day some of these guys who complain about it they have a problem with a woman protagonist a woman lead you don't because you figured it and it's when it's locked in because you don't hear the same thing like for example mass effect when you can play as both male and female you didn't hear nothing they were just like oh Okay, well, I'm going to play the dude because, you know, whatever. Okay, cool. You do you. But now that you're locked in, because that's what I see. That's what I've seen on a lot of these games. When you're locked in as a female protagonist, all of a sudden, they want to go in the attack. Either the game's bad, the graphics are bad, this is bad, that's bad. Look at the character. Will Real women don't look like that. Uh, or woke she looks more like a man. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I sleep with sexy women. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then, my bad well there's this there's this account on twitter um i can't think of it i don't want to shout them out anyways it's oh, ridiculous crumbs. but no 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 not crumbs it's somebody else but they go and do what what they call fix women protagonists it's just like oh do the ai pick thing yeah it's just mm, like with I, uh, I the fallout that. series a tv show you know oh here's a woman character oh they had a picture of her from behind this person went back it was just like oh she needed more booty and went and fixed mm. the picture. Mm. You know, oh, West. there was not enough mm. cleavage yeah. in this one mm. and went and fixed it. And that's what mm. I said. At the end of the day, I feel like for a lot of these so called, you know, gamers, people, whatever, that have this whole issue, that's their issues. It's just like, well, I don't want to play as a woman protagonist for whatever, you know, female protagonist, whatever word you want to use. You know, they're just, it's a personal issue and they need to, they need to look in themselves. I'm going to say this, man. For my brother invade us. Let me see. Hold on. He might be texting me. Let me say this for the record, man. Um. Once again, you dudes are weird, right? Yep. You dudes are weird. Y'all, half of you dudes that's talking crazy about these characters. Y'all subscribe to somebody only fans. <laughs> oh, damn. Crazy. Yeah, shit. Crazy. Yo, and I'm so tired. I'm so tired of you complaining ass dudes. Stella Blades, right? Stella Blade. Stella Blade. That chick, that chick was uh designed after somebody's wife. No, it wasn't designed by someone. It was designed no. by his wife, not no. 
Oh, his wife. Oh, 12. Yeah, no. Okay. The, yeah, the so, so the Kim Faye's wife. Yeah. His Kim wife, is, wife is a designer on the, the, designer, on the team. Yeah. But but okay, so so let me say this. I didn't even know that. That's yeah, 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 out here, yeah, out here, yeah, out here loving these women, right? These movie stars, the Cardi B's, the Serena Meg Williams, the Stallions. Meg the Stallions, um, um, Angelie Jolie, huh? J Lo. J Lo. Yeah, I love me some Jolie. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> so now you, Akumu says something Y'all don't wanna rock with a Female protagonist that's strong But all you motherfuckers play Tomb Raider mm. What happened? Oh Let me hit him with another one Amos. What's, the, what's, the, what's the game on Nintendo? Oh, the the Tomb Raider, that's throwing. one of the ones they fixed because they didn't think she had enough cleavage shown. No, 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 hold on. What's what what what's that um what's that um that shooter? Retro. Bayonetta? Retro. No, Bayonetta. Oh Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Okay. Yeah. Right? I didn't see nobody back off Samus when they thought it was a dude what it thought it was a dude, right? Found out it was a chick. Mm -hmm. And they put a curve to famous. Mm, what are we doing? Now we judging video games because I'm pretty sure if you my age, you watched something called The Legend of Overfiend. All that did was have a sex anime characters, big boob characters. Oh, let's take it, let's bring it a little closer, Persona. Maybe that maybe that's a little too deep. What about Blood Rain? No, 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 no. Yo, we gonna, we gonna go we we gonna go we gonna, we gonna go deeper than that. And everybody was playing this, the Dead or Alive volleyball game. <laughs> y'all like that bounce? Roses. That's, oh, that's yeah. that titillation right yeah. there. <laughs> y'all like that bounce, huh? Yeah, it is. I was like titillation and jiggle physics, baby. Ah, y'all like that? So now you have a problem with sexy, dominant, forceful characters. Shira, you got a problem with that? Come on, I could keep going. Wonder Woman. Linda, Linda, what, Linda Carter? Linda Carter. Yeah. Huh. Linda Carter yep. Did you have a yep. problem watching that show, seeing them booze bounce around, throwing that gold lasso, making dudes tell the truth? Yo, fellas, what we doing? Yo, sis, what we doing? Oh, I don't need the lasso for the truth, man. Oh, yeah. uh, I, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I don't need to be right. told. I don't need to be tied up. To right. I don't need the lasso. I'll tell you right. that. Right. Whatever you want, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. Right. Believe me, I will. <laughs> Oh, shit. Um, uh, so I'm saying, you see, this man. is this is why social media give you clowns a voice. Y'all clowns. Yo, ba yo, Kasala's the Cyber Dragon, Baywatch. Uh, yo, listen. Yeah, I've been yo, watching Baywatch as a kid. Yo, listen, boy. <laughs> listen. Yeah, yo, listen. Bro. Listen. Hey, I yo, see y'all dudes moments. fan out. Y'all fan <laughs> out for a lot of things, man. So now you get a sexy character that's putting in that work. We all got problems now, huh? Or do you? Or, or is social I'll media? I'll be there for you. Yeah. There for me, baby. Go ahead. Right, right, <laughs> right. So oh, I think y'all with. And you know, he said Baywatch. Facts, Cyber. Baywatch. <laughs> right, listen, man, that show right there, crazy. Uh -huh. We about to have a king invasion, but where the hell are you? We wait. Hey, look! Pull before out. he cut, he gets in and starts cutting off. I'm just say this. I was like, the game looks good, like Persona. I think the beauty of Star Wars is the fact that it's a universe and there's so many stories. Look at the fact of like the success of the new series with Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor, right? We have a great protagonist in a different genre from what we're used to. That's why you have successful TV shows from things like The Clone Wars to The Bad Batch to Rebels. You're seeing different time periods, different perspectives, different characters, just like – how a lot of anime fans, right? We know Dragon Ball Z. We know the story of Goku. We've seen Z done 27 times. When they do different stories with Dragon Ball and stuff like that or show other characters getting the shine, it's great to see. That's what we need. That's what we want. So why are people complaining about all this? I think it's much different. It's why people wanted that Star Wars 1313 game. Guess what? We would have got a Bounty Hunter style game, but in Coruscant down in the deeper levels. It was still a smuggler thing, right? I'm all for it. I was like, I don't, I'm not, I'm going to say I don't trust Ubisoft. I was like, because they, <laughs> they be very shady recently. But you know what? I'm going to give this game a try because I like the way it looks. I don't see anything, bro. 
I sent you the email. What's wrong with you? I don't see it. Y'all him, right? Y'all him live, right? I don't yeah. see it. I'm going to hit you on Don't use the capital D. Pause. <laughs> oh, damn. Hey, pause. Hey, look, pause. look, I'm going to send it on Twitter. I sent the email, but I'm going to send it on Twitter. Don't send it to me on Twitter because I ain't got my Twitter hooked up to my PC. I told you. I don't do that. You don't, you, you don't, you know what? I don't do that. Yo, hey, yo. <laughs> All right, I don't, all right. Yeah. I'm gonna send it again. You you've been you've been getting in contact with me before, so I don't understand why your email ain't working right. Paul. Y'all hear how he talked to me? Mm-hmm. All down. <laughs> Very disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, Mad yeah, disrespectful. He, he trying to be on PG 13 right oh, now because no. he on the air. This dude talks greasy to me. <laughs> Hell no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. He said greasy. Yo, hold on. Let me pull up this email. Shout out to my brother King, man. Always supporting, man. My block brother is always on deck. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, um, don't capitalize that D, Paul. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. I, I guarantee hey, you that's yo. what he did. Let me see. I know there this we is go. A found it. Got it. Yeah, yeah, it was there. You know what? I see yeah, seven yeah, emails. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, you got a it new PC, here. new life. Let's go. I'm hanging up. <laughs> see, oh, I see, man. right? I, I had to put him on. I had to put him on a West name. <sighs> Boy, no, no, I had to put him in. You know, on a because uh, you know I got the whole call in and all that. We ain't doing call ins right now. I was gonna have people ask y'all questions, but I said I don't trust. I don't, I don't trust the community. <laughs> <laughs> We don't do blasting here. Like, not on this show. Not on this show. Nah, we don't. Ah oh, man. Shout out to the people that try to uh, disrespect my man Attic and got blocked. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, no, we yeah, ain't yo, Attic, is, that. Attic is good people, man. Yeah, he good people. Yeah. You don't come on okay. here and blast blast my people. <laughs> you don't have to like nah. what they say, but respect. Respect them. Respect. Exactly. It's always about respect. I was like. Mm-mm. We ain't about guy. all that. But I'm gonna say this, man. For people that are out here disrespecting developers' work, developers' visions, you know, we've spoken to developers. Everybody here. Yeah. We friends right? with developers. That too. But you know, yeah. don't disrespect people's work. Now a sexy protagonist is a problem. You as bad as that Ghostbuster yeah. uh for the females, and they said the girl was too ugly to be on a, a Ghostbuster. So now you want to judge actors and actresses for looks? Isn't she also like a teenager? Like, what the hell? No, no, no. On the female Ghostbusters movie, the black girl, oh. they, was, they was, you know, oh, they, yeah. they, they, they yo, violated her. The female Ghostbusters movie was funny as hell. Yo, yo it, was, it was good. I enjoyed it. I, I purchased it on Blu-ray. Facts. Yeah. Yo, yeah, Leslie, I was like, she she wild. I was like, she had me dying. And she's funny as hell. She's a comedian. She's funny. Yeah, exactly. But That's when I was said. like, they were like, she too ugly to be a Ghostbuster. First of all, this is a sci-fi situation. Ain't nobody too ugly for anything. What the what 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 are we doing here? What are we doing here? All right, so we're gonna move on to my brother getting here. You see, this is what I said was the downfall of um GameStop. This is what I said, man. And see, when I told y'all in 2018, 30 frames was going away, they told me I was crazy. When I said GameStop is gonna fold, they said I was crazy. Right? Yo. You sent it as a sentence. Yo, I'm going to strangle King, bro. (laughs) (laughs) Let's do this again. Invite. (laughs) Copy link. Jesus, Lord. So, let me get to this topic real quick. They said I was bugging, right? (laughs) They said that boy Lemon was crazy. Digital sales uh, uh, downloads have surpassed since 2017... EA reported 57% of their sales was digital. Mm. So we're going to go to you, Mr. Persona. It's yeah. at that 90% mark. GameStop dead. <laughs> they in trouble. Hey. And you know what? That's not a good thing because I pre order a lot of stuff through them. Right? Mm-hmm. I get a lot of my collectibles. I get a lot of carte blanche. <laughs> Yo, listen. Did you read it? I'm going to send it again. Did you read what I sent you? Yes. You said you, I sent it in a sentence. Yeah, you didn't send it as no clickable link. Okay, it should have been. It's an email. It's you sure you know what you're doing son, over there? But it's not, son. <laughs> Yo. 
<laughs> the king invasion is crazy, yo. No. But it's not, though. Why is it doing this? <laughs> and this is like, the show is off the rails. Yeah, it's not off the rails. We yo, still see, on point. King, Shit your ass up. We use, we use Outlook, man. Let's, let's get a cheese. Uh, oh, damn. Yo, listen, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm looking, I'm looking at what he did. Oh. This is what happened when you use Skype. <laughs> Oh, oh this hey, yo, I ain't doing? gonna lie. When 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 Dragon said, "Yo, we gonna do this on Skype," I said, "What?" Yo, I'm gonna tell you why. 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 I got, I got, I got, I gave him, I gave him two emails. I gave him the Google and I gave him the 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 what you still call it? First of all, you still at Hotmail. You don't even got a Gmail. What we talking about here? Yo, yo, only reason you got that Hotmail because you family. Oh. oh God, that's not giving that. <laughs> wow. All right? That Google wow. for everybody. Google for the streets. Oh. Oh, okay. damn. Google for you the know streets. What? Google you for know the streets. Tell me if you got that email. Tell me if you got that email. He said. He's... I had that email back when I was. There you go. What's this? <laughs> Uh, I, I, yeah, had my, again, I, I had my I had my I had For real though, I was like, "That's what I have." And Hotmail was back in my my Black Planet days. Yo, <laughs> that's exactly Black where it's from. Yeah, that's that Black Planet. <laughs> yo, wow, Black Planet. Yo, listen, Black man. That, yo, that's like still. All right. Yo, 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 listen. Know. Get your ass what off my phone. What this guy is doing is I don't know if he's putting it in the description. Let me just open up uh, Skype. This guy's crazy. I sent it to you in the main thing. I, no, listen, I just looked at it. I looked at it. It did the same exact thing when I clicked it. What the hell? Everybody what? else is linked. I've been on all many shows today, but I got to go through Skype. And I've been drinking a little bit, so life is good. Yo, yeah, it is. I got a little something yeah, in my is. cup, too. Yo, yo, shout out to everybody that pulled up, man. Y'all amazing in the chat. We trying to get Woo! Mr. Right, King now, David. Where is it at? Where is it at? Because you should be on, since you're on Skype, let me say you it should again. pop up on my Skype. Yeah, I ain't use Skype in years. You might, anymore. matter of fact, <laughs> matter of fact, Yo, I just sent it three times. It's been like in the same 10 place. years since I used Skype. No, Yo, I just hit me on the Skype. <laughs> Jesus Yo, I, I, I'm right there. That's like somebody saying, hey, I'm going to send you a telegram. Oh, wow. oh Yo, is that hey, hey, you still got your page, said... bro? I was like, I got a page for you. What are you talking about? <laughs> Yo, you see what like, we bro, doing? Just call me. Check your email yeah, again, man. I sent it in the right spot. That might be your saucy behind, yo. You said in my, my saucy behind. No yo. diddy. <laughs> it might yo. be you. It might be you. Because... I'm like, yo. Yo, listen, it's not in the it's it's in the email, man. Come on. Come on, son. I'm looking at it. C come on, son. <laughs> and you coming in here to if give you got, out if the you smoke. Got, if you, you got Discord, just copy the uh invite link to him in Discord. No, nah, I don't do Discord. I hate See, Discord. What? I hate what? it. Yo, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm in, in what's we call it right now. Let me see. Because you in I'm in Skype right now. Let me look for you. 108 Dragons right, TV at Gmail. 108 Dragons, all right. At Gmail. Business. God damn. There you go. I use a different platform. You're in a meeting right now yep. with four participants. Yep. She can you All join. Right. So I don't know. Why you couldn't just send it to that from there? You didn't say you had Skype. So why did you tell us I'm going to get to you? Because <laughs> I sent you the link. <laughs> like I sent everybody else here the link. Yo, I ain't going to take this blasphemy, man. Hey, just, hey, yo, hey. Shout hey, out to the hey, people, hey. man. Just, just yeah, send, I'm the it send it there. You know what send I'm saying? There. I feel like the hoe at this point. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. I'm about That's to go disgusting. in the corner and get that money. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Lord. See, can you join, man? Because it's not locked or nothing. People, 108 Dragons TV. <laughs> yo, what was you yo, sipping this, on, yo? I knew it was this something. This man is gone. Yo, you That's know what I'm saying? <laughs> He got that bloody life right now. Nah, <laughs> that's that bullshit. <laughs> that's <laughs> royal. Yo, you, yo you, you can say you can say that's bullshit. That's a bullshit. <laughs> crown royal, man. That's the crown royal. Yeah, for real though. I was like that. That's that that's a one. Right that's a one sip and done. That's nah. We don't do that over here. I drink a store first. Oh, go ahead. Now you saw me. I I, I acknowledge you. You, you. you should not you, be drinking. Did you try that. to join? No, I didn't say that. I didn't say I could do that. Okay, hold on. I got to look for <laughs> it, you. It got you right there. You got your loincloth on pause, and you got your muscles out with two swords. 
<laughs> yo, while he know. while they struggling over here, I'm gonna put, read this up. Yo, shout out to to Mr. Benjamin with that 499 super chat saying, "All my NY brothers in one room. What's up, family?" Yo, Back. Mr. Benjamin, what up, bro? Okay. You saw me. I said, "What's up to you?" You saw me. No, no, no. Me? I got it. I got it. Hold on. I gotta see how to. Add yeah. It. Figure it out. Who's talking to? <laughs> Since you want to use old shit, let's go. Yo, how do you add somebody? What, what is King talking about right now? You know what? Let me put the link. You in read there. super chats and be quiet. <laughs> yeah, get to that super chat. Get to that super chat. I bro. already did. I'm on it. Get the other oh. one. I know get my job. One. Hold on. You gotta, press, you, gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta press nine before you die. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Yo. There we go. Nah, oh. you're not in the show. Oh. oh. Well, I'm not in the And I had a reverb. Get that out of here. I see him on the... Uh... Yo, no. did I just get kicked out my own show? <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, looks like it. I did. Let me, let me. Yo, he was like, yo, yo, that was crazy. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send the link on this, man. Hold on, hold on. Let me send the link right here. When the chat goes sideways. Yo, people, please give me just give me a time. Oh damn, yeah, that was crazy. Ooh. Yo, yo, when you, when you said that whole Discord thing, like I use Discord for like podcasts and stuff, but. Yo, I, I I I typically don't be on Discord like that, man. Me like, I mute I mute I'll all them joints. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. I was like respectfully. Yeah. I mute them choices. I, I like, I'm Yo, on, what I'm the good. hell just happened? I, I'm right there with you, J. Barry. I was like, for me, Discord is used for uh, <laughs> all my business and reaching out with. Yo, with hold teams on, man. And stuff like that. The goddamn show just went wacky whack. God damn mm -hmm. you, King. Oh That's man. That's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get. <laughs> That's what you get. Shout out to my peoples that are here. My NY. What the? Yo. What's Yo, that? King Dave. Oh, we back. All right, we good, got bro. it. We got it. Yo, what's good, King? What's good? God what's good? damn. All right, so this, this is my excuse for uh, this Saturday. I'm nah, I'm talking to Persona now. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> I got to talk, talk to my Queensbridge, bro. I got to talk to the guys that keep it funky. What's yes, going sir. on? Yes, you, you, you had, yo, you Bronx dudes? You know I'm from the Bronx, too, so you know I know you. They funny. They All right, we good. Yeah, 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 you get a little funny style. Yeah, a little, little, little funny, little, man. Little, yeah, so. <laughs> I, had, I, had, I, had, I had to pull up. I'm watching. Cause I just finished playing my Fortnite. Yo, no. all right. So what you wanted to come in here and blast us with? Talk to me, bro. It's your turn. You heard? Star Wars. What you? You know what? What you? What you want to hit, man? Pause. Um, <laughs> let me mute. Let me mute that. All right. There we go. Cause I gotta put you on the big screen. Put you on the summer jam screen over here. Let's go. Ah, yeah. Jumbo like Tron. That. There you go. To the other side. To the other side, Batman. <laughs> 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 Yo, good quick show today. You heard? No, nah, no. Nah, I saw I saw I saw people's on. I was just like, "Yo, let me come in. Let me say what's up. Let me shout out everybody." Um, so you, you know, came because... in at the right time. We about to talk that next Xbox. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. I heard y'all talking about Stella Blade and yep. um the sexiness. Dudes acting crazy. Mm -hmm. This this is this is the thing that I don't like about the company. You know that game almost didn't happen on PlayStation, right? Oh. Yeah, it almost didn't happen on PlayStation because they uh, they was going to reject the game because of the nudity and the stuff just like that. What um, the Korean dude told them, y'all don't got a lot of Korean developers. Mm. And um, I didn't even know that game came from Korea. Oh yeah, it did. It did. It did. I, I um, told you that yeah. it's come from. Y'all talking, talking, talking about Stella? Talking about Stella Blade? Yeah, yeah. Stella Blade. It's oh, come okay. from shift okay. up. And so it, it almost didn't happen over there because of the nudity and stuff like that. Everybody thinks Microsoft is the only ones pushing that crap uh, over there with that old framework crap. Nah, mm. it's all of them, right? So they're on this whole uh, fake. And you can't use the word woke because that's not that's not what woke is. No. So people got to stop that. That's a feminist agenda. Right, so, right. And what they were saying is, I mean, when you play the demo, the demo is absolutely gorgeous, right? Facts. And it takes you back to a period of time when we were playing video games where 
young men and 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 I'm not gonna say young women either because young women is involved in it because I brought video games to my my cousins and my sisters and them and they got a chance to see video games, but it gave young women something to you know look up to like oh sweat you know I I, I want to be statuesque I want to get in that type of shape that type of thing, the same way we felt when we saw Ken and Ryu, we like yo we want to be strong we want to do karate we want to do this that and the third right. Mm-hmm. I don't see nobody talking about in my hood they wanted to be E Honda. I'm gonna keep it a buck. <laughs> right? I'm gonna keep it a whole buck, okay, with you, right? <laughs> so everybody has goals and aspirations for where they want to be. But as young men, I can only talk about me being a young man lusting after these characters growing up. Mm-hmm. I brought volleyball. I brought these stuff, uh, you know, dead alive volleyball. Um, I brought dead alive for the jiggle. I brought uh-huh. uh, Fatal Fury for the jiggle. Oh, the um, generation. Yo, I just said that before you dropped on here, son. Came on, I just said that. (laughs) Exactly. No, I I was listening. But we're going to stop acting like that's not a factor of how we got here. How are we going to get on this train with young young men? I'm just going to talk about young men. I can't can't tell you my experience as a young woman because I never was. But I can tell you my experience as a young man. How are we going to get that train getting us here on the backs of young men, pause. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, King. Sorry to interrupt you. Who did that? Who changed Were we all in a, in a meeting looking crazy? I look wild. <laughs> Yo, who did that? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to keep me. it a start. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm like, right, right. Yo, listen, fault. listen. This is this is why. I, I, I was trying to. I was trying to. Yeah, I thought it was only for me. I'm gonna keep it. No, 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 no. Yo, he nah. wasn't gonna say nothing either. Yo, Yo that's nah, it. I, I, I was gonna say something. I was gonna say something. Yeah, look, look. This, this is how it first started. Bloody did that first on the show. I said, Bloody, stop touching shit. <laughs> <laughs> what did I just say? What did I say? Right, That's right. The same thing as the show. I thought it was only changing it for me. Yo, right, like, right. On Zoom, on Zoom, I can nah, do all that. Right, right. Not that but Zoom, does Zoom have NDI? Uh, no, it does so. not. Because I want people to be able to go in and out the show and don't affect nobody else's stream. That's why I do Skype. Um, but well, I mean, you can continue, go in and King. out on Zoom with no problem. People can get in and out with no problem. I mean, listen, everybody does do their shows how they want to do it. Like, I do my show on Discord on Fridays just for the jump in and out factor. Right, right. But now that I switched a lot of stuff over, I can have people call. Nah, this is going to be doing this, a whole bunch of other stuff. But, this is uh, what you need. See that? No. Oh, is that oh, the no. Podcast, uh, Pro uh, Duo? The or Duo, or the Duo, the Duo. Yes, sir. The Duo. The yes, show sir. me that, and that's Yo, what I got right no. there. Oh, right you show me that, and that's so what I got right that's there. That's why you why should do that. call-ins. I, I, that, partner. Dude, this is how you was partner. on my show, on my phone. Partner. Partner. Yeah. Yeah. Partner. Yeah. Oh, gotta connect yep. This yeah. guy here. I'm plugging this in through here. USB-C, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm well financed, bro. No, oh, no, we ain't say you even had money. I'm, I'm well telling you the financed. technical no, side. No, no. I know what I did. We gonna talk about it. Oh, I, so yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever yeah, they yeah, say yeah. we need to get to where we need to get to, we, we gonna get, get that. We, yeah, yeah, facts. Facts. So, but, but you're gonna stop acting like... I got somebody that want to meet you. That's... King. Who? Oh. <laughs> hey, yo, he went from like 80 yo, to listen. like the baby real quick. Yeah, listen. <laughs> Uncle King. Uncle King. Let me tell you something. Uncle Lim said one day you're going to meet Big Bro. I'm going to do just like I'm doing Fortnite. No. I'm going to shut up. No, you're not going to do that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> not when you wear my uncle's favorite cover. We ain't doing that. Hey. God damn. Wow, pretty. Yo, that's funny. Virgin Island, Puerto Rican. We ain't going to do that. Mm-mm-mm-mm. You got the roots. Wow, You're the king pretty. of statues. Yes, yep, 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 yep. Red and black. Red and black everything. Mm-hmm. Uncle, Uncle, Uncle King. Everybody give a round of applause for my Uncle King in the building. Uh-huh. Yo, what you Psycho say? What you say? Black, black, black. <laughs> <laughs> but gotta go. I tell everybody to go out and buy this game. Facts. Buy a physical copy, buy a digital copy, um, gift the copy to your friend, do whatever you're gonna do. Uh, because this this those kind of conversations, everybody ever wondered why Laura Croft went from having a body to, to washboard body? You remember when she had the triangle titties? <laughs> I, I, I 
I, re- I remember when and we thought she that had was sexy. Assets. You know, it was a, it, it was a different situation, right? And everybody thinks that this is a minor, small things that are happening. We watched Street Fighter for Chung Lee styles. Chung Lee has styles. Uh, like, I'm a Thai guy, and, 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 and we're not gonna act like you know. Uh, some of the stuff that we we watch the magnets, we 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 watch uh, movies, we watch shows. We do these things, and they have these connotations there because we don't get that stuff in the Western world. We don't have Thundercats. Shitara is supposed to be stacked. You understand? But if you go and watch a Japanese anime, you watch uh, Naruto. Uh, the um, what should I call it? The uh, Tsunade. Tsunade. Yes. That's what you're talking about. Tsunade, yeah. There we go. Did, I just knew once he mentioned Nara, so I already knew who he's talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we understand that these characters are necessary for the growth of young men's minds, right? Keeps us enthused. Not saying that it's supposed to be overt, but this is stuff that goes along in the world, right? And if you ostracize that, if you take that away from us, what the hell do we have left? Like, what, what, do, you, what do you want us to have, a bunch of basic broads? Like, this is not the thing. I'm just finished playing Tekken right now. Not one of those dudes is out of shape on Tekken. So you have young men saying, I want to hit the gym. I want to go look like uh, Jin. I want to go do this. I want to go do that. I'm talking about across the boards. We have to have freedom for developers to make the game that they want to make and let the public decide if the game is good or not, right? It it doesn't have to just be um, visual stimulation. It has to be stimulation of the mind. It has to be stimulation of the coordination and stuff like that. But let those games breathe and let's have the opportunity for the developers to make these games. These individuals that's in the background trying to craft our games and tell us that these games should not be, this game almost wasn't. And when I read it, because that that was going to be the crux of my video, but I made like four videos about Stellar Blade. I had to step back a little bit because I'm I'm frustrated and upset with the fact that these individuals are trying to force this type of behavior on us. And I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. And I don't care if I'm an Xbox dude telling dudes to go out and buy. I don't care if you got a PlayStation or not. Go out and buy the game until you get a PlayStation and and, and let that be what it is. But don't let these I'm going to say this to you. Your Xbox preferred player, but you own everything. That is true. Mm, okay. Yo, where let's, you let's... play Fortnite at? <laughs> on Xbox. Yo, you need to play Fortnite on PlayStation on that dual sense edge. Stop playing with a Why? No, 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 no. We ain't gonna do Yo, that. Yo, Jay Bart. I, I turned the rumble you, off. You like them? You like them? The you like the low. vibration? Nah, nah, nah. When it comes to multiplayer games, I turn rumble off. So yeah. And, and, and I, don't turn I gotta off. have the offset uh, duels, the, the uh, analogs. I gotta have them all set. I can't play first person games, first person shooters and stuff like that with them. Like, to, I, can't, I just can't. I can't do it. But look, nah, but yo, to go to go to your point though, um, I remember like a lot of people crux of their their conversation is like freedom. The de- the developer should have freedom to do whatever they make. You know, people always question, oh, why is the developer only making this one game and this and that. But now when we do see developers getting the freedom to create what they yep. want, now everybody want to question it. Like, oh, no, you shouldn't do that. You should do it the way that everybody thinks you should do this way. Or, you know what I mean? Nah, yeah. Gaming is, is art, man. You know what I mean? Let yep. them do and let them paint their picture and how they want to do it. And it's up to us to see if we like it or not. That's all it is. Yeah. Yep. Yo, if you look at the little picture, I'm looking at the room he got us in. He got us on steps on a little... <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm saying. Y'all ain't never seen that. Wow, crazy. Yeah, I can't do that on Zoom. Can't do that. Not at all. Nah, yeah, Zoom don't got that. Yeah, we ain't got that. That's 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 sit over there. And then he come. <laughs> it's a wild beastie. But I saw you guys on and I said, let me get over there. And 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 because uh my bro and everybody talk about like it's a fade. Ain't no fade. And I didn't get persona number. So make sure you give my number to persona. All right. Okay, gotcha. all right. Yeah, because I I I got up with bro out there and I was like damn I didn't even give him my number like that that I took it for granted because you in Queens like <laughs> like I'm gonna drive past and catch him down the street yeah what's going on <laughs> going to the, the, the bodegas oh, like, oh, I, I know what's going on <laughs> yeah, sure right like yo but yo some some dude came out with a long ass bed talking about where persona <laughs> <laughs> that was spooky oh, that sound kind of spooky nah like like like, like uh... <laughs> Like we say early in the show, like it was great meeting y'all, man, uh, for the first yeah. time. Cause 
so much interactions and you know, on the past and whatnot, and then to finally see everybody in person. You know yep. what I mean? How we met up in a bar or whatnot. Like, you know what I mean? That was a smash. No, cool. shout out for that Honestly, invite. Meet, meeting people, meeting people in person too. You really get to see like who, who they the really are is and what their character is and stuff like that. So, you know, stuff like that I think is important. Persona, I'm person exactly who I am on camera though, motherfucker. Good. <laughs> Yo, I tell, I, tell, I tell people the same thing, bro. They, they think it's, uh, what's that PlayStation Nation with a list with all that shit? Like, yo, this shit ain't rough. Like, yo, I'm, a, I'm a real dude, man. I'm a very bold, upfront dude. And uh, I tell you, I am. It's the same way I am uh, in, in person. Yeah, that's that Queen stuff, though. Yeah, that's that Queen stuff. I mean, you got some righty dudes that's out Around there. Around the way I, you I knew where y'all was. <laughs> and I was just like, I'm not going to let my New York dudes be out there mm-hmm. in the middle of the night in mm-hmm. the situation. I said, I'm pulling up. I'm going out there. So um, it is what Hold it up. is. Hold up deep. Man, yeah, yeah, like yeah, eight yo, he, he invaded my room. Pause. Yo, we yeah, out. Dude. Yo. <laughs> I said, I what's up? What's up? He was like, we out. Podcast oh, cut short. Y'all got two topics. What's the five best games you seen? Like five best games. What's the two best games? Yeah, look, my people could be in jeopardy yo, over there. I told, I told, oh, I told somebody else. I said, yo, listen. I said, listen. My brother then told me to do this, that, and the third. I said, listen. They got a squad over there. Iron Lords. It's just one to wait. <laughs> right. That's gotta, a lie. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm talking about, I'm talking about yeah, contextual. Context, like, yeah, like, like, I got to get my work in because, you know, bro, I work hard. And it's hard. Right. It's hard. It's really hard to do what we do. So a couple times I said, bro, I can't show up. But that, he said, yo, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> said, we out. Got to go. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, and it was exactly what I yeah. thought. I thought yeah. when I get over there, it'd be two black faces. Well, actually, I thought it was one black face because he didn't tell me Persona was there. Right? So um, when I got up there, I pulled out. I was like, oh, yo, that's Persona. And, um, but I was like, it's two black faces in in a, in a bar. Not saying that, you know, with no racial connotation to it. I'm just telling them. That's what it is. That's what happened, I though. Grew up, <laughs> well, I had, I had a, uh, uh, I owned a townhouse out in Boston. I had it in, in Dorchester. And then, you mm. know, I moved from Somerville to Dorchester. I know the racism that's there. Right? Remember, so remember when we went like, to that bar in 20, 20, uh, 2020? They was yeah. like, uh, we're going to let you in three by three. I said, I told you, this is not the place to hang out. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was super racist. But super. I'm like, my dudes is out there. Nah, got And support. I don't want them to drink. And then, you know, it is what it is. You know, a situation happened. Yeah, I facts. can't sleep like that. I can't nah. live with nothing like that. I, I pride ourselves in we get out to go to a, a place, a convention, everybody make it home safe. Facts. I pride myself on that. Right. Because, I mean, regardless to what, we all going to get in there and we all going to get home safe. Mm-hmm. Regardless to what. Oh, yeah. I mean, good thing, like, uh, when we was out there, it was good vibes with the people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. a lot, of, a lot yeah. of the people a lot of the people at the bar, like, the bartenders, a couple of people that was around us. bartender was awesome. It was, it, was, it, was, it was great vibes, man. Like, everybody was hella cool. Me and Bar was chilling. Yo, nah, that's nah, one of nah, my nah. Really was you, know, you know when I, you know, like, you know when I knew it was a cool situation? When you was wearing that drink in your lap twice. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna leave that right there. I ain't gonna say what happened. Uh, but, but I said, yeah. Yo, okay, Persona's yeah, good people. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. He left twice. the spot, people yeah, probably man, looked crazy. at you and said, he probably pissed himself. <laughs> No, nah, luckily, drink. luckily, I had on all black, so you know we. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He, he was wearing a drink because I told the individual get away from over there. You're not supposed to be doing that. An individual that couldn't handle any liquor decided to still stay over there. And, I told, and when it happened, I told Pasana, I said, "Didn't I call it?" Pasana was back, <laughs> and I was like, "Yo." He, he, he was cool with it. He was cool with it. Nah, yeah, Shout out to Bersana, man. Yeah, He's like Aquaman that night. real chill uh, dude, man. <laughs> but yeah, what, one of my goals there, because I've been to Boston before, so I understand the vibe. So I get cool with the bartenders quick. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Bro? Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Yo, before like, before you got there, boy, boy, yo, listen, you know, because I, you know, I'm, 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 I always have my head on the swivel. You understand, New Yorkers? That's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, facts. Bari buying drinks for this person, that person, this person, that yo, oh, some yeah, random dude. He was like, yo, he's like, you want a drink? 
What you trying to order? Yo, get him a drink. That's all me. I'm like, all right. I'll when I get a couple like, in right me, there, I'm the same way, bro. Like, See, that's that I'm light, like, that's like, that's right, that light so skin that's cool. hospitable. Yeah, Hos they, 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 hospitable. They, they, you know, yeah. Bars start getting real nice. You know, I was like, all right, let me let me keep myself proper. Bar talk about yo, another round. I said, hold up, brother. No, no, no. no, 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 no. That man tapped my shoulder, King. He said, yo, you're not doing right, that, bro. You're not Listen, doing my that, boy, right. 100 the same way. You get a, you get you get him a couple drinks. He buying the bar out. Facts. Yeah, no, like, but yo, real real talk though. Me and King, we got the same vibe all as far as mindset because even when we was leaving. I was like, yo, I don't, I don't want y'all just walking back. You know what I mean? If yep. you want, if you want to get an Uber, mm -hmm. I, 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 I'll get that for y'all. It's no, it's yeah, no problem yeah. with me. I met yeah, all my, I met all my steps. I ain't having no man pay for no Uber for me. That's yo, gonna be not. Yeah, yo, nah, nah. <laughs> I, met, I, got, I met all my you, you steps start to hear, You start to hear the case sounds. It was Listen. like, uh, nah, he said, nah, King was like, nah, okay. we, we gonna walk, my team gonna walk, I said, well, all right, yo, y'all got it, man. Shout out to Mr. Benjamin, man, I appreciate you, bro, my other yeah, um, New Yorker. Um, Listen, man, let's get into this next topic, man, this is crazy. Now, look, we all out here building high-end PC, high PCs, right? We like our Asus Rogs, our Steam Decks, you know what I'm saying? Dudes is outside with this gaming life, and like King showed the other day, ecosystem everywhere that's what i want everything to do right now it's rumored that xbox is making a handheld right um they're trying to make the next xbox and take it with a grain of salt with this generational leap because you know companies always put their chests out higher than what they do right velocity architecture we ain't even seen it used but in two games um so i'm gonna say that but Next Xbox is rumored to play uh, PC games. Now, yeah. I ain't going to lie. If I can buy a console for $1,000, right, that does everything, I'm talking about on a high-end level, right? $1,000 console that play PC games or even an Epic Store and my console games. I'll spend the money. But see, I'm the minority. King is the minority, right? We don't care what something costs. We like it, we buy it, right? That's not that's not the that's not real world situations. But persona, let me go to you. Mm -hmm. Where would you project or what would you think the industry could go if a console brought in the PC realm? On any level, what do you think that could go for the next PlayStation? We know Nintendo's not doing that, but it's really PlayStation Xbox that's innovating the business. So, talk to me. What, what, would, what would you like to see that? And do you think these rumors are true? Now, when you say bring in the PC realm, you talking about bringing more games on PC to console? Mm -mm. Putting PC games on console. Period. Like, I mean, I, 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 I'm gonna be honest. For me personally, I, I I don't give a damn because at the end of the day, most games that are releasing are releasing on PC and console either simultaneously or in a staggered release. So I don't really feel like console players are really missing out on anything major when it comes to gaming. And when it comes to games that might not be on PlayStation that are big on PC, Dota, Counter-Strike, things of that nature, League, I mean... They have the shit. Community. Starship so Troopers never hit a console. Star, Star Troop, uh, Starship, uh, what's that? Eve, Valkyrie, uh, uh, Eve, no, uh, yeah, Star Citizen, Star Citizen, Star and Citizens, all that, uh, you know, right, Guild right, War, Guild Wars and stuff like that, right. But if those games come to the console, sure, if they can find a place, they're fine. But I don't really see, at least from my perspective, I'm not somebody that's really clamoring to really play those games or to see those games on console, so it doesn't really, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Okay, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna throw a little pun in there before I go to um Jay Bari, my light skinned brother. Let me say this. This one game that I basically built a high end PC at the time for that I want to see on console. Because now I remember the days of MMOs not being popular on console. People didn't want to pay subscriptions, $15, $20 a month. That's not a console thing, that's a PC thing. Now, that Microsoft PS3 changed that. No, no, facts. With uh Final Fantasy 14. And DC Universe Online. And DC yeah. big, Well, well big, DC has two tiers. Free. But DC Online mm -hmm. was crazy for me. 
I was yeah, I put a, I, every I put my life into that yo game back in the day crazy, right? right? Yeah. They definitely changed the game. But I'm gonna say yeah. this: there's a game bigger than both of them. That wow, Micah's, yeah, World of Warcraft. I've been wanting a console edition of this game because that 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 was the reason I built a high end PC because mm -hmm. that game was terribly optimized and you had to have a monster PC yep. to run it. Not no Voodoo graphics, which is AMD. Bless you, it. you had to have top of the line, top tier to even to get it to run 10 frames. It was crazy, right? This is why I tell people, stop the frame game. But that's where I'm going with that. So, Jay Barry, talk to me, man. Sorry. Would you want the next generation of consoles to move forward with allowing a Steam store because this game's on Steam. I remember when Postal was crazy on Steam. Yeah, I sparked yeah. my PC for that because you can go on, you can go, on, you can go into the game and get like a post office dude to shoot everybody. It was crazy. Console yeah. really don't see games like that, right? They got they got sexual yeah. games, game show games that was sexual. That was awesome. Um, shout out to my boy Graphic Guard. He uh. He played one on PlayStation, and then once you level up, you was, you was able to see the women boobies. <laughs> that, was, that was crazy. I was like, yo, I didn't even know you could get to that status where it didn't show, like, the squares around the breast. They showed the breast. So yeah. PC's been going through that forever and giving you the freedom to be what and who you want to be. So talk to me. What would you think this would bring to the console people? Um, Just give me that. Yeah, like, like me personally... When it comes to the whole PC aspect, I want the technology to be on the console, but I, I'm, I'm traditionalist, right? I like to, to se I like to separate the stores. I don't want convolutity all in my platform of choice. So having like mm. two stores, I think that would just convolute things. And majority of the games, yeah, there's probably some games there that come out on Steam on PC that don't hit consoles that you would like. But how much games is that? It's like five games. I'm gonna name, right? name one. I'm gonna name one. I'm gonna name one that was a huge success on on Xbox, Vampire Survivors. It's going to PlayStation this month. No, it's it's going, but I'm saying it was on, but it was on PC a whole year and a half before it even touched the console. Yeah. Before, so yeah. But the thing like is, like, that majority, could be revolutionary. Majority of the stuff that is gonna also come is a vaporware, you know, shovelware type games, man. So you're gonna see exactly. a whole. Bunch of crap on your store now. It's gonna be scrolling, mm. scrolling, scrolling. Oh, yeah, 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 you're gonna want that yeah. one or two. Yeah. But it's gonna be but a whole be fair, bunch of crap. That was on. There, that so. was on the platforms already. You got to think during the 360 era and even PS3, they had those arcade markets that was all player submitted stuff. A lot of that was no, all vapor. You have no. You have yeah. to say the facts. Xbox gave indie developers a voice first. Games, some of arcade. But. But again, hold on, no, hold on. Not, Let not me finish. Summers of arcade. Uh, no, no. There was literally the the some the player submitted market that wasn't the official arcade stuff. No, no. Listen, get, that was all shovelware. I was no, like, no, no. Facts, were facts. But they were shovelware. But I'm saying, on a major platform, indie games had no voice until some of arcade, bro. Microsoft didn't even own those games. Explosion Man, Epic had a game that they didn't promote. That Microsoft said. We putting that in there. You remember Shadow Complex? Yes. Yeah. Okay, then. Shadow that Complex. was... Right. Microsoft said, we're creating some of arcade. They did the Ninja game. They did Explosion Man. They did uh, 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 Shadow, Shadow Complex. And it's a, it's a fourth game. And then they, we had that running for four years on 360. They gave the indie community the first step. Yeah. The I'm, hold, I'm on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. But the second step... Is when Sony brought them on stage and gave them that platform, but, right? But that's not. But that's not what I was talking about. But he that's was talking what about I'm talking IPF. about. Yes, but I was going on with what Jay Barry was saying, which is the original point. Was he was saying that these these platforms have it to where there's yeah, there's big stuff that may not be on the major consoles, but there's also a lot of shovelware. And I'm saying that that was already a thing yes, back yes. two generations ago yes. because you had. The open market that they had, I was going to say, that was all just players submitted. There was no ratings on them. There was no deep in introspection or, or a look at them like you see now no, when right, they have right, to be right. approved. That's what I'm saying is that that's been a thing. I was like, it would just be bringing it back. That's what I was getting okay, at. Okay, but let, let me get to this point. I'm going to get to you next, King. 
We always at PAX. Everything at PAX was on Steam. Easy platform to get involved. Yeah. Right? Everything. Yeah. There wasn't one game that said, oh, I, and I always ask these questions. That's why I, when we go to um, Play New York, King, I'd be like, yo, so would you want to be on Game Pass? Uh, 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 several developers say, yo, we, we would love it. We want the opportunity because it's putting eyes on your, 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 your platform, right? So now, King, Xbox, PC, rumored to be combining and making another store because I have Ubi, Ubisoft Plus. Shout out to my, um, my, my best friend who bought that. We game share. Yeah. Awesome. But talk to me. We know about the EA Play that you just did a video. Shut yo, y'all already know who King is. Go check that video out. He talked about EA Play. I didn't even know that till I watched the video. That's why I, everybody don't know everything. Facts. But I'm gonna say this. Bless. What do you think about the next Xbox or PlayStation giving you Steam Library? Talk to me. Well, you know, um, Phil Dominus Maximus is really expensive first of his name. <laughs> um, <laughs> he sits there and he gets a chance to survey the scene, right? He, right. And y'all gonna stop thinking like Steam ain't been eaten. Like Steam has been eaten with Microsoft games and PlayStation games. Mm. And they had their storefront. They built their storefront. Their storefront is the fact where, you know, like it's, it's open market type of thing. And someone come on Linux, and dudes didn't think that it would go anywhere, and they just let it be. Epic stores saw that. They was like, yo, these dudes is making money hand over fist. Facts. Let's get over there. Now, when they made those steam machines, they made the steam machines, and they had the 3DO type of uh, enclosure process mm -hmm. where you we built a, a certain spec. Y'all have to, anybody can make the machine. Y'all just have to follow this certain base spec. Right. So everybody be in line, and that's how it would go. Steam machines fall off really quickly because Xbox uh, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 dominated them, broke them in. Right. right? You was not going to get in the console market without a distribution deal. Mm -hmm. Nobody was able to give them a distribution deal and give them that pipeline. That pipeline Shout out to Stadia. Up. Yeah, well, Stadia got they, they, they head beat them because of their business model. Facts. Their business model was wrong with their pricing wise. But anybody looks at the tech on Stadia, the tech on Stadia it's is amazing. better than streaming on the PlayStation and streaming on the Xbox. Yes. I don't care what anybody say. If you could put it in a browser, I was playing Odyssey in a browser. That's mm. wild crazy. But um, getting back to what I was saying, Steam and, and Phil got a chance to look at the Novo the G Cloud, all that other stuff. Everybody hears when I say hashtag no PlayStation 6, it ain't happening. They don't understand that I don't believe it'll be an Xbox after the one in 2026. <clears throat> and this is the reason why. First of all, I think the generational gap that we're going to have at that period of time from here to there is going to be way different. If anybody looks at the trend, the Switch started this weird trend where handhelds that stockable, but they weren't the first one to do it. The Neo Geo Go um, was was the first one to do that. And but no, 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 no. The the Neo Geo Portable. Yeah, I got that. Well, mm. the, the one that is, is is a Neo Geo system, mm. and you can take right, it out, right, 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 right. I saw you show that. You yeah, facts. Out, you yeah, right, right, right. 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 So, right, right, right. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So they 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 were doing that. The dockable unit is the, going to be the unit of the future. Now, uh, 108 can tell you that if you buy the separate GPU to the machine, you can tell, turn the machine into some BC, mm -hmm. something crazy, right? This is to, for Jay Barry's point, where there's crap and shovelware in the store. Nintendo has that problem absolutely right now, where you go to their marketplace and there is crap and shovelware that's in there, and you have to <laughs> sift through stuff to get to good games. I'm not going to say that that's not going to be prevalent, but that's a good thing to have. And the reason why it's a good thing to have is regardless to what, there's going to be absolute choice. The reason why it's so stringent for Microsoft and for PlayStation to get your games okayed on those boxes because they want their cut at the door. Facts. It's not quality, quality control because half of those games that do come out, some of those games, if you can go to the store right now, it's whack. Mm -hmm. Right? But they want their money up front. And the dude explained to me, well, if we don't have our money up front, we're not inside the preview program. Facts. 
um, we're not going to get in. We're not going to get seen first. And they have a tier system. I'm not saying it is right. You know, ten thousand dollars gets you to talk to a person. That's kind of that's that's bogus. That's bo- we, be- and, bullshit. And Say it. Bullshit. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, but it is right. It, 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 I'd be off brand if I said that. Um, but it is to the extent that it's not as as forgiving as everybody thinks it is for the little man. Facts. Now, having multiple marketplaces on your one device, because we all look for that one device to be utopia. We all look for this. Just us as console warriors, us PlayStation and Xbox dudes. Xbox wants PlayStation to die first, and PlayStation wants Xbox to die first. We don't care who dies, but you die first. Mm. Like I'm not jumping mm-hmm. off that bridge, but you're going to go first. That way, whichever box survives, that is the box that rules them all. That's the box that's going to have Game Pass on it, PlayStation Plus on it, Steam on it, Epic Store on it, and whatever other stores that you can get on it. That doesn't take away from your enjoyment of your app that's on the box. We got to get out of the mindset that we have growing up where this one controller, you saw how Jay Barry said that, you know, what am I playing on a dual sense? And I said, no, I'm playing on this controller. Mm-hmm. Why can't this controller be able to play on my PlayStation? And why can't that PlayStation controller play on my Xbox? It's because those ecosystems force us to fight. Facts. With these, with these handhelds, these handhelds is going to take away that actual fight. And it's going to force these companies to put out better products in order to stand out. Because if you have your marketplace on my store and you're selling apples for $10 and I'm selling apples for 7 dude's going to be like, well, I'm going to go with those apples there for 7 Facts. Facts. Oh, yes, no. I, I, feel like there's two, I feel like there's two different conversations being had here. Because when we're talking about multiple storefronts, so for example multiple different storefronts being on an Xbox or a PlayStation, that's eating into the profits that those storefronts is would, re- would have if Facts. they weren't on Because there's two storefronts on now, Xbox right now. Three. Now, yeah, because now, instead of it, so, you know, I'll use Steam if, you know, and I'll use Dragon's Dogma just for example. Right. Okay. Dragon's Dogma releases on Steam and you buy it on Steam on your PC. Mm-hmm. You're not really splitting it with anybody but Steam or Valve and the developer. Right. If you now have Steam on a PlayStation or an Xbox, you're now tapping into those ecosystems and into that player base where now PlayStation or Microsoft and Sony now get a cut. Right. So now if it's if it's a 60-40, now you have to have divvy that up by three, which right. means less money is going to everybody. But hold on. I don't, I don't see I don't see multiple storefronts like that. Being on one platform, okay, but hold on, functioning. Hold on, Xbox got that right now, right now. With what? EA Play and Ubisoft Plus. Well, they they they're but, going to. But hold on, out. hold on. Let me let me say this. Still... Let me say this. Those are three storefronts. You don't have to have Game Pass to have Ubisoft Plus or EA, right? Yeah, that's true. You don't. If you have Ultimate, you get well, EA. You still, you still buying the game, but EA, Xbox, so gonna, right? No, 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 so no. You no, you no, 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 no. Even, no. even, even with you, but see, but even with Ubisoft Plus and EA, most of what's in EA Play and Ubisoft Plus are games that are developed by their studio. No, so it's always the, their the, studios. The cut, yeah, it's their right. studio. So the cut is still going to be between EA and Ubisoft and Microsoft. But, it's not. There is no other so, entity with that. Okay. Let, so let, let me Steam. just finish my 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 point, and okay. then okay. I'll okay. step back a little bit. Um, who cares? We don't. Mm-mm. We are gamers. Not as a gamer. Not as a gamer. I, I don't want, care. I want it all in one spot. Right. Right. I want that's, it all that's my in point. one spot. That's right. the reason why I got that Steam Deck. That's the reason why I got that rug. I want it all in one spot. I'm going to yeah, grease something. Yeah. I want it all in one spot. And I don't care who wins. I really don't. I don't. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I don't care who wins. Yeah, I want PlayStation to die first. Hell yeah! Because that's just for Well, me. I don't because I like yeah. my PlayStation exclusives. No, no. no, no, no. I I'm not, yeah, I'm not I, saying right. that I want them to die. I want the I want them to die first and become an app first. They all gonna become an app. That console stuff is not sustainable. That's what's really not sustainable. Don't make me hit and, you over and, the head, King. I swear to God. God bless you. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. I'll show you something for real in a second. Um, 
he showed me a toy hammer. Let me show you. Oh, you see, I did oh. not. I said, oh, ah, light skinned dudes outside. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right. Do I got a... Do I got a... Let me get... Yeah, no, 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 no. We're not going to get... Yo, first of all, first of all, this is not the King Embarrass Everybody Else episode. Oh, man. Nah, King about to come up with... Yo, did he cut his camera off? My stash yourself is all the way over there, man. Did he cut his camera off and mess up the boxes? He about to go get the Infinity Gauntlet. Oh, Lord. All right, King, I don't want to play no more, man. <laughs> oh man, I'm good, man. I don't want to play no. You won, kid. God damn. Man. Yo, yo, oh, facts. Yo, bro, he done messed crazy. up all the. Bo- oh, he's the back. Yo, I know, I know. Uh, he about to uh, crazy. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. He got that real bro. Yeah. I to read the hammer because yeah, oh, I don't want to play no more. Yeah, yeah. That's a real. That's a real. Millionaire speaks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, mine didn't come in the cereal box. Oh, so yeah, y'all hear I that? Gonna, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. Oh, this oh, is that's when middle. somebody come in the house. I really bust them upside their head. Hey, listen, <laughs> hey, listen. The, the hammer, the hammer that come with the collection edition. That thing got some weight to it too, yeah, man. Hold up, man. Stop that. Stop that. Yo, no, hey, we not, we, yo, we not we doing this blasphemy. Yo, we yo, three dollars to make. Before hey, you, okay, let's, let's have our fun, man. Let's have no, our fun, man. Right, right, real stuff. Before no, you came on, we no gave me your, you exactly. gave me your statue props, bro. Don't come in here exactly. stunting. Don't do that. Right. Yo, look, look, look. Right. I'm, I'm a t- oh, wow. Damn. Yo, oh, look. Shit. I'm going to tell you what's crazy. I'm going to tell you something real quick. I'm going to tell you something that's crazy. Shout out, yo, post up. Shout out to, shout out to my brother, post up. You always welcome here, sucker. Don't you act like that, you beat maker. Producer. <laughs> Don't be acting like that. Don't get special. You heard? But... Shout out to my boy with the super two dollar super yeah, chat. One away, what up? Post, Salute man. to the panel. Fact, post my dude. Shout out the post, man. You know what I'm gonna see? Shout out the post on some real tough, real tough stuff. I was playing games with this dude before we both had channels. <laughs> <laughs> before broadband, you heard? Shout out to my boy. But I'm gonna say this, man. Yo, King, you're not gonna do this. Yo, look. I think I'm the man. I think I'm the god of everything. I always toot my own horn. So we on smash podcast and I'm showing statues Kings don't do that <laughs> I'm just listening so I said yo I got this I got that you know me and King we make a lot of money we we we, we, we stunners we we show y'all what we do I'm broke I don't make no money <laughs> you're a liar I saw your wallet on the last that podcast yo you said <laughs> look 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 look, look. He, he, called up, he called out the family the yo go get my wallet <laughs> <laughs> My wallet don't bend. Don't act like that. You know what it, it is. Hasn't been since '86. So, <laughs> damn. So, please. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on Smash Podcast. Shout out to Bloody. I'm like, yeah. I got mad statues. Ah. King was like, I'm the king of statues. Just before he had his channel, I said, No, you're not. I'm showing him all this stuff. He pulled out an incredible Hulk that had more muscles in his eyeballs than everything. <laughs> Yo, I was like, <laughs> I'm looking like I don't need another hobby. <laughs> oh, I, I got you to get that statue too. Yeah, he got oh. baby Grogu in his house. I got something he else too. I that, bought that a, Batman that's a different too. Different level of statue. No, 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 right no, 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 no. Listen, like, oh, yo, bro, yeah. listen. I got enough financial problems with spending money, bro. I told, I keep telling this dude, no, nope, no, nope, I'm not following you. Then, then he pulled up the Grogu, <laughs> right? I said, "Damn, <laughs> I got that." <laughs> yeah, remember, I didn't pull out the hammers. Y'all wanted to play with hammers, Paul. And then I decided to pull out my hammer. That, that's all. You know what but I'm saying? I, but listen, just the storefront. I understand everybody's concern. Facts. My thing is just as as future proofing. We mm-hmm. do want Microsoft to stick around. We do want PlayStation to stick mm-hmm. around. Nintendo's gonna do what Nintendo do. Nintendo's a slimy, slippery dude. Pause. And mm-hmm. he he gonna he's gonna exist in in whatever fashion he will exist. And all I'm saying is, three hundred million dollar games is not sustainable. <laughs> it's it's just not. And in order to, and I, and I've told people before, if I'm if I'm the plug. And I'm hitting the streets. I don't care who's selling on the block. I really don't give a damn. You're going to do what you do. As long as I provide, as long as you have your, your you, you get whatever you're going to get from me, just make sure my cut is good. 
Mm. That's all. That's all I care about. And the yeah, problem that's, with that's everybody, the though, King, because the cut is not going to be good if oh. other people selling on the block. If I got, if I got, if I got thirty people pitching on the block, I would rather have thirty people pitching on the block than me pitching on the block because mm. this is the difference. This, this is the difference, right? When you got when you got a team out there pitching, the government can't tell you no. When the government hit, they're gonna allow you to p- keep on putting people out on the block. See, Microsoft, the government was on them when they thought they was gonna be the sole provider pitching in the one building. They was gonna need no Brown the situation. Mm-hmm. It was like, nah, we ain't need no Brown in the situation. We opening the doors. We trying to have the whole block. Everybody good. Everybody eating. It's not gonna be a solo environment. And in order to to do that and, and get around FTC and these laws and stuff like that, you have to make stuff open market. Mm. You're talking trillion dollar companies Facts. that say, I mean myself personally, I would rather get a little bit from a bunch of people than a big bag from one person. Facts. Because I know if that one person get knocked, I'm kind of stuck. Mm-hmm. But you ain't gonna knock all 30 of these dudes. And these bags is going to keep hitting. And I don't know which dude might shine. Epic Store might get crazy and do something and have something in there that's lit. And I'm getting, I'm eating off of that. You know, um, Sony Sony might come out with something that's the next whatever. And there's stores over there. I don't care. I get PC. I don't need to have the whole bag. I just need to have PC. If a nickel mm-hmm. bag is sold in the park, I want in on it. The thing is, though, King... I feel like I get your analogy, but like the real analogy is, yeah, you are the plug and you got 30 people selling whatever, but another plug is selling on the same block with another. That's what it, that's yeah. what the scenario is. And that is cutting into and what that's you're going to get what it be with the consoles. Because yeah, the console, it's two the console, storefronts. So now yeah. you have but the hold on, to hold buy on. another game. On the storefront, uh, but but this is this is this the is the other storefront that's on the platform. You know, it really don't. Front, you know? It really don't. Because let me tell you why. Now Steam would cut into other storefronts because they have multiple yeah. titles and games. Not Ubisoft and EA Play. They only got in their store what they but own. EA Play and Ubisoft Plus. That's already on PlayStation. And, and, and on Xbox Xbox. as well. Yeah, that's right. That's more like a service. That's more like a service. If we're talking about storefronts right. where people are buying games, multiple games. That's, right, that, right. That's that, so your yeah, bigger Steam, fear Steam is would be Steam. a problem. Right. Steam would be well, a no, problem. It's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not necessarily Steam. It's just in general because most of the things, most games that are coming out are releasing on multiple platforms anyway. Right. So it's not like PlayStation or Microsoft or Xbox is missing out on anything. Where I feel like the the this whole multiple storefronts thing on either platform, Xbox or PlayStation, is you're eating into how much money is being distributed between the all the parties that are involved. So now mm. if you involve more storefronts, you now have more hands that you need to divvy up the money with, which means less money going to all parties, which is not what people would want. If you have a if you have PlayStation that's not got the primary platform. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Yeah, not the primary platform. Would it be people yeah. that want? Or the corporations, oh, corporations. because we oh, gamers, yeah. we don't care what we buy the game. I'm talking yeah. corporate. I'm talking. Yeah, I'm talking developers and and, and executives right. and corporations. Yeah. They would see less money because now money has to be exchanged between more people. Yeah, more hands in the so pot. That, yeah, it's more hands. Yo, it's so like it's why, like the whole it's the whole it gas more, station uh, more... thing, man. You know what I mean? The gas stations they battling between each other. They right across the store. They right across oh, the street. They New York gas. status. That's but not that the gas station wants you to come to their station. But you know what? Gas, that's a New York. Person. That's a New York thing. That don't happen like that out of state. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that's a New York thing. No, two, that is not true. Got... That is not true. There's literally a spot right here in our neighborhood where me and Kumu live. There's three gas stations literally on each oh, corner. Wow. Yeah, we got yeah, we got not, that. Not. But New York is a more condensed city. We have more population, right? We got yeah, 14 million more, people in five boroughs. But you, we see gas stations across the street from each other. Yep, that's exactly what we got here. Too. Right, I was right. Like, if not, yeah, if see, not, that's I was like, very we rare. We got one every three blocks. Like wow, you go down to the matter crazy. of blocks. <laughs> at that point, it's, it's no, a Texas matter of is just as bad. Uh, so right, yeah, especially just, out here in the country. Yeah. Persona's right. Yeah, it comes a matter of perception. Uh, be, uh, preference. Preference, 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 but it right. also forces each company to do each, better. Each each manufacturer to do better. Mm-hmm. Like, listen, mm-hmm. consoles is going to go to better in what in what way? Like, what do you mean? Like, do give you a deal. Deals, Everybody you can't do 309 for gas. Somebody going to undercome and be like 287. 
I got DJ jazz. I ain't even gonna pause. I'm not even gonna hold you. Oh, you got yeah, yeah. that's oh. right. I got I got my card, so it's like the game pass of, of gas, bro. Mm. Like I slide right over there. Do do think I'm 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 I'm, I'm joking. I game pass everything. My What's movie that? theater. My movie theater selection. Don't I do got that. Game pass Yo, pass. look, look. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. That's I got that BJ's card. Yeah. We, right. That's what it is. Right? And we got to stop. I don't care about these corporations. Until nah, Microsoft come, comes over to me or Sony comes over to me and say, here's this bag. Cut the check. I don't <laughs> care. Facts. You, you know why it won't. You know why it won't really work on consoles. To be honest with you, because when, when we look at Steam, <laughs> it's not a lot of people. Not I'm saying not a lot of people, but there's a lot of people that don't even buy the game through Steam. Yeah, they play the game I through Steam. Get it because, by the keys from other players. Yeah, they get it by the keys and all that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't say that, that name here. We don't say it. that name here, Persona. <laughs> oh, my fault. Oh, my fault. My fault. I you know what I mean? It's a, little, it's a little tricky. Like the PC side. I'm joking. I'm joking, bro. I'm joking. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> like, yeah, but, but he brings up a good point. But, the, but the, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of money being. Yeah. There's definitely money being even taken out of Steam's pocket because you got a lot of those other side store right. fronts that CD so keys, new like game you said. Coming out, yeah. If a new game is coming like out and it's and it's sixty nine ninety nine, you'll have a side cool. site that'll be selling fifty four. Right, that's, that's right. Almost fifty bucks right. out of somebody out of the developer or the company's that's pocket. That's money being lost. Yeah. No, no, yeah, no, that no, that is their business. But what I'm saying is, when when we're talking about this all-encompassing unison right. of different stores, I'm saying why I think it wouldn't work because from the business what business side of things, you stand to lose more money than you would make. You know what Steam is losing right now? Mm -hmm. They're losing the fact that you can't go inside Target to pick up a Steam Deck. You can't go into certain places and pick up a Steam Deck. You know, Rog made it inside Target and made it inside Best Buy, you know, by the skin of their teeth. The only thing that puts Microsoft and PlayStation and Nintendo on a different echelon is they have the pipeline, right? Epic doesn't have the pipeline, but if they can get their app on whatever that device is, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for that big break. They're on their M&M-ish right now. They 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 waiting for that moment to spit hot spaghetti, son. They ready to get down for this. And and I listen. He said hot spaghetti. I know I know from us traditionally. My thing is, don't give a damn, mm -hmm. right? All I care about as a consumer, as a consumer, I I don't care if I buy Dragon's Dogma for ten dollars right now, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go get it, right? I'm gonna go make it happen. But I don't care about sitting there talking about I worry about the developer because that's that's a farce too. Because if I can go into that, dudes get their bag up front. That back end bag that you're talking about, that's some back end bag if they sign a deal. If you want to sign a bad 360 deal, that's on you. Mm. Right? Some and those are bad for rap. Chance. Those are bad yeah. for rap. You know, if you want to be Meek Mill, you got it. <laughs> I was great to say that. You want to sign a Meek Mill deal? Good luck. <laughs> You know, you gotta do some things nah, nah, for the business. I, 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 get, I get where y'all coming from in the conversation, but at the end of the day, like, as a consumer, yeah, you, you would love a lot of those things, but... And that's what we are. The, the, the hardware platform owner, mm -hmm. I just feel like it would be it's not as easy for them to just make that decision where <laughs> you're comparing, like, something like Epic or Steam. They don't have a specific hardware. No, right? it's not about hardware Outside over there. They're the mercenaries. Exactly, but that's what I'm saying. The console. You playing 1080p 40, the hardware as 60, well. 1080p 20. They Kuma. don't care. Just buy the game. Kuma, do you game the same that you game 20 years ago? Or 10 years ago? I'm out there. They'll give you 20. Yeah. I'm, no, no. I'm you got to you gotta say 10. 10 you know, yeah, yeah. 10 yeah, yeah. That, that, was 10 little, years ago? that was deep. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, are you gaming the same way that you game in 10 years ago? No. And, and the main thing that's changed is the fact that we're going direct to consumer. If you have a real direct vein into your, your fans. I think I got you tomorrow. Like, if, if you look at the PlayStation Store, I you can I, follow that no. developer. That's what you can follow said. after you purchase their game. You can be part yeah. of whatever little communities and stuff that they do have there. That is the change. Because they can, they, they can directly email you and tell you, um, we have a new thing coming out because Square did it. Square emailed me 
I was like, did you get your rebirth? They try to make me feel oh, special. Same. Yeah, Absolutely. same. So we're at a different age now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those old metrics ain't working. Because if they was, these console manufacturers will be hitting different numbers, different milestones. And they're lying. They fudge all these numbers. These dudes, they're dying to get out of the hardware business to give you something that can just make magic money overnight. They would love to have been epic and have a Fortnite that they can just give you content and just make that happen. This is the reason why these guys go spend X amount of dollars on exclusives to get it to their platform to get the faces over there. But if they can take that one game and that one game can go anywhere and make more money, they'll do it in a heartbeat. And this is the reason, this is where we're at with it right now. These next consoles, and these, and I'm telling you, these consoles are going to be the vehicles from now on. That, that form factor, the fact that you get a chance to put it up to your TV and dock it to your television, and you can add a GPU to it to do whatever to it, those are going to be the mainstays. Because I don't put my stuff off my television, even though it's a portable machine. I don't care about it. It's going to stay there, and I'm going to play it that way, and I got a pro controller. But I believe that whole big unit that we have now, that goofy ass big ass box, that's going to go away. But we need multiple storefronts in order to form a different level of competition. Yes. If, if, if they have that competition, Sony would not be able to dictate certain things that they're able to dictate to you guys. Like, um, certain games being different prices. Like, right now, that $50 Hellblade price, I'm about that. Make it digital. Make it $50. I don't, don't tell me no $70. And I don't care how graphically but good game, it looks. But, but games, but games released on PlayStation in different prices as well. You know, right. Hellblade, uh, Helldivers 2 was a $40 game. Yep. But I bought yeah. that $60 edition. Thanks. Yep. I brought the my, my, my thing. My thing when it comes to the whole hybrid standpoint, like, yeah. I get that it has a market, but I wouldn't want the big consoles <clears throat> to do that because it kind of limits pushing the game forward. Like, I, I like the big spectacle, you know, wait, 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 high wait. bar. Hold on, Jay Burrow. I got to stop you, bro. So, <laughs> so you trying to tell me if PlayStation made a hybrid, I'm talking about a system, not not a no, system, I, I, I but an extension. Hold on, let me finish. An extension, right? Because now, look, I'm not a Hellblade dude, and I never pretend to be. I'm interested in the new Hellblade. I don't really. The first one is weird for me, right? And I'm trying I love to. The first one. I'm I'm trying to beat it now. I'm gonna say this. This is my problem with PlayStation Online, right? For Steam. I love Spider Man. I love God of War. I don't want to buy it again and start over. So you trying to tell me you wouldn't want to take your PlayStation first party on a handheld on the go and continue to play, bro? No, what what I'm saying is like I don't have them, I don't have an issue with them releasing the actual handheld. I right. wouldn't want the main console to be a hybrid. No, no, no. He's selfish. Neither. He's selfish. He don't want. Yeah, I, 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 I want. I want all the glitz and glamour <laughs> on that box. Right. You know what I mean? And then if they have a handheld, I buy. Something. It's no different than the portal. I buy right. a portal if I want to lay in bed and continue to play. What yeah, I'm, I'm not. I, I'm not I, doing I, that. I'll either. play and play on the no, go. No, no. I say I agree with that. I want to be like, able to play switch. on the go. Right. Hold on, bloody. Let me uh, say this. I want to buy God of War again. But God of War don't have cross saves. I got to start from scratch. Spider-Man, the same thing. Miles Morales, that, same thing. Guess what? That, this, that's that's my problem. Of, hold on, hold on, buddy. Hold on, hold on. I'm talking about... But hold on, buddy. Hold on, hold on. I'm saying... No, I'm not knocking Sony. I'm saying this is what I want, right? That's my selfishness. I'll spend... I'll wait till Steam. I could have got uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man 2, right? For... $45. You know why I didn't buy it? Because I didn't want to start over because I got no cloud saves. So I'm saying with how Xbox is doing it, play anywhere, cloud saves, I like that. Even if I got to buy the game, let's say Diablo, right? Let's just put that out there, Diablo. I ain't got to start from scratch because I got a 30 hours in the game. 
I'm saying, Jay Barry, you wouldn't like that. Even if you had to buy the game, you wouldn't like it to be, I continue on the go and my saves cross over when I go back home. You got to like that, bro. But see, I don't but know Steve if you have plus. Been. Like, I have plus, so it's, the cloud save is going to come with me regardless. Mm -mm. I get where you I get where you're saying. Service. Not, on, not on PC, motherfucker. Oh, no, yeah, 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 but that's I'm talking about. Hold on. No, hold that's on, bloody. That's what. That's what I'm saying. That's what I like about my, Yo, my Xbox ecosystem. Down. Oh, <laughs> she, she said, "Man, if this fool get cold and beat the hell out you." <laughs> Yo, look. When you leave, smile so it holds that good look. You heard? So uh, you know what I'm gonna do. David. <laughs> ah, ah. Yo, this man keeps pulling out his hammer. No pause. <laughs> Yo, King. He don't want nobody having fun, man. That's his problem. <laughs> Apparently. No, nah, but that, that that's my point, bro. It's not like, you know, only reason I don't double dip on PlayStation is those is those factors. Because that's what I want. That don't mean I'm right. I'm saying my want. I want to buy Spider-Man and Spider-Man 2 and, you know, the Miles Morales jump off. But I don't, I those saves don't go over there. And I think it should be unified. Fallout, Fallout don't have that either. What the hell is that? <laughs> Fall, Fallout don't have that either. I have a problem with that because I'm but, not playing Fallout on my handheld. Because, but some of those games are now doing it because it's on a it's on a service and a server. I was like, it's tied to your account, so it's cross platform. I was like, that's where I fall out. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of back end there's a lot of back end stuff though that that that's happening with that stuff like that stuff isn't as easy to No, it's in. not. It's yeah. not. It's not like 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 Call of Duty, right? You sign in, you got to have the Activision account. Yeah. Mm. Right? I don't want to I don't want to buy Snoop Dogg, Spawn and all these characters and then I go download Call of Duty, let's just say it hit Game Pass. Let's just say and I don't have my characters. I'm gonna be pissed yeah. off. Persona, I pay for that. <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? That, I don't that, care where I play. Now it's tied. It's tied to another account. Look at look at the fact of just like your Microsoft account. You could take that anywhere. I was like, and you need it for certain games, right? Mm -hmm. I say, but it's tied to the account. Look at Destiny, right? I was playing back Destiny One on on Xbox, right? But now when they put out Destiny Two, when they put it out with uh, PC. Your accounts cross over. That's cross saves because of the fact that yes. they're holding the servers now. I like that's where it is. Is that that's changing? But when you look on a service based level, like Jay Bari said, mm -hmm. why do you have to pay for cloud saves when everything else has it built in? Xbox has it built in. Steam has it built. In, I'll say, or that that's where the issue comes down to. Is that yeah? But the thing, the, the, the thing with that from um, and this is not really me just making excuses. It's me just pointing out. Microsoft has a huge advantage when it comes to cloud saves and yes. stuff like that because yes. they have Azure, which yes. is under them. So it's easier yeah. for them to supplement something like Facts. that and make it a more affordable or, or have something that's a little bit more competitively priced than what PlayStation has because PlayStation doesn't have a cloud infrastructure. Play, PlayStation don't know about out. that PC side, right? They, you know, just what I tell people when they say, yo, Xbox games not exclusive, they're on PC. They're a PC company first. No, and, and, I, and I completely yo, get that. Yo, who who that, thing that's is doing that? <laughs> who thing is doing what? You don't hear that beeping? Mm -mm. Nah. Oh, okay. Maybe it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I hear a loud but, beep, beep, beep. But, but, but J-Boy, I mean, uh, Persona, that's what I was saying is that that's where it comes down to as a service issue. Is that, that That's something that you got to really look into because look at, you know, Nintendo has the same thing. Their stuff is all cartridge based, so it's saved directly on the cartridge. But you can get cloud saves, but guess what? You have to pay for it. I was yeah. like, that, that's where it comes down to the fact of that there's certain things that are sys that are infrastructure and service issues, and that's where it can affect the experience for the players and us as gamers. That that affects our experience. Granted, if you're if you're someone who's deeply ingrained into the into the platform, like you and uh, J Barry are, y'all have PSN. Y'all have that cloud save because it's something that's tied to y'all's subscription because that's something that y'all are actively using, right? Whereas someone like me, I have a, you know, I have a uh, PlayStation. I was like, but I don't use online on my PlayStation, right? So I'm not going to buy a PSN. So because I don't have PSN, now I don't have cloud saves. But if I want to move myself from one platform to another, now I, it's a very overly complicated process or basically un impossible if i don't have those cloud saves because you look at a lot of like the transforming from like four to five right they said you got to back up your save you got to upload to the cloud then download it on your new console and then you know import it directly 
well, if I don't have those cloud saves abilities, I can't even put my saves on like an external hard drive and be able to transfer it over. That's where it comes down to that, where it's in a player experience that does affect and how that ties into this whole aspect of these other marketplaces is that some of those marketplaces and other storefronts support those cross saves or cross progression or being able to have those cloud saves. Now you don't get that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. It definitely depends on the, uh, you know, the service, the platform yeah, holder, how right, they implement right. that stuff. But some people like, are better like, than like, others. Some people are yeah, better yeah, than yeah, others. Yeah, for sure. Everybody have their strengths. Everybody have their weaknesses. But mm -hmm. me personally, I, I'm not with the whole hybrid console. Yeah, like, I think it's. I think it does have its Hold place. On. Okay, let me ask you a question, Jay Barry. Do you have any of these portables right now? Steam Deck. Asus ROG. Oh no, no, I don't. Have, I don't have a Steam Deck or a, a, a ROG Ally. I'm gonna tell I you do, this. Oh, what you got? I do have. I have, I have a Switch. That's my. That's my. That's my portable. I have oh like no. Okay. <laughs> but, oh, oh damn. <laughs> damn. That's about a stack, but it, it, it's because of the colors. You know, no, I had no. to get the yellow. I had to wow. get the yellow. <laughs> you got the red? You got the red because that's my favorite color. <laughs> yeah, the red. I got the Mario joint. Uh, I, got the, the, uh, I understand because I, I had to go out and get the purple ones because that's what Akuma likes. And yeah. she's like, oh, they got purple ones. She's like, give me, give me, give me. And I'm just like, all right, bet. Yo, and when you remember when they hit, when they had the, 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 the lights? Yep, I, I was got like, the gray at first. Well, mm. I was like, well, they had a yellow color? Yeah. 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 I got rid of I got rid of the original one. I got rid of the original yeah. one. You know what I'm saying? I don't use them joints, but I had to get them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then when they came out, the, the blue and the red, then I traded yeah. my stuff in and got the blue and red. But I'm going to say this, bro. You may not feel the effects of what I'm saying, but if you bought one of these PC handhelds that give you a great experience on the go... You're not gonna buy God of War and want to start over if you deep into the game, or if you if you beat the game and you're on God mode or what they call it now. Um, Give me God of War. Difficulty. No, no. Oh no, 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 no. no, no. no yo, uh, Lemon. Gaming I Plus. I, I understand. New Game Plus. Yeah. New Game Plus. I understand where you're New coming from. New Game Plus. Right. I I get the benefits of that. I'm talking more of the the technical level as far as the, mm. how the game is being delivered. Like, yeah, I get the whole. Uh, the account goes everywhere we're going, and I and I, I'm totally I with think, you on I, that. I, I, I I'm more leaning towards that, like, I I I want all the glitz and glamour that I know like a, a actual stationary box can deliver, yeah. rather than having to sacrifice the handheld, dock it. You know what I mean? Like, yo, I feel like it's gonna be more limited as far as what they can deliver or push when it comes to gaming if it's. If it's like that. I rock, I rock with you with that. That's that's a great opinion. But Sana, you want to touch on this some more before you before we move on to the next topic? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> nah, just just to, this say, topic. Go ahead, bloody. I'm sorry. No, nah, I'm saying we're good. I was like, I, we kind of spend a while, quite a while on this one. It's all right because it's important. This is what we yeah. talk about. But I'm I'm gonna talk about something that's crazy. Um, once again, man, I'm disappointed in the PlayStation community. PC shouldn't be holding hell divers down. Hell divers should be purchased by anybody on PlayStation. First of all, it's a community driven game. Yup. I bought it. I bought the best edition. Yup. I don't really play multiplayer on PlayStation since SOCOM 2. Right? They started off multiplayer. Right? It came after Xbox, OG, right? But they had two great games, right? SOCOM 1, mm -hmm. SOCOM 2. I played on Game Battles. My clan, which is my channel name, is One Way Dragons TV. This is how long ago back, y'all. We was number one on Game Battles. That and oh, OG cool. Halo with Xbox Connect. When Halo was not online, four players, split screen, 30 dudes in the crib. This is what I did. I love multiplayer. I love to compete. I love to talk trash. I love to, I love it, right? Same thing I told y'all earlier about 2K when I see another symbol. Yeah, I'm talking trash. It's just trash talk. It's not personal, right? Now you get, you get a game like Hell Divers. They got two editions. Not expensive. I bought the best one. Mm -hmm. I love Starship Troopers. 
the success is crazy. But you two guys are PlayStation connoisseurs. And I, when I listen, I don't, let me say this for the record. I don't listen to PlayStation podcasts, bro. Anything that says PlayStation podcasts, they do BS. You dudes do gaming. You got your segments, what top games, even a serial talk. I'm in the building. You feel me? <laughs> I, I, let me say this, and I don't care if nobody get offended by my language. I fucks with who I fuck with. Always. I've never came to your chat and said nothing negative, but I need to get you on. Facts. Because you gamers. This is facts. That is true. I'm going to say this. I'm a PlayStation dude. Xbox is my preferred platform because it got my favorite game of all time on it halo mm -hmm. i'm a master cheeks dude cheeks <laughs> i'm gonna say that because i put cheeks in chicks oh sh Facts. wait you put cheeks in chicks i that put doesn't cheeks make sense. in chicks yo you're bloody <laughs> stay in line pay attention I'm saying, uh, that's he not, he said, that's not, said, not no no he said, let me cook that's right let me cook is. cheeks and chicks but i'm saying this I watch our podcast because y'all don't just promote PlayStation. You promote what's good on the platform, what's next, game of the week, sales. You give a show. It's not about, oh, PlayStation, we're the best because, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you actually give a show. And that's why I respect the hell out of both of you. So I'm going to say this, Thank man. You. No, no, facts, facts, facts. I ain't got a lot. Some... I, I, I was hit up. Oh, you got them. You got the ponies on. They not ponies, motherfucker. They actually Damn. indulge and invest in the platforms. Hey, yo, they watching the background. You can type in the chat, man. Say what's up. Yo, li yo, listen, yo, bro. I don't do no, that here. Fuck. I don't do that here. That's why I told I told Persona that our, our first conversation was very important to me because I've been rocking with y'all a long time. Yep. Don't block yeah. me for somebody else. No, no, no. Block me for me. If I did something uh, to you, right. We ain't going to get into the logistics, but we talking facts. So I'm going to say this. Hell Diver Success is amazing. And the PlayStation side of it has faltered because they made that for y'all, for us, not y'all, us. What can happen for Hell Divers? To be the hit that it is on the PC side, what can happen, Persona? Talk to me. <laughs> Please. Let these PlayStation people know the game is fantastic. <laughs> Let them know. Talk to them. Uh, before, so, before Persona uh, go. Before you go, Persona. Yeah, got, got, yeah, got I, I, I got to say this. Uh, let me, man. Um, on the PlayStation side of thing. Helldivers 2 is like the most successful game on the platform. Yeah, it's the yeah. best selling game two months in a row in February and in March. Yeah. It's, still Not, in, it's still the top 10 game in our in, country. Yeah, in North America. It should and be. In it should be. It's amazing. Yeah, it yeah, should be. Saying, where, where, where are we getting that? It's not doing well on the PlayStation side. No, it's the best not selling well. Game. But why is PC carrying it? Not well. It that's is only. Well. That's only. See, that's that's only in the European territory, uh, in the U.S. territory, where uh, the Matt Piscatella had said it was a little over uh, fifty percent. Little over fifty percent of the sales was on PC. Yeah. Worldwide, the game, you know, and uh, um, the CEO said the sales split is about 50 50 mm. when it comes to uh hell, hell divers 2. Nice. Um, playstation you know th this game is definitely being played by playstation people because it's been in the top 10 if you look in the playstation store right now yes i yes. guarantee you yes the game is in the top 10 most played games in the u.s territory right now if you look right in this second you see so the game is doing great um it is. It, it, it's as doing it well. And it, it, yeah, as, it as, should. It like, should. I, I don't, as it should. I mean, I I think it would be, I'm not looking at it on PC and thinking, yeah, it needs to fail here because mm -hmm. I don't want this on PC. Of course, it's going to sell if it's a good game. That's mm -hmm. what it, its purpose is. 
Me, I bought the game. I played the game. I put a hundred hours in the game. I Ooh, the game. hundred! Damn! You know, like it, it's, a, it's a great, it's a great Damn. game. You know, I love the game, and, and more people should play it. You know, that's that's kind of where my my stance is. <laughs> so you know what? You definitely a citizen. Absolutely. <laughs> a super citizen. A super, super, super citizen. For the, for see, democracy. You see democracy. this for democracy. This, for democracy. This is what I talk about. Just. Shout out to my brother who thought we were going to assassinate Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. You see, this is the conversations that we should have as gamers. See, people think when you bring up a topic, oh, no, he's going to kill the game. We don't do that here, motherfucker. Facts. <laughs> we talk facts. No, I mean, it, nothing wrong with having a conversation. I just feel uh, like... Right, uh, right. At the end of the day, if you enjoy a game, you enjoy the game, but... Mm -hmm. I, I, any any metric that you look at when it comes to Hell Divers on the PlayStation side, it's a huge success. Like mm -hmm. they, PlayStation, they tell you the best selling games every single month on their on their blog. And Let me say Hell this: came out in February, and, 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 and Hell Divers Two was uh, for the most downloaded and most played games. And guess what? And guess what? Persona. Yeah. The first one was a three quarter view. Isometric. Oh yeah, yeah, isometric type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Isometric. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. This, this, this is Arrowhead's level up. This uh, is level up. Uh, not, saying, not, saying, not saying that the first game is bad. No, it you know, wasn't. I, I didn't, I didn't it was awesome. One, but guess I did. I own that, and one. I streamed it's it. Level one. But mm -hmm. guess what? Where was you motherfuckers at when that game started? Huh? Now mm -hmm. it's a success. Oh, everybody want to make content about it. No, you was never indulged. I've been in those. I like isometric shit just like I like uh, The Ascent. Right? It's my type of party. Right? My thing. Yeah. Facts. But this is why I gave you two brothers the conversation and the question. Because mm. real gamers do real things. Mm. And a lot of people I mean, are not them people. But continue. The, 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 thing, the thing with Hell Divers too is, you know, a lot of people were really... Doubting its success mm -hmm. out the gate, you know, a mm -hmm. lot of people were, you know, were, were shitting on the game, and you know, they were they were thinking it was going to be a flop and a failure, and who would want to play this? You know, there was a lot of people in this community on social media and all that that were really counting the game out, and to everybody's surprise, it's the exact opposite where the game yeah. is well over. I'm took pretty off. sure in the ten million, it took off, and it's took viral off. now. Where even you have people who were bad mouthing the game now playing the game, saying, "Yeah, we go for democracy." And if, <laughs> the only game I bad mouth, so, <laughs> I'm gonna say this, and I don't give a fuck who don't like it. That foam stars, that bubble bath game playing with your boys. We ain't doing that. Yo, yo, cool. Stop laughing. <laughs> we not doing that. Uh. -uh. When I saw that, I said, "No, no, no!" Splatoon yo, is Phone paint. Star, <laughs> Phone Stars is a cool. Phone Stars is a cool. Nah, it's a cool yo, game, Persona, man. Like, it, no, 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 nah, no! Listen, I'm not listen. giving you that, yo, bro. I'm not giving you that. I'm gonna say this. It should have been like cement or something, but fucking foam. <laughs> yeah, <that was> valid. <laughs> yo, but bro, dude, it's like taking a bubble bath with your friends and having a good time on on, on skateboards or whatever. Surfboards, own boards, <laughs> yo, yeah, I, I, bro, I, I nah, 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 man, nah, no, nah, phone star, phone star, phone stars. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna say and say phone stars is the best thing to slice, bre slice bread, but you can't. My time, my time <laughs> yeah. with the game, my time with the game, and with a lot of the Did characters you have fun? And, and whatnot. Yes, I think it was a very fun game. Me and Barry played it a lot. I streamed it quite a bit. I think yeah, phone, phone stars, stars fun, really. They get also again because a lot of people are trying to compare it to Splatoon. A lot of people it, no, it's just it a blue, it, trash and all the stuff. Bro, but, bro, it's but Home Stars it, is a very, it's a very, it, yo, you can get washed up in that game. No pun intended. <laughs> you can really get washed up in that game. Yo, listen, no pun intended. No pun intended. Yo, Home no 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 Stars is real sweaty, man. No lie. <laughs> Are you oh, sure you said look. sweaty and not bubbly? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you washed up in there, you heard? Oh, yeah, listen. I mean, the thing is, uh -uh. the thing is, well, when it comes uh -uh. to phone stars, uh -uh. You, you, can't, you can't just play, like, two games and think you got the gist of it because it opens up much, much more. So y'all um, so both can cap it for this game. Oh, no, that you, I, that I, you I, killing I like, people I like, I like, with I like bubbles. For the game. I like the game for what it is. I think the game is fun. 
now that you unlock your gems and you can set up your class systems and all that stuff, it opens up really, really more fun for me. It's just the the, the time it came out, like nothing nothing comes before rebirth for me. So that's no, why no. a lot of these games not Bro, really listen, 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 Yeah, like listen, yeah, like listen. it's been it's been a while since I've touched the game as well. But like same thing with Barry, like between Rebirth, uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, and like other things that came out, it's mm -hmm. pulled my attention away. Real talk. And even Helldivers, yeah. like I put a lot of time in that. Helldivers well. so is Jungle, better. And and Grant, listen, he, he, Phone Stars came out the same week as Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, one of my most anticipated <laughs> yeah. games of the year. Facts. Me and Barry put like damn near 200 hours in that game. <laughs> oh, that shit. Trust, that trust me. Yeah. Megatron, trust me, don't man. do Grand that. Blue? I'm, telling, I'm yeah. telling you, man. It, 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 I, I agree <laughs> with that. I was like, Grand, Grand Blue, I was like, with Relink, oh, was hell, top Megatron. tier. I was like, probably one of the best oh, Grand Blues in a, in a while. Megatron, he's a dead drop in the soap. <laughs> <laughs> you make oh, it, John, don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, yeah, at, the, at the end of the, at the end of the day, at, at, at the at the end of the day, you know, with, with Foam Stars, it's up to if 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 Foam Stars gets shut down because uh you know a lot of people aren't down. playing the game it's or whatever, down, bro. then then obviously that that's everybody's answer. But in terms of my experience with the game and and what I what I think you about it, it was fun. I I think it's a it was a fun game. Is it something that I would play hardcore? No, no. But it is something right. that I would come right. back to from time right. to time, have a game night or something like that. And right. Play. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna say this. The whole bubble bath shit. Nah, bro. Nah. Nah. You should have had you, you could have copied paint. You could have copied yo cement stars, something. When they put bubbles and dudes in the same category, nah. Uh uh. Uh uh. I'm definitely heterosexual. <laughs> I don't see me playing the bubble bath for none of my boys. And that's a lot of beads. <laughs> nah. nah. I can tell the best actor in the game. Yo, yo, look, look, my, look, my look, 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 look. The conversation is, is what it is. But I'm just saying, and I'm not homophobic, but I'm just saying, certain things it's, I'm not indulging in. <laughs> he said certain things is questionable. So, yo, I'm yo, good. listen, man. Listen. I'm just saying, the game could be amazing because, you know, Splatoon, the paint, fantastic game. Yo, first of all, that's one of the situations where I was on online on, on Nintendo because of Splatoon 1, 2, and 3, right? Great game. When I seen Foam mm. Stars, I said, nah. <laughs> nah, nah, but, but, bro. But, okay, so let me, let me ask this question. What about it? Like, have so did you try to demo or anything like that? You didn't mm -hmm. play it. Mm -mm. Didn't play it at all. You played the demo. Yeah, bro. Listen, I'm not playing with you in bubbles. I don't care. I didn't have a rubber ducky when I was little. You heard? I had transformers in the tub. GI nah, Joe. Like Power Rangers in the tub when I was a kid. Right. Okay. You know? Nah, I can respect that. Right, you see, so, y'all no, missed no, up right no, there. No, y all, y all no, for sure. I was like, showers. I'm right there with you because I had I had my Power Rangers, but I don't know right. if anyone had them back then. Do y'all remember the the sweat wrestlers where you like put water in the yes. back like they make them sweat? Yes. I do that. I be throwing them like from the from the side, be like throwing them at each other. Be right. Like, yeah, right off the top, bro. <laughs> yeah, listen, listen, Persona, man. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm sorry. Nope, I'm not doing it. Yo, people in the chat, I don't care if you. I don't care if you don't agree with me. I'm telling you, not for me, motherfucker. <laughs> not, 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 not every game is for everyone. But, right. But, yeah. but Foam Star is a pretty fun game, though. Not going to lie. It's a pretty fun game. It just came out in a bad time, I think. You know? mm. For me, personally. Okay. Fair we're, enough, fair enough. We're going to leave that alone. Uh, I'm not going to divulge on that any longer. But listen, this is the last, <laughs> this is the last topic. Double A, triple A. Indies, what holds the futures? Now, we just left packs. You dudes put that work in. I put that work in. I always put that work in. Shout out to King that pulled up. I'm gonna say this. It looks like there's more indies putting out games. Now, we're not gonna say that every indie that come out is a banger, right? Because you listen. We interview people. Some people don't even know how to sell their games or have a conversation about the game to give you the good content, right? But I'm going to say this, and I'm going to start with you, light-skinned brother. What do you feel the future holds? 
Because people think AAA should go away. And I need my God of War experience. I need my Halo experience. You heard? I need my Call of Duty experience single player. What do you think the indies and AA and AAA, where do you think this market should go? What's up, PlayStation? Facts. Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, like I, like I said, everything has its place within the market. As much as I like indie games, uh, you know, even the AA games, you know, I'll play those games from time to time. Mm -hmm. I'll be lying to myself if I don't like the big blockbuster waiting mm, for that big facts, game. Facts. You know, staying up 12 o'clock at night the to outlaws. play a game. So, yeah, I would never want any AAA game to go mm. away regardless on how much I enjoy indie games. I like to see technology advance Hell and we too. see that through these big games mm -hmm. uh, that's coming out. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, yeah, when I see a great graphical, great performing game and all that stuff, I love that shit. You know what I mean? That's the reason why we buy these Mm -hmm. LG, mm -hmm. C, whatever TVs, mm -hmm. and spend $4,000, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Uh, yep. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Most I, people I, don't I, spend I, that I, money, but that four racks is where it's at. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, yo, I, I got, I got, I, I, I gave on two monitors. Each of these monitors, one of them is like a thousand, other one was like around 700 or whatnot. I ain't going to buy them joints. He not stunning. He talking the truth. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Mm. I want to see all the stuff being used within the monitor and the, and the TVs. You know what I mean? So that's what it is. <laughs> no disrespect, but that's the No, thing. No disrespect. Yo, yo, Persona, yo, yo, hit these people with the facts, yo. <laughs> yo, Dragon, you a, you a funny guy, bro. Yo, I fuck. Um, yo, listen, I am. I am. <laughs> I've been that way my whole life, but I but I rock with y'all, so let's get yo, it. Uh, Let's get it. Nah, yo, so when it comes to like double A, triple A indies and stuff like that, like I, I love I love gaming, right? I love gaming, man. Regardless if it's a small game that's five ninety nine or a game a big game that's you know one hundred thirty dollars. Wink, wink. Um, if it's a game that I'm interested in or I want to play, I'm gonna pick it up. I don't think that you know I, I agree with Barry a lot here, where you know as much as I love the smaller titles or, or, or the more niche games or games that are more artsy fartsy that type of stuff. I, I really, really do love my AAA blockbuster, you know, high quality experiences uh, mm. just as much, man. And and I want that medium or that part of the industry to also continue to push them and be better and better. But I also, you know, it, it's, it's kind of a double edged sword because that's me kind of thinking about it from my gaming side and as a gamer. But I also know that when it comes to, um, you know the cost to make these big AAA experiences. That's something that's uh, that isn't sustainable across the board. So that's where something where there's kind of like this give and take situation. Um, yeah. And you know we talked about that a lot with Sean Layden. Um, and I just feel like AAA gaming is in a weird space because I think a lot of companies are trying to chase the 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 purple dragon of yeah. you know let's not just make a great game and make it as high quality as possible. Some of these AAA third-party developers are trying to create something that they can sustain, that they can keep going for like five years, ten years, and and not just make that initial sale, but keep that money flowing and going. And I think that's eating into the creativity aspect of uh, making a great game. So I think that's where things kind of falter, especially from the AAA at the AAA level. Well, I'm gonna say this, oh, <laughs> Uncle Persona, Uncle. Oh, I J Bobby. Listen, <laughs> this is what I do, y'all. I'm going to say this. Y'all both right. That's why y'all here. Y'all do gaming situations and gaming propagation. Yo! Hey! <laughs> yeah, what that, we don't, yeah, yeah, I'm different. <laughs> yeah, a.k.a. Baby Lamethia. Yes. Hey, but I rock hey, with hey, y'all. Hey, no, no, bloody... Bloody, Uncle Bloody, shut your ass up while I'm talking! Goddamn. Nope, we ain't gonna do that. I gotta get your attention, little boy. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. That, uh -uh. that boy I need a milk. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh -uh. I was like, where's the milk? I was like, somebody uh -uh. give this kid some milk. <laughs> I had to get my pacifier. I had to get my pacifier, motherfucker. Hey, yo, this shirt is crazy, bro. Yeah, I am. Your persona, stay focused. We focus this, huh? Huh? Let, let me let me let me zoom in. Let's let's zoom in. Huh? Let's zoom in. Let me say this for the record. 
Shout out to my brothers, man. I want y'all to... I, yo, shout out to y'all. Your persona. Yo, I can't, Your problem. Oh, your problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you don't fun, rock man. with yo, 108... You definitely fun. 108, if you don't rock with 108, and it got that... What's up, PlayStation? Get your ass out my chat. Don't talk to us no more, yeah? Mm hmm. This is what I do. Because we real gamers and we outside. You better pull up and act right. Dudes is big niggas. Mm. <laughs> I know. Yeah, this dude is different. I'm sorry. My bad. I shouldn't be that guy. Mm. Oh man, Jesus! Yo, I love the energy, man. Yeah, good energy, good energy, for sure. <laughs> Yo, listen, man. This is what I do, you heard? Listen. Yes, sir. First of all, before we, you know, we, we at the end, you heard? Please rock with the people I rock with, because these dudes are my bro. You see, King coming here, invading. You know what I'm saying? That's my brother. These dudes, meeting them in real life, I got more respect for these two PlayStation guys because we keep it gangster, you heard? Dudes out yep. here doing real work. Bloody Knuckles, 2018 life. Akumu. This is what we need to be doing. Game and talk, not clickbait for, 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 for to be popular. <laughs> We no. ain't chasing no dollar bills. No, no. So, Persona, listen. J. Bari, my light-skinned brother, my caramel king, and Persona, rock with you. Mr. Hopefully, Hot one God. day you invite me on your show because I watch y'all content and I respect y'all. So, that's all it is. We have fun here at, at Dragon's Den. That's all we do. That's all we do. I don't care. I don't care what platform you you worship. I don't worship no platform. I'm a goddamn gamer. So anyway, we gonna continue. So yeah, we're definitely definitely setting something up. Like, setting yeah, something up, you know what I mean? yeah, you know, we definitely yeah. Want to get more people on uh, yeah. from, like, the community uh, yeah. on as well. So yeah, so. yeah. Look, when I woke up today, I missed your podcast live. I watched it while I was cleaning my crib. And getting in the shower. The serial talk was more important than anything else we talked about. <laughs> Crazy. But I rock with y'all. So now, look, man. AAA and Indies. Continue, bloody. Get into them. Get involved. I said this when we did our, our post patch mm. touch up here. Mm. Indies are the backbone of the industry. And mm. this year at PAX East alone, we saw so many bangers. I was like, so many big mm -hmm. indie titles that are coming out pushing mm -hmm. boundaries. From Deathbound, for those who like Souls like games, mm. to game Pizza Bandit pushing the co op third person shooter, all sorts of others. I was Pizza like, Bandit is like Gears of War over the shoulder killing. I was like, and of course, I was like, there's a lot of beat em ups coming up. Old school beat em ups. Mm. So shout out to games over there with Yo, the. With the Nell Cake. Yeah, exactly. Mm -mm. Okay. Say, listen. There, there's a lot of stuff coming that are bringing genres back. Toxic that Crusaders. Huh? Toxic Crusaders. But not only that. Got the I was like, interview. I was like, here's the thing. I was like, if anyone paid attention to what was going on earlier this week, the Triple I Initiative Showcase. Mm -hmm. but independent publishers and developers who are saying, hey, look, these are the games that we're making. And a lot of them are, are relatively big budget for indie titles that are pushing both and gameplay. I was like, look at the fact that Slay the Spire, a game that is a roguelite deck builder that's been around for years, is finally getting a sequel. Pushing that boundary. I'll say these are the, are the reason we have a lot of the genres we do. Because at some point they were independent. Next. Take a breath right quick. Sorry. I gotta go because I'm celebrating my friend's birthday dinner. So if I don't want to be late, I need to... Uh, so I smile, to throw the deuces up, and then leave <laughs> so we got that picture. Don't you do that to me. You heard? Oh, excuse me. It's almost... Uh, what? We got yeah, you do nine. that. Now, yeah, yeah, yo, listen, man. 30. Listen, everybody say goodnight to my sis. Listen, if you in the chat, shout out to the chat, man. Y'all been awesome. Hit them likes, share this out. You know, because like my PlayStation brothers over here, man. Without y'all, there's no us. 
Facts. Yep, I, Facts. Go ahead, sis. That's fact. But here, here's the thing, man. I was like, like I said, indies are showing out in a way that they absolutely should be, and they're pushing boundaries. I was like, and what we saw both at PAX and with this Triple I initiative showcase, they're they're really innovating more so than they usually do. And Facts. don't get me wrong, I love my big blockbusters. I love Halo. I love Gears. I love God of War just as much as anyone. I was like, Hell Divers was a is crazy out there and i've been enjoying the hell out of that and those are great but those are so far spaced out same like with gta gta is a game we're getting now once every 10 years yeah What's but, they, but, that time? but they provide great content but continue. no i'm not i'm not saying that they don't but again one in 10 years i was like what's mm-hmm. filling the time in between that i was like it's a lot of the indie games that are coming in between the big releases True. yeah we're starting to get more consistent big releases but there's still so much time in between that we need we need those games to help fill in Facts. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, I mean, that's that's what they, their place is in the market, to be honest with you. But, yeah, I mean, I, I you definitely see a lot of innovation when it comes to indie, indie games because they're not tied to a publisher. And, you know, I mean, what the publisher wants to put out there, they can just do what they can do independently. But, yeah, you know, I, as much as I love them, I would not want to see the AAA uh, game market go away. Facts. Facts. That's, like, one of the main reasons why, you know, I love to play you know, video games because of those. All right, Think let me say this, man. Yo, this is the end. First of all, I think this is... I'm going to say this, man, for the people in the chat. Shout out to everybody, man. Please hit that like and subscribe because the easiest thing you could do is hit that. But I'm going to say this. What's up, PlayStation? Y'all dudes are very detrimental to what we do for gamers, right? And I don't have a xbox title channel right I, I don't do that but when i come to your show and i see the support you get i see the energy the work ethics that you're putting your channel i respect both of y'all this is facts right and i appreciate y'all and i appreciate y'all for gracing your presence to dragon's den facts my Bronx, Queens Connections. That's two boroughs I rock with. Only borough that I don't really fuck with is them Staten Island motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, I don't think, I don't oh, we don't count those. Right, uh, right, uh, right. right. Only thing, but, only thing in Staten Island I rock with is Wu-Tang. No, and, uh, yeah, facts, facts. But I'm going to say this, yo, man. Yo, the world rocks with the Wu. Let's be 100%. Yo, they do, they uh, do. Shout out to Meth, man, because I'm a, that's my personal friend. Meth and Man is... Methan and Red is my personal friend. I come back. I, I, I'm from the cloth that's Meth Red, Smith and Wesson, my man Sean Price, Biggie. Those are my personal homies. But I'm going to say this, man. I want to give y'all both your flowers because I watch you religiously and I see the context that y'all break down gaming. It may be about PlayStation. But y'all talk gaming. You don't talk hate. Console warring. Everybody got jabs they do on Twitter. It's okay. But I'm talking about good content. And that's what we do here. Good content. And I'm happy to have you. I appreciate y'all. Y'all dudes is awesome. So listen. Persona. Yo. (laughs) Tell them where they find you at. Tell them what you're doing next. Drop your balls. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yo, first off, man, I want to give a big shout out to uh, 108 Dragon, Bloody Knuckles, Akumu, uh, for, you know, inviting me and Bari, you know, the Wups boys to, uh, you know, y'all platform, man, and, and having great conversation, great things, you know, inviting us into the Appreciate home, it. Man. Facts. Know, you know, we really, we really appreciate it. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, so thank you guys, you know, the invite. Um, it was all great up, meeting brother, you guys as well. Um, but me, man, I am Persona. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter uh, at Persona Speaks, uh, and you know, check out what's a PlayStation podcast. You know, uh, what's podcast? Okay. But- G Bari. Sir, yes, sir. Crazy. Yeah, man. Appreciate <laughs> it. Hold on, nah, 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 nah. You ain't gonna do that. I'm, I'm gonna finish my. I'm gonna finish what I'm gonna say first. Okay, gotcha. It's my shit. <laughs> you the host. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. We met, we met from two different planes. I mean, when you attacked me 
in broadband. I cracked the joke that we had beef. (laughs) But I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. You one of the dudes who I watched from day one before I had a channel, right? I told you, you and crap. Even though crap is a fucking weirdo. And I want people to quote this and share it. I don't care. Fuck that dude. But. Oh, damn. No, I'm going to say it. I don't care. But I'm going to say this. This dude, J. Bari, man, when I didn't understand YouTube, Twitter, social media, this was the dude. I said, yo, he likes, he ain't supposed to be like that. <laughs> right? I'm talking facts, <laughs> right? And I'm, I, and I'm in my feelings. If you don't like it, fucking tap out. But I'm going to say this. You said what you said. I said what I said. And now look where we at. Facts. Real people doing real shit. Thanks. So I yep. fuck with real people. Just like I said, me and Persona had a conversation. Had nothing to do with me personally, but we had a conversation and now we here. I respect both of these dudes. If you want to talk about gaming on another level, go follow these dudes. Because I don't bring nobody on my channel that I believe in because I got into YouTube to be a real dude. I don't care about clicks. I make one hundred and forty dollars to $150,000 a year. I don't need you for clicks. But what I do is I respect real gamers. Dragon is definitely a New York dude, man. Yo, 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 I am. I am. What I took, what I. To the heart, bro. You remind me, you remind me of my older brother. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, listen. Listen, I'm real, bro. I'm real. I'm real. I'm a street dude, bro. I've been shot three times. I'm a street dude. But you know what I respect? I respect gamers. It doesn't matter what your street cred meant. It doesn't matter what you did in the streets, right? And that's how me and G. Barry met. Mm-hmm. I didn't understand the internet when me and him got into it. So I blame myself. I blame myself. Because I was like, oh, this nigga talking crazy. I'll kill this nigga. Ah! <laughs> but it wasn't. I remember, yo, I remember. Yo, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yo, listen. Yo, yo, me, yo, I've been through a lot of those. Yo, yo listen. I remember yo, those I, days, I, bro. <laughs> and, and here's the thing. It's like, I remember because even Lem, because I heard him talk. He's like, he don't understand. He's like, I got to Yo, right, right, like, right, right, right. Yo, bloody pulled up on me. Shout out to the little Mexican Indian dude, a situation happened, right? This is this is facts. A situation happened. I went in the, I went in my room and locked and loaded. Bloody like yo, it don't have to be like that. And he was with the shit. I said nah, they gotta get to work. I was on a thousand, and bloody bloody talked me off the ledge because I was willing to to do something bad. But you know what? That's what you that's what you taught me, um, J Barry and 100, right? My boy 100. Y'all showed me that this is this is a different situation. When I was with the shit, I'm definitely with the shit. But everybody not built for that. So shout out to you, bro. And I'm happy y'all came here. And I respect the, I, I respect y'all. You know what I'm saying? The conversation, the situation, but we have to be better. So, people, get into that chat. Rock with these dudes. It don't matter what platform you support. These dudes is about gaming. We don't, we don't, we, we don't discredit each other, man. You know, King, King showed me some things. I was like, yo, you bugging. They need that work. He said, no, 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 they don't. <laughs> this is the internet. They don't need the street work. I was like, oh, shit. Okay, so now, you know, I'm better today. You know, everybody learned. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Yo, yo, my bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's just like, oh, was, damn, my bad. I was with the shit. Like, Nick, you, what? Whoa, oh, I'm a t- your head. I'm ripping your head off. You crazy. Dude said, no, 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 limit. No, no, these dudes are not like that. So, shout out to you, bro. 
you taught me a lesson. You know, like I said, I was able to sit down. Shout out to y'all buying them drinks in Boston. But me and Persona had Persona had a conversation. I'm saying, yo, bro, what what is your problem with me? He didn't. It wasn't me. It was another situation. No, no, no. But I respected that. I respected it. So shout out to the PlayStation Nation. What's up, PlayStation? Yeah, because uh, just saying, I'm not in my feelings. I'm just talking the truth. He likes him right now, guys. <laughs> Yo, listen, man. I love oh, y'all. Man. I appreciate y'all. And I want to see y'all on the next endeavor, no matter what it is. It could be uh, PAX West. It could be um, the Game Awards. No matter. Summer Games Fest. Summer Games Fest. I got Game you. Fest. I got you. Whatever you need, I got y'all. And for those people that rock with me and say, oh, you invite no PlayStation people... Get the fuck off my mic, nigga. Facts. Because these dudes is real. At least they outside. Mm, facts. <laughs> At least they outside. So it is what it is. So thank y'all brothers, man. Thank you. Uh, yo, this, thank you. This is my best show. I don't care. This is my best show. Appreciate This is my Appreciate best it, show. Because we I mean, got to show. Been four hours. No, we got to show <laughs> unity. We got to show unity. <laughs> you heard? Hip hop game of my personal friend, King, my personal friend. They don't count. But this as his guest, huh? Huh? That's what I do. Thank yes, y'all, man. Yes, y'all awesome. Facts. And if anybody yes, don't support you, I'm against them. Facts. <laughs> Okay, Akumu, you and Bloody got to follow that up. That's hard. That's hard to follow up, but I'm going to let y'all go. Go ahead, Akumu. You go first. She left, bro. Yeah, hey, Akumu, she gone. Mm. She, gone. she told oh, you that. Oh, yeah, facts. So go ahead, Bloody. This man, you see this man, he forget even what he just said two minutes ago. Hot damn, man. I ain't forget that. I, I ain't forget what, that this is my best show. What's in that Star Wars cup? That's what I'm talking about. There's something there because... Uh, uh, no, 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 he no. He I'm going to tell you. He definitely got that drink in that No, cup. no, no. I'm going to tell you what it is. Girl. It's Tito's. Oh, <laughs> no, no. I was like, he's on that, he's on that text yeah, blocker shut, right shut now. Yeah, shut your ass up. Go ahead. You literally just asked me to speak. You shut your ass up. God Anyways, you already know what it is. It's your boy, Blade Nux. I was like, it's a great show. I was like, Persona, J. Bari. I was like, me and J. Bari go back because we always been on the social medias going back and forth for years. I was like, so it's great to actually to link up because you know when people are serious about stuff and you know when people, you can tell when people are always just joking. I was like, and J. Bari was always one of those people. I was like, I've never been able to watch y'all's show to be fair. I didn't really know much about it. I was like, so to be able to inter- interact with y'all like this, to yeah, be able you to do that. Act, I say, you know, it was great having y'all out here. I was like, definitely want to link up with y'all again. Definitely want to do stuff in the future. I was like, nothing but good stuff. Always a pleasure to be out here with Lemon and his. Yeah. All love to my brother. Uncle I was like, Bloody. Shut your ass up, Uncle Bloody. I don't know what I'd be doing here if it wasn't him looking out for me. I was like, but you know, y'all already There's know what to There's some titty milk walking from me in the back, huh? Some titty milk. Uh. <laughs> Hurry up, Uncle Bloody, you bitch ass. You, you bitch ass. You're a Yo, bitch ass. Yo, shut your little uh, ass up uh, right now before I punch you back yeah. across the football you field, can, you little You shit. can call me little, but I'm the same head as you. God damn. <laughs> you hear it doesn't this? matter. Like, I'm still punting your ass. I was like, get yourself back in the day before I come over here and whoop that ass. You can say what you want. It's what's up, PlayStation tonight, motherfucker. Oh, God damn, bloody. Your uncle, you learned the yeah, long language. Uncle God. Len damn. is right. Yo, Pisana. What's up? You my uncle too, motherfucker. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen. I adopted you. Facts. Yo, listen. J. Bobby. Join us, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, what the no. shit? <laughs> <laughs> we with the shit. Yo, listen. Shout out to everybody in the chat. The show about to end. I don't give a fuck what you support. You better support this stream. You better go out there and support Cerebral Paul. Oh, we trying to get him an apartment. Oh, he about to be homeless when we got him. Facts. Jibari. Persona. What's up, PlayStation? Yo. 
I appreciate both of y'all. Yeah. Yes, sir. Those are Likewise, facts. Man. I don't care how much I clown and do them bullshit. You. <laughs> Oh, I got y'all. Yeah, big brother on deck, yeah? Shout out to my brother King David, who fucking infiltrated. Ah, bars! <laughs> Let's get it. Have a good night, man. This is what we do. Deuce. We doing gaming things. Woo! <laughs> Shout out to y'all, man. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for being awesome. Shout out to the chat. Yo, shout out to everybody that super chat. Yo, listen, man. We done. <laughs> Best episode ever. <laughs> See you on the ages. Yeah, facts. See you on the next one. Book. Yo, Deserve. listen, man. See you on the next one. You heard? Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you.